Jesus Christ! Just. I feel like that booty. What the fuck? What the fuck is happening? What? What the? What the fuck? What the fuck are you guys doing? No, notice me. <laughs> you. I'm just. I'm just trying to wake up over here, and you guys are already suffocating me. God damn. God damn. They're giving you money. It's, uh, it's violent money. <laughs> Bye from work. Hello, little jester. Hello. Have a safe drive. Can I even... What is happening? Am I... Uh, so, uh, fucking math? Hold on here. We got... We got... Let's back at the beginning. D Tamarin! Tamarin! Thank you for the fucking tier three, nine month three sub. What would... What would you name our baby? What would our baby's name be? <laughs> Thank you! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Thank you for the tier 3, my guy. Six shot savior. Thank you for the two month three sub. Sorry, there's a lot of numbers here. Numbers make my brain slow. Please be patient. <laughs> Thank you! Thank you for the two month three sub. No, 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 no. Fuck you! Love me some fox woman talk show with a side of gaming. <laughs> Hello, New York! It's Saturday night! And I'm your host, <laughs> Kirsha. <laughs> You're waiting for the screenshot in this chat. <laughs> you can't post images in Twitch chat yet. Yet. Frycy? Oh my god, we get 100, 600, that's 700. 800? Fricey, thank you for that 800 biddies! I did quick math, are you proud of me? Fricey, thank you! Thank you! Tim, 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 Tanny! Uh, seven, seven, eight, nine, no, thank you for the 900 biddies! Thank, thank you! Thank you for the 900 biddies. We got, we got six shot savior, thank you for the 100 biddies, my guy! I'm binary mind, thank you for the 100 biddies! I did math. I hope you're proud of me. That's as much as my brain cell can be used all day today. It's tired now. It's tired now. Numbers make brains slow. Tim Tim Tanny! If you were to DM me something totally unrelated to anyone in chat, would I post it on stream while I'm just chatting? I could do that for you. I could do that. You might, you might be sorely disappointed though, but I could do that for you. <laughs> I, I like my number crunchy MMOs because they hide the numbers behind a veneer of sexy ladies and nice costumes. That's kind of, it's kind it's kind of like playing Digimon, right? The whole game, it's all math all the way down, but you don't notice. You don't notice the math because you got weird, weird sounds that child brain didn't know was a different language and cute Digimons. The anime girls hide the numbers so it not make brain hurty. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. You don't do math. Why do you think I hired Nim? I don't have to do as much math with Nim around. Nim does the math for me. He's my human calculator. Spreadsheet gaming? Fuck that. That's his job. <laughs> World is full of ironies. Like, Cult Awareness Network is run by the Church of Scientology. And women who own horses are usually unstable. Hype train success! Thank you! Thank you, guys, for the heckin' two gift subs, 2,500 biddies. Thank you, thank you! We got... I squeak. I squeak. And, uh, good morning, everyone. <laughs> uh, a lot of thank yous. The good morning got delayed. Good morning! Good morning, Zeus. Take a beer, binary mind, trigger point. Zah! Num -num. Tamarin trolling. Skew, my guy, good morning! Orange crowbar man. Ain't been first in line before! You fucking nailed it, my guy. Morning, morning pessimism. Iron pimp! Tim Tam Tanny. Tangent time, baby! Oh my god. I thought you guys wanted the game. I thought you wanted the video game. Why are you trying to make me tangent? God, there's a fucking article. There's a fucking article that I have ready to go today. I have it fucking ready to go and it makes me so mad. It makes me so fucking mad. Like, just, just, re just reading the article title, I want it to be like, I am a p 
pissy lady. I I am the piss baby today. I'm fucking. <sighs> and then there's Dave Chappelle to cleanse the palate. Oh god, I fucking love Dave Chappelle. I love that man. He is a great man. <laughs> We want the opposite of what you give us. What the fuck? <laughs> You're like children. You're preparing me for motherhood. <laughs> Ots isn't the piss baby today. I don't know if this article would make him angry. Like it makes me angry. I don't. I don't know if he gets angry at this stuff. Maybe we'll have to see. <laughs> good, mor good morning. Good morning, Red Hunter. Hikimoto. Unusual heights. Mind break. Oh man, it's like your internet is almost good enough to be in stream all the time. Mind break. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> good morning. Good morning, Cody. Akuma. Zek Jala. Mm, good morning. It seems like it seems like my moderator is too busy posting in Discord. <laughs> was it was it Arnie just talking with everyone? Where are my mods? Why do I not have any mods? He posted at 2:55. He posted it 250. I'm fucking stalking my mods. Right, he posted it 303. He posted it 303. All right, he posted it 305. All right, Arnie, Arnie, what are you doing? Arnie, what are you do? What are you doing? <laughs> See, there you go. There you go. If you have, if you have a I'm moderator, you just gotta, lucky. you just gotta berate them a little bit, and then they start doing their job. I guess that's how Germans work. They, they enjoy that. <laughs> Thank you! Good morning! I started the bet. Thank you, Arnie. I'm glad you did your job. <laughs> Thank you! Start the timer! Oh, isn't Pacific Ring a movie? Pacific, Pacific Rim. <laughs> Pacific Ring! Like you're combining fucking surfer culture and the ring. Oh my god. <laughs> she lied as naturally as she breathed. I try my best not to lie to you guys. I don't like delivering the fake news, which, which I I have done. I've done some looking at some articles and stuff, and all of that shit with the, with the uh, what's it called, fucking cryptocurrency guy, like XTC or whatever the fuck network with the fucking weird hair dude. There's no sex cult. It was a lie. It was fake news. Fake news ass having bitch. No sex cult. Just just crypto bullshit I don't care about. However, uh, it's kind of interesting that he had a lot of uh, specific... specific campaign donations to a certain political party. A certain political party that has never, never fudged the vote before ever. FTX, thank you. The polycule dude. Yeah. The polycule dude. Just be- just because you have a... A strange relationship set up that I do not agree with does not mean it is a sex cult. <laughs> There's some Ukraine action possibly too? I mean... Is it offensive if I say I really don't give a shit about Ukraine? Is that... Is that offensive? Can I say that? Because I... I really don't give a shit about Ukraine. Like, I, it's not... it's not my problem. <laughs> Has the Fintom Fox started a party? Ah, <laughs> uh, no. I would not be a very good political uh, representative. <laughs> does the party sound like demure hats? It it does, in fact. You know, it's it's funny how you you are a lady who sets up a pack for a certain political party, and then just suddenly, three months later, your son happens to become a billionaire. I'd, you know, sometimes life just has a way of working itself out, right? <laughs> no, it's not offensive. No one gives a shit. I feel like there's a lot of people who give a shit. And I mean, like, you know, that is a kind of... It sucks for the people who live there and in the surrounding areas. Like, I'm sorry. But, uh... Not my problem. <laughs> there's a love triangle of FTX, Ukraine, and the Democrat Party. Interesting. You only care that your money is going to waste in a proxy war. Yes. Yes. All right. We, we, we finally were able to get everything out of the Middle East. Why did you have to start another war? Don't answer that. I know the answer to that question, but I'm sick of it. <laughs> I'm sick of it. Time to bring back guillotines, dude. Let's go. The worst candidates for emperor of mankind. <laughs> Goddamn. 
Kirsha 2024, vote for the Fox. You won't have to worry about taxes increasing. You'll willingly give money because you can afford a tier three sub. <laughs> what do you want people to think you can't afford 1K bit donos every 30 minutes? You can't afford to donate to me every 30 minutes on the dot when I'm streaming. I'm only live for five hours. Just, just get a better job. <laughs> You made that mistake last time. You do not believe in the funny fox. Mm. 15 minutes, you're betting on me getting in the game under 30. You trust me? Don't break it. I'll make sure I don't break it. I try I try I try my best to to not lie and not be hypocritical. You know, it's hard sometimes. It's hard sometimes, but I try my best. You're trying to stop working offshore. Ah! In fairness, it's the most American thing to take a destructive conflict and spin it into This party is corrupt in my own country, therefore it must be a swayop. What? Also, what the fuck? Where's my alert? Where's my- where's my alert? Did, did Skew just get cucked? And his there name is John C! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! It actually popped up in the chat before it fucking went off for me. I was like, "All right, okay, all right," and then it just didn't happen. And I was like, "Oh no! Oh, am I, am I once again asking for your understanding?" That was about a minute delayed. <laughs> I I am once again uh in in DV Twab or please please ampersand. <laughs> Skew! Thank you for the thousand babies. Thank you. I like the John Cena noises. They make me feel young again. <laughs> Delayed gratification. We do a little edging in here. Have I heard about the supposed reports that several hundred of those javelins shipped to Europe are just being sold on the underground market? Why, why are Europeans buying javelins? Isn't that like an Olympic sport? Like you do javelin throwing? I don't get it. Oh boy, oh boy, don't understand. <laughs> A soy op, if you will. Wait, how did the yes no get balanced out? That ain't right! What do you mean? Oh! What? Oh! Oh, I found it! Oh, I found it! I found it, the five dollars. <laughs> You're right, I'm sorry, Fox. I'm a nama nama miss. Thank you! Thank you for the five dollars. Oh god, I have acid reflux. Thank you! <laughs> mm. Javelins are missile launchers. Oh. That makes a little bit more sense. <laughs> They're very good for shooting at tanks and aeroplanes. Ah. Yeah, that makes more sense. If you could afford a missile system, you would buy one just because. Can I, can I have a mini iron dome? For my house when I own one? Can I have one of those? I'd appreciate that. I, not that I'd need it, but it'd be fun. Think of think of how much cooler fireworks would look if I shot missiles at my own house and then my defense system kind of blew them up. That's, that'd be pretty cool looking. We'll pop any tank in a single hit. Huh? Third party did an expose. The US nuked all the findings because, oh, I'm sick of hearing about that place, dude sake of it i don't want it to become another middle east i don't want another fucking 20 year 20 year goddamn useless war please hell of a gamble a lot of faith in that defense system i trust it i trust it what is this she said 30 minutes but you gave her extra time wait he did what is the what is the poll choose prediction well the game started less than an hour yes for the first time no he did give me extra time, but I'm gonna hold to my word. It's okay, my moderators have brain damage. Moderators reflect the streamer, after all. <laughs> Arnie is actively scamming chat. Just pretend. Just pretend the, the yes was for half an hour. All right, okay? Also, also, I'm, I'm proud. I'm proud of so many of you for believing in me. I'm proud of so many of you for believing in me. Like I said, I have, I have quite a few. I have quite a few articles that I want to talk about, but I feel like today, today I have to channel my inner Nim. 
I have to channel my inner Nim. I have to... I have to wrangle myself. I have to be an adult. I have to... I have to make sure I rein in and I have self-control. And, and having self-control means just, you know, not being a woman for a little bit. It's, it's all right. I can handle that. It's all, it's all right. I can handle that. <laughs> Damn it! I missed the poll! But, oh, God. That timing, though. <laughs> Lost 7k yesterday. Never trust again. <laughs> ah! You're an adult unsubbed. I'd have to legally not be in my own channel if I wasn't. I'm an 18 plus channel. I'm an 18 plus channel. <laughs> it's kind of funny hearing vets talking about how it's basically a step up from cavemen. <laughs> ah! oh, ah! It's a very nice place with very nice people. <laughs> You know, you can both own missiles and anti-missile defenses. You just have to pay extra taxes. But most importantly, you need to convince the oh, the AT, the ATF. That's all right. That just that just means that before you go to I'm negotiate to kill you all in Los Angeles at your house ah. or in the ring. No, no, in real life, I'm going to stalk him and become obsessed with him and wear his, his makeup dresses. and his dresses and use his skin as a coat. Like the ancient Irish did. Hanya. Well, that's your winner. Thank you. I'm a noma 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 mess. Thank you for the even fucking... to the tangent temptation. For the 1985, I can't. I can't give into the tangent sensation. Timmy Tams. Timmy Tams. Thank you for the 700 bitties. You're right. That that fucking thing didn't go off. That fucking didn't go off. You're correct. You got scammed by my alert system! <laughs> I am the one who got scammed. I have been scammed on this day. <laughs> so for some reason, my stream elements alerts are kind of fucky wucky. I don't know if they can be like refreshed or anything. Let me. Dude, if I refresh it on my end and then they straight up break, I'm gonna be so fucking upset. Property? Property? Re. Uh, re refresh cache. Yes. Okay. All right. Now hopefully everything is fine. Maybe the cache was just making it fucky wucky, and everything is fine now. Everything is fine now. I have the game open. Aren't you proud of me? Three hours of tangents later, still on the start screen. You can't just call me out like that. Glitch, my guy. There's only trash here. I'm sorry. We're gonna we're gonna have to look elsewhere. But you know, if you're gonna negotiate a missile defense system with the ATF, all you gotta do to make sure they give it to you is buy out all of the dogs from the local adoption centers and show up with like at least 80 of them. There's there's a game called Progress Quest. It sounds perfect for this stream. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Any articles? I have... I have like three. I have like three and then Dave Chappelle that I want to look at <laughs> but but I must contain <laughs> myself Skew, thank you for the 200 bitties I must contain myself and I must not tangent until after the game if if I can beat the game then I am allowed to tangent as a little treat as it were you know Dead spasse. Nim is awake. Nim is awake. So, also alerts being fucky wucky, Mr. Moderator. Uh, thank you for getting out of bed. Happy face. <laughs> he's pro. He's probably like fucking one eye open, the other eye still crusted over. Yeah, he's just, he's laying in bed, like, contemplating going back to sleep, and I'm just like, Thank you for waking up. Come do work. <laughs> beat the game and you get a Kit Kat. We get, I beat the game and we get a tangent as a tweet. <laughs> I have ten minutes. Go over an article. You're lying to me. I have, like, five minutes and ten seconds. Okay, all right. Just say the right words and you'll get a Toyota Hill shipped right to your door. Speaking of which, good morning, Nataru. Speaking of which, blah, 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 blah. uh, fucking Rice with his beautiful art. Apparently Rice has like three 
pieces of lewd artwork in the process of being made. And he just, he just whole ass comes out here like, maybe, maybe I shouldn't finish them until Kirsha plays Genshin Impact again. And it's like, <sighs> I love your art. Your art is very good. And I would like to see more lewd fan art. However, is it worth having to play Genshin Impact again? <laughs> it this bitch yeah <laughs> that's that's probably how nim thinks of me all the time so like every time he's he sees a notification in in his dms for me he's just like this bitch because <laughs> it's like it's a 50 50 whether i'm just giving him a meme or if something's fucking broken and he has to do something <laughs> ah! okay i hit i hit continue i hit continue and then i hit i hit this thing and i unmute it I unmute. Did I already change my section? I think I did. Hell yeah. Can I do you a favor? Click continue game. I did it. I, oh, I'm kind of dying. I'm kind of dying. I should fix that. Hold on. I kind of I die. Use. There we go. There we go. Give it. Pay up, Arnie. Oh wow, the Germans having to pay debts for once. What a turn of events. Hmm. I eat your rice does real good art, and so does Losk and Lone Wolf. Artists love! I love artists. My new... The new overlay design I have in mind whenever I find an artist to do it. I want to I wanna be able to have, like, a place in my intermission screen. In my intermission screen for, uh... Really, really nice, uh... Uh... uh, uh I was in the middle of saying I want I wanted a place to put a slideshow for artwork that people make me. And then I got distracted because I was like, oh shit, I meant to put a piece of art on my intermission screen. And I didn't change that because I completely forgot. And now I don't have time to change it. I could do it later. It's not that important. <laughs> this isn't playing! You don't get to decide how I play video games! What are you what are you some kind of misogynist? Woman? <laughs> Starts game brain blue screens and she immediately tangents. That's just what it's just what happens when you boot me up. Alright, okay, the ta the tangents flow naturally. <laughs> is this video gaming? What the fuck is going on? Well, what are we going to do on the bed? More than Very proud of you for holding yourself accountable, Kiesha. I should bet to not die tonight. You are lovely and chat is cute less than three. You are lovely and you are cute, Bailey. Stop hurting yourself and have good sleep. Thank you for the five dollar doodles. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. First FTX, now you Brutus. Not like this. Not like this. Alright. Uh, is the game, is the game volume, like, okay? I don't- I don't want to shoot anything. Maybe I could stomp on something. Yeah. Yeah! I think- I think the volume's fine. I don't think it moved from yesterday, so... Maybe a bit loud! Okay. Okay, I fix. I fix, I fix. There we go. That should be fine. Let's find slightly loud. You don't help the stereotypes about girl gamers when your streams are 90% talking. Do it more. Uh, I mean, I guess at least my streams are 90% talking instead of 90% just my boobs on the screen while I ignore you. I could do that. I could go the real female just chatting route. You guys could just look at my tits and I go basically AFK. Like you just, you give me money and I never acknowledge your existence. I'll just play phone games the whole time. <laughs> no, you said this isn't playing a woman. That would be an appropriate assumption. Hey. Okay, I bought some stuff, but I need, I need one more med pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three, three large to medium. Cause like, I don't always need a large. That doesn't sound like the Kier experience. It wouldn't be! I'd be selling out! Oh, I gotta go back up. Okay. 
We need tangents. The tangents are necessary. It feels really weird. It feels really weird to have wrangled myself and actually be basically starting a stream with video games for once in like the last month. I'm gonna be real with you. This is, this is how my streams used to be. Sometimes I would even actually just like start with the game. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. I gotta sneeze. I <laughs> oh, sneezing still hurts my spine. You made it! Oh, thank God you hello! made it! I've been following your progress. I know you want to repair the executive shuttle and leave this place, but escape is impossible at this point. The, the shuttle shock point drive is destroyed. No, 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 no. Don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. This guy kind of looks like first, the red-haired villain stop. from I that family. The systems. Fa Maybe the fa the family sp spy family animation the thing. They think the Are they got the stretchy the woman? But they don't know what's Do you guys know what I'm talking about? He looks like the red-haired oh, villain, look, look. but without the red hair. Look at this. The guy has like a mask on. That is what we found in the core of the planet. Mercer calls it the hive mind. God damn it, it's the source. Controlling the necromorphs telepathically. Of course they were the aliens the whole time. The Incredibles, yeah that! That's what that's what he looks like. It's his she face. Knew, she knew it could be stopped by returning the marker to the planet. The marker was containing it within the planet. Return the marker and seal the hive mind. Please. I'm sorry, Amelia. I bear much of the responsibility for this tragedy. Now... Is he gonna kill himself? I must take responsibility for ending it. And atone for my sins. But you can help me. If you repair the shuttle and bring the marker back on board... I am just an armadillo, can sir. Forever. Okay. I still want to know what the humming was. They never went over that. <clears throat> they just kind of they glossed over it. And they were like, here's a room with creepy alien humming. We're going to find out where it is. Fuck you. Senior Armadillo. Isaac Clarke. Oh, I don't like... I don't like this room. Why do they all have, like, dictator portraits? They have- they have a very diverse leadership crew! Oh. And a blind guy- oh, he's not blind, never mind. <laughs> oh my god. She's playing! I did it! <laughs> oh, <God>! ah! No! <laughs> Your, your, your baby! Your baby! Your baby! Oh no. Oh no. Ah! Ah! I'm already fighting that one! Do you hate me? The baby. The baby. Yeah. 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 No! Why are there so many the babies? Walk in and spray the room. Don't even say hi. Well, they tried attacking me. I, oh, I don't know. I was gonna say I know there's more of them. I know this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. The baby. No, no, no! No! Eh. Yeah! Oh, that went, that went smoother than I thought. That was pretty alright. That was pretty good. 
I'm, uh, I'm on that Sigma Fox grind set, honestly. There we go. I was like, I forgot how to reload. It's a proper BBW now? Are you saying these are big, beautiful women? I mean, maybe. I can't really tell. I'm not, I'm not an alien anthropologist. Anything but the convertible. Look at this! Look at this! Is this, is this commentary on society that like, the place where all of the people who ran the ship turned into the, the big pregnant things? Hello! Please do not become alien. Oh, I did, I did. Not saying that. I mean, Kirshi has postpartum depression. This is a Metroid joke. I know what that game is. I played, I played a Metroid game. I think on DS maybe. I want to say it was DS, where where you turned into like a ball, and you had to ball around everywhere. And I was like, wow, this game sucks. And so I didn't play it anymore. <laughs> Skew, thank you for the 400 biddies while I was fighting for my life. Thank you! <laughs> thank you! Mm. You know, we didn't get a single one of those fake boxes the last two times I played this. Oh, yeah! I can kill the bottle. That excites me. I love it when I can interact with, like, just basic nonsense. Think I did, I just forgot. No! I mean, maybe, but I don't think so. Oh! That nightstand was not nailed down. Oh my god, please, I'm in the chair! There we go. I got the blood sack. How's my day been? Ugh. I want a tangent. I want a tangent so bad, but I gotta be a good girl. I must be good. Must be good. I wanna play the game, but I want a tangent. But I wanna play the game. Oh, but there's articles I want to read. We'll get there. We'll do it. We'll do everything. We can do everything together. Please. Hunters or pinball? It was definitely not pinball. Like you turn, you turn into like a giant, a giant armor ball, and that's how you killed your enemies. And I was like, this is just, this is a shit game. <laughs> You beat the game fast, I can tangent all I want. Yeah, but I'm not gonna rush, right? Because, like, I don't know what I'm doing, Captain and I still Log, like the game. Personal. I want to set the record straight. By the time this log is heard, my actions will have been vindicated. I'm a unitologist. By now, it's probably no secret that we shouldn't be in this star system. Way to go. Just another illegal mining job for the company. That is, until the colony found the marker. That was when the church took an interest and chose me to lead this pilgrimage. They also ensured many of the mission crew were devout. My primary instruction was to get the marker up from the colony and on board the ship. Dr. Kine, the CSO, is an expert on the original marker and was tasked with deciphering this new one. He says he's making good progress. My decision to quarantine the colony is sound. They've got some kind of epidemic down there and I can't allow it to infect the ship. Not with such precious cargo. Not when we are so close. Planet Crack takes place tomorrow. We'll continue to decipher the marker, and when we return home, we'll pass all our findings and the marker to the church. Shouldn't you put it back the on the planet? Isn't going to cover this one up. Altman be praised. Shouldn't you put it back on the planet? Why are these people crazy? Goddamn unis are running the ship. Is that racist? Can you say that? No one so far. I was like. Lots of people. Lots of people. Reject Isaac, become Necromorph? No. I Isaac's a pretty stand-up guy. I'd feel safe with Isaac. I don't want to become alien. You're in sleep deprivation with loud rabbits being slaughtered. Music is acceptable interrogation. <sighs> Please don't do that. The rabbits did nothing wrong. Cigarette. Alien rock that uses Wi-Fi to turn you into a monster is a cool toy to have around! Fucking men are weird, dude. I- No! I do not want to become a wall vagina! That doesn't sound like a fun way to spend the weekend. When Kirshi mines, she puts the gold back in the- I'm all for, like, excavating, you know, historical and alien objects. 
but I feel like if you excavate something and everybody starts turning into wall vaginas, maybe it's time to put that that one artifact back, you know? Maybe maybe it's time to rethink uh, y how you live in your life at this moment. The Church of Unitology is just veiled. Blah, 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 blah. Just veiled Scientology reference? I wouldn't doubt it. I don't know enough about what people in Scientology believe to make pretty in-depth jokes about it. All I know is that they're fucking crazy and I really enjoyed watching the cult episode on uh, people who have escaped Scientology. And somehow, even with like the blackmail tapes and everything, Scientology was still the like least egregious of the cults that I, I watched uh, little documentary things on. Become a wall of vagina. What is with you? Just fucking, you can put a human body through the wall and put like a sign up on it and then just fuck the human body. You can, you can have through the wall hentai. You don't, you don't need to become an alien wall of vagina to live out your fantasies, I promise you. I don't like all these ambient sounds. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, special shootel. Bling. Oh, they're giving me a lot of ammo. I don't like that. I don't like that. Oh, it's like a little robot arm. I'm supposed to do something with the shuttle control. Hello? <laughs> Nav card required. Okay. Beef a blink bump. Oh, outside the door. Who could have thunked it? Neil, help me, Step Bro. No, help you, Step Bro, is when you're stuck in the washing machine. Step Bro can't help you if you're stuck in the wall. You gotta, you gotta find, you gotta find a real man for that. Math card. I'm on my way. Oh, okay, I definitely believe you will not die on your way here. The washing machine can't wash away your sins. Hmm. Test firing shuttle engines. Beep. Hello? Beep, 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 beep. I feel like that's the reason. Oh no no no! No no no! I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Ah! Oh god, you want me to go back in there? Is this is this, this is the regen guy though? Ah! It... Oh god, why? Why? What? Are you fucking with me? You bitch ass! I hate stompies. Hello, hello. with this i don't oh no is there like, an, is there like an, another another chippy another chippu somewhere okay all right wait can he not open the door does he just look at me menacingly burn it with engines oh my god you're so fucking smart maybe oh no he's gonna come in Wait, how am I not healed?
shield. I thought I used a med pack. Get out here! Get out here! <laughs> okay, and now I triple. And, and now I, I wait for it to crawl a little bit. And now I extra cripple. Now I run. Don't touch me! Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know how long I would have attempted to find something to use this control panel with if you guys hadn't said something, so I'm glad you understand. Stand by. Stand by for fucking what? It works. Yes, this will work. There's still time to make things right. The shuttle needs to be released before launch. The control platform there. I need you to guide the undocking procedure while I start the shuttle's engines. Oh, okay. This will make us whole again. Hurry! I'll take the shuttle up to the flight deck where the marker's being held. Someone don't trust this guy. I feel like I don't trust him. The screen does have feet. They have little machunkical feeties. There's an item out there that I want to get, though. But he's trapped me in here. I'm upset. I don't like being trapped. Bing! I don't trust him either, but, you know. Shuttle locks disengaged. Okay, bye. He's probably had too much of the Kool-Aid. Meet me there, and we can load the marker on board. Load your marker. Yes, Amelia. Soon we'll take it home. See? He just said it! I don't know if Kine is crazy or not, but we need that shuttle. Let's keep him on our side. For now. But why would he- why would he do that? Why would he be like, Yes, I want to return the marker to the planet. Please believe me, Miss, Mr. Isaac, sir. And then leave his comms open while he's just like, Yes, Amelia. I will take it home. We're taking it home. Everything is fine. Where the fuck am I going? Blight Plum. There's a scratch and sniff marker. <gasps> I used to love getting those from the dentist. Hey, bro. I took the sick ass ship where you need to be. Walk there, loser. Yeah, pretty much. I guess I can save again. I don't know. I don't know why he couldn't just wait for me to get in the ship, but uh, plot, I guess. Home could mean the marker's home. And you know, it didn't sound like... Oh, hey, I missed an item. It didn't sound like that from his tone of voice. It sounded like he wanted to take the marker to his home. Please avoid home. The planet is the marker's home? Your time has come. No need to be frightened. No reason to fight. Many have gone before us. And now it's time for us to take the voyage together. Transcend death. The future take its course. Join me as I gaze upon the face of God. I don't like it. <laughs> what? That, that man crazy. Why would he do that? I mean, surely he just turns into a regular alien and I can actually kill him, right? People might come this way? What? You're telling me I don't go this way? You're telling me, you're telling me there's nothing in here for me? It's just a dead ass dead end? How did that... How did the, how did the other guy get out of here then? Loving the soft whispers, aren't they soothing? What's up, Ah! No, no, no! No, 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 no! 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 Yeah! Skia, thank you for the 300 video. That was fucking well timed. God damn. Look at how much vomit he has. We're back. We're back at the, the singing lady. I don't need to save again. Alright, like, 
There's, there's so many save points at this portion of the game. Do I need any more supplies? Ooh, I guess I could buy more ammo. That's not vomit, it's semen? If your semen is that color! Good lord, get some fucking help. Pagma energy. Inventory? I don't need this many med packs, dude. Sell that thing. Pagma anger key? I don't need these. I don't need contact energy. I should get, just in case there's more babies, I guess I should bet. I should get one stack of flame fuel. Okay, we're good. Beautiful bike bump. Up the stairs. Let's go. Is it, are there just hummies in that room? Because that room has the alien butt plug in it? Is that... Is it making the hummies? And I'm just crazy? Wait, is this the end of the chapter already? There's no fucking way. There's no fa- I was so fast! I was so fast! I'm nuts! Didn't- You don't have the RGP semen upgrade? What the fuck? Please do not install RGB strips inside of your penis. Alien butt plug, what did you come into? We're actually playing the game! The video games! Alright, you bitch, not today. Not fucking today. Mr. Clark, yeah, I was ready. I'm approaching the shuttle hangar. You must. You must find your way to the cargo bay. The bunker, it's being stored in there. Okay, so what's the There's other a cargo one? loading lift there you can use to deliver the marker up to the hangar. Please. You must help me with this. It's the only way. I don't trust him. There's no trust, dude. That sounds painful. You can use an RGB cock ring, though. Do those exist? There's no way. There's- there's- There's no fucking way. There's always- Pang! Pangu? Okay, there's a store here. And a little upgradey thing. Do I have stuffums? I have an extra node. There are RGB butt plugs? Yeah, but there's also butt plugs that you can put the ashes of your cremated loved ones in as well. I feel like that's a different kind of degeneracy, I'm gonna be real with you. Can I upgrade my damage again here? Um, kind of. I actually think I will, and then I'll just buy another node. Cause I'm always supposed to keep one node on me. Future version of Tang is the shittiest powder I've ever had in my life. Do not drink Tang, dude. Excuse you? Yeah, it's a thing. Look it up. You can cremate your loved ones and then put their ashes in an anal plug to, I, I guess, fuck them forever? I don't know. You learn something new every day, and sometimes it's incredibly cursed. Thanks. You're welcome! What was I buying? No! You get here and you hear that people like ashes. No, I mean, the ashes are contained. The ashes don't go inside- well, they go inside of you, but they like- they're contained inside the plug. This world is beyond redemption. Yes! Next question. Ah! <laughs> you fuck a bitch. You fuck a bitch. My fucking bitch! Well, at least I can't come in the safe room for some reason. Also, I have this in my inventory for some reason. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> the suffering is immense and without limit. I hear you! I don't like these space toilets. I also don't like how quiet this area is. Okay, 
Okay, I don't like the whispers either. That didn't make it any better. Station. Ah yes, the horrors. The eldritch whispers, I welcome them. We played a game like this, it was called Song of Horror. Man, you know, I had thought about replaying that this year because I fucking liked it so much last year, but there ain't no fucking way I would have had time for that. Holy shit. Song, Song of Horror by itself? If you're a normal human being just playing the game, not speedrunning, it's about... <laughs> What the fuck was that noise? That sounded like me. It was about 18 hours of gameplay. No, 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 not World of Horror. I don't know what the fuck that is. Song of Horror. Oh, I see one. Can I, can I shoot it from over here? Damn! Yeah. Yeah, um, there's, there's the splody guy. Yeah. And there's babies? There's babies? What the baby do? Oh. Yeah. What the baby do? Fuck the baby. World of Horror is an 8-bit JP horror game, which is super fun and fucked up. You love it. Oh. I have not heard of World of Horror. I know World of Final Fantasy! But Song Song of Horror is like a Lovecraftian eldritch horror kind of game. And you play as... I don't remember if you're just like some random office grunt or if you're actually a detective. Literally can't remember. But uh... You are like the main character, your wife divorced you, you know, you're like, you're kind of like a sad, scared little man. Trying to find some like artifact from like a house or some shit. And you and some friends of yours, uh, try finding this object and then you go missing. The main character goes missing, so you gotta play as other characters to try and find the main character wherever he went missing. And it's got, it's got really neat mechanics, like whenever you die with a character, they get removed from the story for the rest of the game. So there's, there's different ways that the game can go from chapter to chapter, depending on how many characters you still have alive. Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty fucking cool. And when characters die, when characters die, sometimes they can come back, um, as things that can also kill you while you're traversing the story. What is that noise?! It sounds like a cross between me and fucking Pecora's monkey, and I don't like it. It's fine. I'm I'm safe. Oh, yeah. I hear you, you dumb bitch. No no no. That one looks like a pregante, but it didn't make baby. I don't know how I feel about that. Alien abortion clinics working overtime, dude. Oh, you know, the car the cargo place is kinda fucked. I don't know. Like it told me I needed to use Kinesis module. Uh, like I I am the Kinesis module, but I feel like I need to look around this area for more loot. I feel like I gotta look for the loot. You stop that. Like until dawn in those other games, same company? Uh I don't think so, no. I'm um, pretty sure Song of Horror is not the same company as those games, and it's not like a... It, it's not like a multiple choice, like, movie, choose your own adventure kind of- <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, 
What was that noise? Hey, hey, hey. Thank you for the 300. Did I kill it? Or did it just... beyond you what those until dawn devs did to sell games the writing is terrible you know song song of horror is really fucking good if you if you like horror and you like the game to actually be a decent length instead of you know just a couple hours of gameplay and then it's a gameplay loop forever i would highly recommend song of horror even even getting to like the later chapters it still had parts that kind of surprised me with what they were doing it is an indie game it is an indie game. It's probably the most... You bitch. It's probably the most well put together indie game I've played for horror. Uh, but it does suffer from the typical indie game. Uh, there are bugs. There are bugs in it. And... There... <laughs> There are bugs in it, and there are some frustrating parts where you're just like, How the fuck? How the fuck would I know this? And then there's also, also the typical... You don't expect them to expect you to have as large of a brain as they did in this game. So, like, a couple of times where I died, it was because I was brain damaged and didn't realize what the puzzle was. <laughs> of a puzzle as pull the card for fuck's sake well you know i see like little fucking li look at how slow this is like, why is it like this this is the problem i was having yesterday this is the problem i was having yesterday but no i was like maybe it's gonna make me like carry it for more than just one track i'll bet it's complete the cargo lift has arrived the monster is in the hangar bay. I don't have my voice Hurry! There's gonna be one behind me too. I know it. I know it to be true. Alright, we're good. All I had to do was follow the mark. Yeah, why couldn't I get on the lift with the marker? I was like, my human ass would have put me over the weight limit. I'm like, I'm like, what? Maybe d two, 220 pounds as a man? I got, I gotta be at least 220 because I gotta be, 
I gotta be some kind of fucking muscular to be able to handle this suit, right? Like, there's no way I'm some lanky ass programmer. I forgot what he was already. I don't remember. The engineer? There's, there's no way I'm just like a lanky guy, right? Like, I gotta be, I gotta be fucking beefcaked out of my mind. So I gotta be like, I gotta be like 220 with like maximum 15% body fat, right? Probably around eight to 10 more likely, but I'm gonna give the wiggle room to up to 15 maybe. And then this suit, the suit's probably like another fucking hundred pounds minimum. All you know is he has graying hair. There's no way. There's no way he has graying hair. I mean, after this, maybe, but... <laughs> Isaac would be someone around 240. You think he's a 240 muscle daddy? You think he's that? You think he's that muscular? I mean, maybe. After he does, that's, that's fair. After he does this, he is going to need a lot of protein supplements. He does. It was shown in the beginning. I can't fucking remember the beginning of the game. Power to the elevator. Take it up to the hangar bay and get the marker on the shuttle. I'm heading up to the flight deck now. Oh god, I'm just gonna run for it. Wish me luck. Good luck. We're not gonna make it because this guy's fucking crazy. That suit has to be pretty hefty. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way. He's like a regular lanky programming man. Moving around in it has to be a fucking full body workout. And he's not just moving around and he's like, he's got to fight. He's got to do combat. He's got to do manual labor. The suit is light. It's space mithril. Yeah, but I've got like armor on it. You know, the, ar the armor, the armor, like it can't, it can't be super light, dude. I mean, it's got to feel light in space because of the gravity, but we're, we're in the gravity zone right now. I'm not in no gravity. But it's power armor? I don't, I don't know. Leave a leg bump this way. Stomping. That's true. Leg workout. I don't like the dark. Oh, thank you! That was really nice. Oh, it's another save point. I thought this was an item. Man, they just fucking put these things everywhere. You're not even 30 and you already have some gray hair. It's better to be graying by 30 than your male pattern baldness kick in at 21, though. I'm gonna be real with you. Look, it's... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I just... I just... I just... I just wanted... I just wanted... I just... I just wanted... Fire now, ask questions later. Whoop! Oh, the black ones are so fast, dude. I hate it! You piece of shit, what was I talking about? What was I? I don't remember what I was talking about. <laughs> I was saying something, and then I got so rudely attacked! <laughs> they have a bike bomb. They want me to go this way. So I'm gonna go this way. Fuck you. Save point should have been a clue? I mean, that's true. Most of the save point areas have been, like, safe areas, but... So this is where I was already been. I should just go the way they want me to. You know, a guy like that too. By 21, he was shaving his head. That's what happens when you either have uh, unlucky genetics or you work in a very stressful field when you're starting young. I am. You're only 28. You have gray hair in your beard. Thankfully, it looks really good. I get, I get like a gray hair every once in a while, but I just pull that shit out. I'm like, not today! I'm going to dock the shuttle. Got to be careful now. Careful. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a tight fit. I'm bringing the shuttle.
shuttle down now. The automated loading controls aren't responding. Of course they're not. You'll have to shut down gravity in the hangar bay, and then manually bring the marker directly beneath the shuttle. I fucking hate this guy. <laughs> nothing here there's nothing here i see a box though can i get that box am i able to get that box is that free shit yeah i love free shit yes 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 super blessed do i gotta go this way <gasps> i do i'm so smart I guess that's why you couldn't get in yet to open the door. God damn it. You won the genetic lottery, your brother's bald, but you have hair. He's three years older than you. I won the genetic lottery in a lot of fucking ways. I don't I don't know what kind of genes are in my family, but go fucking god, I'm glad I got him. Gravity is my least favorite part of this game. I fucking hate zero gravity. Fucking hate it. What did you want me to do? You want me to like fucking clamp some shit? Uh, is it down here? You lost the genetic lottery in like three ways and one in two? Hmm. I'll believe you. You like zero G in this game? It's just not fun. Oh, that's just not fun. I see vents, which means I'm gonna get attacked. I'm on the lookout for stuff to touch. Look at these items! Makes you sick. No, I don't get sick! That's, uh, that's virtual reality that makes me sick. It's been a hot minute since I've done a VR stream, and I kinda... I never, I never beat that one, like, VR spooky house I was trying to do. Uh, like, there's no way I'm gonna remember. Oh, I did it. Wait. I guess that's correct. I don't know. I don't know what they're supposed to look like. It's been a while since I since I did that VR spooky house. And I never did beat it. Why? 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 Are there any behind me? No, okay, that makes it better, I guess. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. My aim. My aim is atrocious. But that's okay, we don't- we don't bully for bad aid. Where are you? Where are you? Fetus? 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 Okay, fuck off. Alright, okay. I have destroyed the Fetuses. Give me. Give me my shit for destroying them. Oh, oh, okay. Um. <sighs> Are you fucking kidding me right now? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Even sure this was fucking moving at first. Oh yeah, that sped it up. That sped it up real fucking quick. Oh look at look at look at this thing. It's going Mach three. Look at it. Oh okay. All right, looking left made it go faster. Jesus Christ! Look behind me. That's a tentacle. Oh, there's an item. How did you know? How did you know that? <laughs> Kind of impressive. All right, okay. All right, all right, okay. All right. By the way, there was a reduce. Probably. I typically, I typically, I tend to, I tend to fucking forget about redeems when I'm playing games. Cause 
a lot of games don't even let me push the buttons while I'm in them. There we go, now it's moving better. Now it's moving better. I like it. Nope. You bitch. Come on. Come on. Come on! Little train cart ass bitch. Look while doing Magneto, you didn't see the item! I don't know, I don't think I can turn all the way around. Yeah, it doesn't let me turn like 180 degrees. I don't like that noise. I think it stopped moving, actually. What's this? Track controls offline. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, oh, now! Now we are... F no! 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 Come! Holy shit. Holy shit. Maybe... Maybe I was... Maybe I was wrong to complain about zero gravity. Maybe that. Maybe that. Okay. Alright. Alright, we got it. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. N why? Uh... Um, uh, what What the fuck? Kelvin, thank you for the follow. I'm not conveyor belt certified. I'm not. Head, head pads were a mistake. I have to rotate the platform while it's on it? I can't do that. I can't do I rotated. Oh. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on, my brain is working! My brain- I assumed that both of these would be the same. Come on. Come on. Come on. Please. Please. Uh, please. I hate it. Thank you! Why did it just go super speed? What the fuck? Alright, okay, alright, okay, alright, okay. Okay, all right, okay. See, I, I assumed I only needed to move them once. I assumed I only needed to move them once and then that would be it, but no, this game, this game hates efficiency. All right, okay. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, look at, look at how nice it is sliding. That's what I like to fucking see. That's what I like to fucking see. Uh, oh, I hear angry enemy noises. Where are they? Oh. Oh, he got stuck on it. Beep beep! Alright. Alright, that was... That was nice. Fuck you, fetus bitch! Woo! I thought he was dead! I missed one. I missed one. Give me that. Give me that. Did the fetus not drop me any items? You bitch! You actual bitch! Pull it this way. We'll pull it. Come on. Oh, there's another guy. That's fine. That's fine. He'll get stuck again. He won't come at me. Oh, he's coming at me. I took off his head. I'm trying to take off his biceps. There we go. The longer you take, the less time for tangents. Look, I went from the side and it worked. I'm um, nuts. I'm um, nuts. Okay, it's in position. Uh, still having trouble with these damn loading controls. Isaac, restore gravity to the room. I should be able to load the marker then. Okay. I do that from up there, right? Well, uh, up here? I don't know what's happening. Oh, I'm all topsy turvy. 
Uh, there's a door over there, so like I'm gonna, I'm gonna go here. This, this seems like where I might want to be. As opposed to a pretend bitch. I am glad that the aliens don't gum up the tracks. Exiting zero gravity. That's what I like. That's what I like. Get me out of the zero G. <laughs> it's on board. Please come and join me. Together we can stop this hive mind. We can end this nightmare at last. Well, there's still one chapter left, so something's gonna go wrong. What it is, I don't know, but something. Something. shoot him through the chest when she when she had a side view of him what is happening mr president you didn't get down sorry isaac i couldn't let him go through with it i suppose i should thank you for finding the marker we even managed without help from the usm valor what thank you for helping me find it by the way my department's been looking for this place for a long time. It was the See, fucking kind of woman was, this whole time? Kind of to begin with. This whole planet is one big experiment. The marker, this <laughs> divine relic, made by man. What? They reverse engineered it a couple of hundred years ago from the real marker. What? A true alien artifact recovered on Earth. They dug it up, studied it, and they made it their own. Then they brought it to Aegis Seven and activated it. And you've seen the result. The stuff of nightmares. They sealed the system. And no one would have been the wiser. But then the CEC blunders in and the starts fucking CDC, tearing dude. the planet fucking apart. COVID. The experiment was still alive. Kind was right about the hive mind. The marker would contain it, but that doesn't matter now, does it? I have the marker. And this entire system can go to hell. For what it's worth, you did a great job, Isaac. See you around. Or maybe not. <laughs> what the fuck? Isaac, Nicole, I need you to help me. Help us. Now. I'm, I'm in the flight control room. Please, Isaac, hurry. Please. I love you. I haven't heard from Nicole in like a million chapters. Why has she been contacting me all of a sudden? Blue friend Kelvin would like to hear the Oh, Ah! Kelvin friend, hello! Hello, new friend. Uh, you know, there's only trash here, I'm sorry. You're gonna- you're gonna have to look elsewhere, my guy. That's just how it is. Become whole! Is her- is her whole fake? Am I just like schizophrenia right now? I'm coming for that whole Nicole. Is that why they named her that? Morning. So I don't like that noise. What? We tried telling you to take your meds at the start of the game. Wait, this isn't that game. I don't know what's happening on the other side of that door, but I don't like it. This isn't the game with meds. I played a game where I had to take meds, but it wasn't this one. I don't know what's happening on the other side of the door, but I really don't want to open it. Like, I feel like it's a bad idea. Do I have to go this way? I fucking hate you. It sounds- it sounds moist, so... Oh, God. free of charge. You're welcome, Canadian healthcare. Need to run, be back soon. Good luck! Drive safe.
Blind? You guys are probably the worst enemy in their game. The screams are something. I just find the wall vaginas obnoxious because you have to shoot the tentacles so many times. Oh. Isaac? Oh no. Is that really you? Well, I'm not schizophrenic, I guess. I never thought we'd be together again. God, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for what I did. I, I don't know. I something never seems kind of weird you. with the monitors. You need to get it back now, Isaac. You can pilot the shuttle remotely from here. <sighs> Make us whole again. Make us whole again. Um. What? Can I shoot her? No. Okay. Also... Oh. I don't like that. I don't like that. Also, considering Isaac hasn't seen her, and I guess this is supposed to be like his girlfriend thing, right? Uh, that's, the, that's the reason you guys said he came here? Why doesn't he... Why doesn't he want to like hug her or kiss her or be affectionate in any way? Make Chad whole. I don't know if I can do that Isaac, for you. what the hell are you doing? You're making a big mistake. This is not over. You're coming back here, Missy Missy! You glowy ass bitch! Escape pod away, crew shuttle USG-09. Oh! No, that's my girlfriend. Pod. You can't scare me. It doesn't matter. She can't escape her fate. None of us can. I don't know what that means, lady. Thank you for the 300 bitties. Oh my god. Thank you, thank you. Here it comes. I'll reprogram the shuttle so we can fly down to the colony. God, we're so close, Isaac. Why do we want to fly to the colony? Now go. Get on the shuttle. I'll meet you there. I don't understand. I don't understand. Okay, I'm getting on this. Do I have to like fight my way off the alien planet? Mm. Wait, I should save the game. It's gonna let me save now, right? No? No say- What's the point of putting this here if I can't use it? I guess it's supposed to be that like the alien activity is fucking with the electronics and this is technically an electronic? I don't know, dude. I don't know, dude. Why do they light up when I go near them? I don't like that. Hello, wall vagina. We go plant the marker. Can we just like poop it out of the ship? Like I don't have to get on the planet, right? Like we just gotta poop and just like out of the ship. Easy, simple. It's a hint. I'm not good at hints. I need I need like direct language, okay? Are they, are they saying that I'm the marker? I was the king of the- Oh! Oh! Dog! 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 Ah! Dog! 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 Please! Can I not kill them? Are they just, do they just not care about me anymore? Okay, I can. Dog, dog, dog. This is stupid! Fuck! I drink my juice. I, I was not... I was not prepared for new enemies at this stage of the game. Can't save when there's enemies near. Oh, my girlfriend is an enemy? Or am I the enemy? Was I the enemy all along? A oh, cutscene! Or not cutscene? Where's the lady? There was a lady in here. Why is it? Why? What happened? Also, she's not why talking. Why does it give me mad? We're together now. Well. The way it always should have been. I knew you'd come back for me. Nothing can stop us now. What the fuck? Hey. Oh, chapter 11 is done. 
Ooh, that's Without the further interruption, weed. let's celebrate and suck some dick. You know, honestly, yeah, that was, that was pretty fucking good timing. <laughs> I'm gonna take a little, a little, a little dick break before the final chapter. Where am I now? Isaac, use one of the loaders to get the marker off the shuttle. Oh, there's like a whole fucking... Where... Are we on the planet? Why are we doing this? She's flying through the- I'm- I feel like I'm not actively flying through the game, but the chapters are going by real fucking quick now! Oh, <sighs> uh, uh, why doesn't she have telekinesis powers? Why can't she move it? <laughs> Why this man listen to wench? Cause he good man. He good man. Good man listen to wench. However, I feel like we should not in this situation. Is this like some advanced alien schizotry? Where the aliens can take on the form of someone you love that no longer exists and then they can make you do their bidding? How did they do this? How could they make this big hole? Is this a man-made hole? Why? What are we? What is? What is this? There's a rock. Why is there a floaty rock? What is this? Planet crack. Oh yeah! I forgot. That's what we use that big drilling thing for, where we take the mineral out of the plan bit. But if we take the mineral out of the plan bit. What the fuck is that? Cause, cause like I had the, I had the piece I had the piece of the the ground on the ship that I had to kick off. So like, what is this? I kicked off the piece that we took out the non-mineral. <laughs> That's the bit they cracked. No, it's not. Remember? It's not because I had to get on the giant ball that they cracked, and I had to push it out of the ship. That spoilers, I just don't believe you. Alright, okay. Boom. See, this one's easy to move. This one's easy to fucking move. This one doesn't complain. It doesn't go slow. I'm a nice little troll. I like this troll. Oh. There we go. There we go. That's it. Gonna dump the hot load. So this isn't a real artifact. This is this is the the FBI glowy made artifact that turns humans insane. But like how how did we take an alien artifact that's not actually dangerous? Or how did we do that? And then turn it into something that is dangerous. Like, what did what did we do? To, uh, how did we get how did we get the power of five G schizophrenia moonbeams? The feds are the ones making crystal dildos. God damn it! It all comes back around, dude. It's full fucking circle. <laughs> crystal raid. This doesn't look safe. Can I touch this? Ah! The answer's no! The answer's no! The answer is no! Okay, alright, okay. <laughs> oh! Oh! You! You got. Ooh! <laughs> oh! Oh! He looking at me. It's okay, as long as I don't open that door, I'm fine, right? Isaac, the marker needs to be returned to the pedestal chamber. Use the loader to bring it there and place it on the pedestal. Replace what was taken and make us whole again. What is, uh... What is he doing? Look at those hands. It's just a friend. <laughs> Can I touch the electricity, she says. I mean, I didn't know. 
I was I wasn't sure what was going on. This fucking may Altman be with you? Within you, I don't think I want that, actually. I do not want him within me. I'm saving. Fuck you and your fucking marker. This, this, this bitch spent too much time on r slash butt sharpies. Can we, can we talk about how like a shit post somehow has created a generation of people with a fetish for putting sharpies in their butthole? How did this happen? How did, how did a shit post give people this fetish? Make it make sense. Okay, there's a battery somewhere that I gotta find. Don't touch the electricity this time. Or we're gonna go around it. Eh. Excuse me? You heard me. Someone took the joke seriously? There's a, there's a lot of people who took the joke seriously, apparently. Those, le those people who were just like, Oh, I finally managed to fit 30 shoppies in my butthole today. What a great day. What a great day for me and therefore a great day for mankind. He's like, what the fuck? What the fuck are you doing? Oh, hey. Hey, uh... I mean, he'll be fine. He'll be all right. Nothing, there's nothing weird here. I, I assumed I needed to like put something inside there, that thing. Cause I, I feel like it's not gonna, I mean, I'll try, but I feel like it's not gonna let me push it over there. I'm exerting effort. There we go. Okay, it just, it just worked. Okay. Okay, okay, all right. I wasn't expecting that. Now what? Oh, she's gone. Okay, that, okay. This way? That's locked. What? Magnets are dangerous enough being swallowed. Just imagine the damage from putting it in PP. pee. Wait, why are we talking about the guy who did magnetic urethra sounding? Why are we talking about that guy again? Oh, yeah. Okay. Such uh, Wait, what? I heard someone. I heard someone whisper. You know. You know, you're stumbling upon a forum where men would just dip their penis in champagne and then taste test it after the penis dipping? That seems really tame in comparison to the fact that now we have whole ass cum cocktail parties, I'm gonna be real with you. Hmm. 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 No, no, I was already deep in contemplation. You weren't gonna spook me. We've lost all the shuttles. One of them just took off and came straight back down and crashed into the bay. Took a couple of hundred people and all the remaining shuttles with it. If anyone can hear this, do not land. Uh, do not land. Uh oh. You know what I? You know what I went and flower. done did? We'll get them next time. You know what I went and done did? I went and done did landed. I done landed on the planet. No oh, fuck you! I just dropped that. I don't need that. Where am I supposed to fucking go? Oh, I probably have to go in the room with the with the weird manta ray guy staring at me, eh? There's no chance that he doesn't attack me, right? There's, uh, there's no. <laughs> you bitch. I was just asking a question. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the fucking 700 pennies. Thank you. <laughs> Nim. Nim, Nim still isn't here, so I don't know if there's anything that can be done to to fix the delaying. I don't want to sell that. I don't want. That's a lot of med packs. Sell this though. Yes. Yeah, sell the diamond dick and the gold one. That's a lot of stasis packs. I've almost never needed to use these. I'll sell one. Fuck it. Oh, I do need. I do need more plasma energy. I'm running out. I have a lot of flame fuel. Why does it want me to use this? Nope. Move. Move. I do not need pulse rounds. What a sub. Ah! 10 out of 10. Jishanri! Thank you! 
thank you for the heckin' four month resub, my guy. Thank you, thank you! Nim is the best. He gave you a Nikkei account the other day. Nim for president! Oh, he still has his re-rollers installed? What a nice guy. He's passing on the love since I usually give him uh, accounts that I re-roll. Because when, when a gotcha game I'm interested in comes out, I install like fucking nine Bluestacks players and then just re-roll till I get an account I want. And if I happen to get a good account, but it's not the characters I wanted, I'll just like ask if uh, he wants it, ask if anybody in the community wants it. Sometimes I do re-rolling streams because it's, uh, it's it's fun. It's fun. It tickle it tickles my my happy vein in my brain. <laughs> I buy mammo. Yeah, look at all that mammo. I'm fucking flying. Uh, I should probably move some of these. That's enough large med packs. Think I'm a pickle. Do you, do I think I'll have enough ammo? I don't fucking know though. Thank you for the follow. Tickles the Vegas brain. Anyang. Yeah. Might want to use that stasis when I get ganked next time. I think you and I both know I won't fucking remember. <laughs> All right, Mr. Mr. Creepy Floppy Fish Alien. I am a friend. Oh, there was two. This bitch. This actual dumb bitch. I hate him. I hate him. I didn't expect him to move that quickly. I'm gonna be fucking real with you. <laughs> I, knew, I knew they were there. I knew they were there, but I didn't think they were gonna move that fast. <laughs> I didn't think they would move that quickly. <laughs> you do not like the foreskin fish? I, I actually found a sausage that I liked eating. The sausage did not have foreskin. No. Uh, you know what? I got a thousand dollar a doodle, so we're found. Beep, 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 <laughs> They heard me calling, and if I call, they <laughs> drop everything immediately. You're wondering if ripping Pippa's ears releases pink mold spores, what happens when mine are ripped off? Mine aren't rip offable. I would just bleed. I don't I don't I don't have the mold spore colonies inside of me to cure cancer. That's just her. That's her thing, you know? My ears are just normal. So I would probably just scream and cry and bleed a lot. Uh you'd probably be arrested, honestly. I needed this. I needed I need... Why can't I open the door while I'm holding a battery? Alright, this seems like... Like I should be able to do both at once. I don't like... I don't like that fucking noise. Ah! On the Slendermans! He turns into the... Yeah, he turns into those. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't like spiders. I don't like spiders and spider adjacent things. I don't like them. I don't like them. I could have sworn there was another one. No, I got them all. I got I got them all. Okay, we're good. Alright, okay. I will step on you. I will step on all of them, because I do not like the spider. Fuck spider. Alright, yeah, yeah. Not even Spider-Man? No, fuck Spider-Man. I don't like Spider-Man. He got, he got the extra sticky that he can fill you with, but it's not my jam, you feel me? Elon Musk wants to go to Mars. Yeah, Mars is fine though. They don't have life there. There's no life on Mars. Oh, this is my inventory. Hee hee hee. I want this one. That's a lot of stasis energy. Flame fuel. I will take it. I will take it. Okay. Sure, I do. Ooh! I didn't see that. 
Okay, there's no free items in those beds. Unlucky. All right, I'm saving again, because that was horrifying. Mark is just a portable ASMR streamer. The weebs will buy that shit up. I feel like ASMR is uh, a thing more for normies than for weebs. I, you know, when I was looking into uh, how to do ASMR, because I really wanted to do an ASMR stream. Really wanted to do it. But when I was looking into how to do it, right? Uh, most of the stuff I came across was like word repetition and it made no fucking sense to me. But I unironically had no idea why people enjoyed listening to that, why it was comfy, or like why it was relaxing. I, I just, I didn't, I don't get it. And I even, I even said this like during my ASMR stream, I was like, what? Like maybe someone can explain it to me. I'm not, I'm not trying to be like an asshole here. Like I legitimately do not get what is so great about like, if I, if I alt tab here for a second, if I alt tab, Right, if I alt tab and then I mute dead space, so you guys don't have game sounds, and I'm just like coconut, 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 pickle, 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 pickle. I don't get it. I I don't what why? How is that relaxing? How is that comfy? How do you fall asleep to that? Why why does why? You just think I finally snapped? That's what it sounds like! That's what it sounds like, and they're all like, they're like snapping their fingers, and they're just like, a coconut, 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 coconut. I'm just like, I don't get it. Like, I can understand the finger snappies. I can understand the finger snappies by themselves. I can, I can understand the finger snappies. I cannot fuck you, sound boom. I can understand the finger snappies. I can understand like the weird fucking rubbing on the microphone that would get you kicked from a voice call if you were playing video games. If you, if you had that fucking garbage ass blanket on the microphone, if you had that sound when you were in a voice call in a video game, you'd be whole ass fucking kicked. You'd be like, hey, uh, somebody's got open mics, uh, someone's hot mic and, all right, get this guy fucking out of here. Get this guy fucking out. But like, I get it, I get, I can understand why that might be, uh, that might be something that you would want to listen to. I got a little bit of spit on my pop filter. <laughs> but I, I, I even, I even understand the sloppy blowjob ASMR, right? It's very obvious why people are listening to that. But like, I, I don't like it, but I understand it. But, but the fuck, fuck it. Delectable, 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 paramount, 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 paramount. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? I, I don't get it. <laughs> oh my god. So, someone just fucking coomed to that. The rubbing on the mic is annoying. I. I dislike all of the sound ASMR. I think all of it is garbage, but I can understand some of it, right? Like my my personal like or dislike for something doesn't prevent me from understanding it. So I can understand why some people would like some of these sounds. The repetitive words, I don't fucking understand. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta put my cat on the mic. <laughs> I kicked from a voice call any percent. I just, I just like, I load up an ASMR stream and I start having PTSD flashbacks of fucking Latin Americans with open mic and smite. And I load into a fucking smite match and all you hear is someone hot miking with like banging pots and pans in the background. So I'm like, <laughs> kind of music. Their mom fucking yelling at them. Just like fucking screaming from the background. I'm just like, I, I, uh, fucking, fucking Janice, you got a hot mic. Jan, Janice. Janice, please. <laughs> Xbox Live ASMR. Some people have a reaction to certain sounds, but hear me out. Repetition is almost like a hypnosis state. After a while, the brain starts to shut down because it hears the same thing over and over again. What? What? The ear licking ASMR is also awful. My friend Seth, when we would play Smite together, we would have a watch together of like music that both of us would put into a playlist while we were playing matches. 
And this, this, this fucking guy, this fucking guy knew how much I hated ear licking ASMR. So he would just like toss in some ear licking ASMR videos every so often. And I wouldn't be able to alt tab because I'm like fucking mid match, you know? So I'm, I'm just like screeching like a banshee in the middle of fucking smite matches. Cause I all of a sudden just start hearing the I was like, fuck you, Seth. <laughs> I love you, but fuck you, Seth. <laughs> she finally snapped the game god to her. Where is this when someone's gaming in their living room and it's just a TV and family talking in the background? Uh, Ushion said it before I made the joke, maybe. I don't, I don't know. What, what is time? <laughs> you don't get any of it? The only one you ever liked was a Melee GameCube controller ASMR? All right, that is... That is some deep sea autism ASMR and I can get behind it. <laughs> you think help people to be distracted and refocus to what you're saying instead of focusing on their worries, I think. I think the worst type of ASMR, even even worse than the sloppy blowjob ASMR is like It's like, ugh, I can't emulate it because it's like, it's so fucking bad. It's, it's like when they whisper so fucking softly and their mic gain is turned up so fucking high that it basically just sounds like a bunch of... Like, they, they're not even, they're, they're making sentences, but there's no words. Like, you can't understand it. You can't understand it because it's, it's, it's so, it's like, it's so gain cranked and they're trying to speak so softly that like, there's just no words, please. I hope to God when I scroll down in chat, someone knew what the fuck I was talking about and I didn't just sound crazy. <laughs> sexual ASMR creeps you out. I got some bad news for you. About 80% of it is sexual and the other 20% is like whale noises, fireplace noises, and rain noises to help you sleep. <laughs> Unbirth ASMR! I don't like that. <laughs> Wait, wasn't that just the default music for Smite? <laughs> oh no. Load up ASMR, mimic the feeling of someone in the trenches in World War I. Give everyone pseudo trauma from a war none of them were alive to experience. Oh my god. Let's be honest, no one uses mod check for its purpose. Does it have a real purpose? People used to hide their weird ass hobbies from other people because they would have been shamed for good reason. Now everything is allowed. Sometimes too much information is bad and humanity does not need to know that someone rubbing their balls on the mic puts you to sleep. Do you think there's microphone ball rubbing ASMR? Do you, do you think like some of the guys who do ASMR when they simulate the like head pets that they're giving you? Instead of rubbing the mic with their hand, they're secretly rubbing the mic with their ball sack and laughing at you. <laughs> talk ASMR is cringe. Ah, uh, see, talk ASMR is like the only one I would want to do, right? Like the script shit. Like that, that one ASMR script that I did. I know it was live, so it's not as high quality as it could have been. I still feel like I did pretty, pretty all right. Pretty all right job with the script, though. I know where I fucked myself. I know where to improve in the future. And, I, and that's good. But like, I like I liked the script stuff. Script stuff where you can actually understand the words coming out of someone's fucking mouth. But it's like, uh, it's like heaven, heavily emotive and you know, the soft talking. I like that. I think, I think that, I think that's nice. Tuna? Why are we talking about Tuna? That girl that wore that fucking <laughs> really cosplay. <gasps> what the fuck? What the heck? Pretty sure that violates the Geneva Convention. I don't like that. <laughs> the tangents! Oh, I didn't mean to, but ASMR makes me angry. Why are all the seeds such bizarre? What do you mean? I don't know what that means. <laughs> are we talking about... Oh, oh, my fanboy! We are talking about shit-ass ASMR! <laughs> she reversed the stream two hour gameplay into tangent I gotta keep you guys on your fucking feet <laughs> 
Some people enjoy the sound of music and rain. You personally hate the sound of rain ASMR. It can it can be kind of annoying if it's really loud, but some some rain noises are nice. You feel violated. There's two ASMRs classic. That's just paper crunch writing and repeated phrases. And then there's the new that's. If you're gonna if you're gonna sit here and tell me. You're gonna tell me that sounds good. I'm not gonna believe you. I'm gonna call you a fucking bull faced liar. I hope that came through. I have a condenser mic, so it's a it's a little hard to do like sound things that aren't my voice. <laughs> I had my hands in front of the webcam, you weirdos! <laughs> you mean inaudible tagged ones? Some of them aren't even tagged inaudible, and I'm just confused. I'm just confused. Eating ASMR is awful? Yes. Yes. I remember back when I first started streaming, I had some people who, who were used to being like in, in voice call with me. Like, I don't like eating noises, right? But I'm not, I'm not gonna like complain about them unless they're like really over the top. But th when I started streaming, I was like, all right, there's a certain level of quality I expect to have for my audience. And one of those quality of life things is I don't want eating sounds on my stream. The only time I've personally made eating sounds on stream is, is like when, when I did stuff like the Wendy's challenge, where like you, you have to hear me eating, right? So. The flashing is getting to you. You know, if I was Pippa, I would just tell you to fucking deal with it, but I can do that for you. <laughs> collab when people were like oh when pippa talks her avatar spazzes out and it it kind of hurts my eyes i was like oh pippa people in my chat are com oh, they're complaining about your uh your fugi it's, it's kind of it's kind of like epileptic seizure tear she was like yeah i don't care fucking deal with it <laughs> i was like all right you heard the lady <laughs> kirsha eats pippa mukbang I actually, I've only ever eaten rabbit meat once in my life, and it was on accident. Once I was told it was rabbit, I didn't want to eat it anymore. Bunnies are too cute for me to eat, I'm sorry. Like, chickens are cute too, but they taste really good, and I'm okay with that, because, I don't know, chick chickens are just, like, not the same as bunnies. They don't have as many rights. <laughs> I was just like, I don't know, I can't eat the bunny meat. <laughs> If you look for it, every ASMR girl has an OnlyFans. I want to do, I want to do like really nice, really nice, comfy ASMR scripts. I don't really know where to look for them. So I've just, I've just been having a friend of mine who can write scripts, make scripts completely like personally tailored to me, which is nice. That's a brand new content. Yeah. Um, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know how much I don't know how much ASMR I will do. I want to do more, and you guys enjoyed it when I did it, so I want to do more for both of us. <laughs> if we wanted auditory suffering, we'd listen to you blaring Dead Space sounds, not the weird Charlie Brown noises you're making. I want to make a Charlie Brown noise. Charlie Brown noises is like wah 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 that's Charlie. I can fucking voice act Charlie Brown adults. Dude, let's go. <laughs> you leave videos on in the background when you go to sleep and sometimes you wake up to an ASMR VOD from a VTuber and it actually puts you in a panic state. So jarring. I love, I love the people who do the ASMR that they're just like, I, ca I can't even do it like as faithfully to what they do as like I want to because this is Twitch. <laughs> but they're just like, Dad, Daddy's little kitten so hungry. Daddy, I want to play in your lap and uh, your pants are so tight, Daddy. Let me help you out of those. Your your kitten needs some attention. Those kind of things. And then, like, and, and then, and then they, and then they get demonetized. And then they go on a tirade on Twitter about like, why did I get demonetized? I wasn't doing anything sexual. I was like, come on, come on. Nobody cares if you're gonna do sexual ASMR. Just don't fucking lie about it. Uh, if you're gonna do it, 
Lean into it. Be like, yeah, I'll fucking suck your dick on, Mike. That's my game. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> fucking thought patrolled. On I ah! You just made me remember that article and now I want to punch a wall. I want to channel my inner man and punch a hole through the fucking drywall. No, no, I can't do that right now. I can't do that right now. Everything is okay. Everything is- we're video games. I'm gonna catch up. I'm gonna catch up and then we're gonna play again? <laughs> Speaking of people who leave videos on in the background, I'm impressed when people can fucking fall asleep to my stream. Like, I'm sure you turn the volume down. But it's still impressive, considering how much I scream. <laughs> oh, you've just found where she is in the chat box. I'm a, I'm a little behind, dude. My sweet lord. She gonna see this in 40 minutes. Nah. Nah. <laughs> you hope ball sack rubbing ASMR is real? I am contractually obligated to not do a Google search for that right now. <laughs> You can just like do head or hair scratching and then let them imagine you don't have to actually scratch your balls. Well, that's why I'm saying it's like it's like the it's like the head scratching ASMR, but the guy doing it just puts his balls on the microphone. You won't know. You'll think it's just his hand, but he can make fun of you. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? No, it's not tangent time. I can't do that till I beat the game. Timmy Tab, thank you for 500 bitties. <laughs> he Most guy ASMR is just hypnosis and there's some weird ones. The only, the only hypnosis ASMR I hear guys talk about is the, like, You will put on the programming socks. You will put on the pantsu. You are going to look like a beautiful little girl. You're gonna be daddy's little girl. You're gonna be daddy's little slut. You're gonna turn into a femboy now. Turn into a femboy, Clued. Turn into a femboy shape, clued. That's that's the that's the only kind of hypnosis. It's the only kind of hypnosis I've ever heard anyone fucking talk about. <laughs> you need to break it to me by tangents or ASMR. There's no fucking way. I talk way too fucking loud, and I scream too much for my tangents to be ASMR. We're not finishing this game today. We are. I'm on the final chapter. I'm on the Tuna's the Japanese VTuber that does unbirth ASMR with the mic inside. But, but why? The only tuna that I knew was the tuna cosplayer lady, and she got that name because that's kind of what she smelled like. Everybody knows those pictures. ASMR is overrated. It's just making sloppy noises. Yeah, but men like sloppy noises. I don't. Even 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 when I'm doing it in person, I don't like the sloppy noises. I just push through it because I know it's like what they like, you know? <laughs> you fucking called it. Tuna and the Babi Niku Noe are the ones that do the unbirthing ASMR from what you've come across. Do you just put a condom on your microphone like i wouldn't want to get wetness on my mic but is one condom enough do you have to like triple bag that bitch i don't how does that work how's that work oh i just caught up to the part where i was fucking crinkling a wrapper you don't mind eating or sloppy noises or smacking you know some people are really sensitive but it doesn't bother you i just i just feel like you know for for streaming purposes i don't want people in voice chat with me who are gonna make sloppy eating noises and that is, I may, maybe this is harsh, but that's like one thing that'll get me to turn off someone's stream. I don't care how much I like you. If I hear like fucking lip smacking noises while you're eating on mic, I'm leaving. Squibby Pippa is a joy fucking squibby love, dude. Since we're going back to just chatting, reminder, I have something you wanted me to put on screen. No, this is not a tangent. This is just, this is just like a pee break. Okay. All right. It's not. <laughs> <sighs> be fair it was pretty epilepsy happy i like how she still has it though you got this i believe in you thank you bread oh my god i have something in my kitchen called white mountain bread it's like this really really fucking soft loaf that you get from the bakery here i don't know if white mountain bread is a real bread but it's fucking delicious rabbit stew is great and you'll eat the bunny and you will like it i mean you can eat the bunny but i don't want to eat the bunny made in france asmr makes some very high quality stuff he made a thing adam's video 
Oh, is thing the hand? Huh, interesting. Interesting. Made it made in France, like the station wagon. I understand. Uh, chickens are not like rabbits. They don't have as many rights, said by a literal fox. Yeah, we do a little racisms here. <laughs> Would you eat the bed chicken? What is a bed chicken? I don't know. What does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> mm. Womp womp. Oh, no! <laughs> Timmy Tams, thank you for the hiking. Two gift subs. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> God, you hate the stupid daddy kink. So many people have it! And that's why it's fun to make fun of. That's very common. I don't think I could actually call someone in a sexual scenario daddy because I would get turned off real fucking quick. I don't, I, don't act, I don't have daddy issues, so I can't see someone sexually and call them daddy. I, know, I just like, I, I don't know. I, I feel like I would be really weirded out if a guy had the same first name as my dad. Like, I've never, I've never called my dad by his first name. But, like, it'd be really weird to be, like, dating someone who had the same first name as my dad. I don't know. Maybe I just love my dad too much. <laughs> Why did I get demonetized? All I did was suck my boyfriend's dick live on stream. That should be legal. You're infringing on my rights. This is sexism. What did you walk into? Yes. <laughs> Did she talk to her real father like that? Is that their argument? No. <laughs> you don't have an inner man? Oh, Tony, I'm sorry you haven't heard enough stories about my past relationships yet, but I am quite literally the man in all of them. I just, I just want to finally be the woman in my relationships for once. I want to be the irrational one. I want to be the one having emotional meltdowns, okay? I want, I want to stop being the one who's like, all right, let's talk and communicate about this. Let's figure out the problem. I want, I want to be the woman, okay? <laughs> I was born with the vagina. I have that right. That sounds like a good idea until you have to fix the holes. I don't. I'm gonna be real with you. I don't even know how to find drywall unless it's exposed, so... <laughs> ah! The tangents are somehow calming. That's weird. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad, but weird. <laughs> You'd wake up to the fucking pterodactyl attacking me if I tried to do that. I can't control the pterodactyl. It attacks... Surprise! That's uh, a surprise attack. I am on the final chapter, Shugazi. You've used me and Pippa's collab to fall asleep? What the fuck? How? Both of us are fucking shrieking. <laughs> just impressed that I actually go back and check chat from 15 minutes ago? I just, I, I don't know, it's like, yeah, it's, it's part of the experience. Maybe I shouldn't be this far behind, but like, I don't, I don't it's like, if you're part of the conversation, I wanna, I wanna have the conversation, you know? Tangent comes after the game. Woman you've been listening to for the last 15 minutes. Shh. <laughs> you just grab the camera and say, Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Ah, uh, I can't imitate fucking MMRT Lex V. Mr. T Lexify. I don't know how to fucking pronounce his name. That was like Seth's favorite YouTuber. I used to have, before all the DMCA shit, uh, I used to have like a, a reward thingy in, in my chat where you could suggest a video for me to watch. Not, not only was I worried about DMCA shit, but also uh, so many videos were requested that I literally never got to play video games. <laughs> and Seth would request MRTLXV videos so often. Anytime one of those videos came up and I had to play it, I would like immediately lose like 20 viewers. Like everybody fucking hated that YouTuber. And I was like, Seth, Seth, why are you like this? Seth, why do you like everything that people hate? <laughs> you read the sample from that book yesterday? It's anecdotes of how bad modern life is and Bible quotes with his proofs. Not really understandable. Oh, I was like, what the fuck is H2N? And I, it kicked in. I remember now. Yeah, help. You will put on the Pecora cosplay. I prefer dollar store Pecora, thank you very much. Ots has been exposed. <laughs> Discord grooming ASMR. Ugh. I don't know what Discord groomers would say. Right? Like... Ha I, I don't, 
Like, I understand how you can groom someone in a video game, right? Because you have, like, stuff you can offer them. But, like, what do you, what do, you do for Discord grooming? Are you just like, mm, Yes, my kitten, I will buy you. I will buy you that game on Steam that you desired. I can, I can give you three months of Discord Nitro. You just... You just have to be in call with me while I'm, while I'm jerking off to your soft voice. Oh, oh, my Discord kitten. Oh, my kitten, I love you. Is that is that is that Discord grooming? Is that what that? I feel like that's more creepy than grooming. Like, how do you, how do you Discord groom? <laughs> how do you, how do you do that? <laughs> Sussy Hypno ASMR, you're already turning chat into frogs! The frogs are so cute! Frogs are so cute. Game is over, time to tangent. I have one chapter left! I have one chapter chat. Tuna Melt chat! Oh, okay, she had a she had a last name, my bad. <laughs> During your formative years, you lived in an apartment near a train line with a club, and I can't go to sleep without obnoxious women yelling! <laughs> That's actually fucking hilarious! Oh my god. You're not so into the sloppy toppy noises? Barely like listening to blowjobs. <laughs> I don't like listening to blowjobs, I just like feeling them. <laughs> what about chewing gum? I won't chew gum on stream because I'm self-conscious about the chewing noises that that might make. That's a thing, you can only really imagine how the fuck they do those specific ASMRs. No! I don't even do ASMR, and I'm pretty sure I can accurately recreate some of those noises with just random shit that I have on my desk. This is like candle eating ASMR. Nice gameplay, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Peeing on stream, TOS? No, I'm not gonna pee with my mic open and until my subathon. And it's not, I'm not, it's not even gonna be peeing with the mic open. I'll be pouring a glass of water in my kitchen. <laughs> that's the, that's the loophole, you know? tangent break so she can feed her mental damage i've 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 taken too many small bullets now okay all right i gotta i gotta repair asmr is quiet nice sounds woman noises gotta, gotta get me some of them woman noises for the day or else i'll be unhappy <laughs> pippa used to sleep with a chicken oh that's so cute that's so fucking like a live one that's adorable Bailey sent you a DM upset that I called him a cunt on Discord using reactions! <laughs> I was- I was trying to do- I was trying to do cunny, but I wasn't fast enough, and so somebody else put the- put the T because they were trying to spell cute. And it just, it turned into cunt. It was, it was amazing. <laughs> if a girl ever called you daddy, you'd immediately walk out the door. But what if it was a joke? What if, what if it was in jest, right? What if, what if, what if you were like, hey, hon, I need you to do the laundry. I know it's a day earlier than you usually do it, but I need that one work shirt for tomorrow's meeting. And she was like, okay, da <clears throat> okay, daddy, I'll do the laundry for you. You know, I like you give her the look of disgust, but you're not gonna walk out, you know? <laughs> father, let's have copulation, father! Uh, forgive me, daddy, for I have sinned. Surprise, motherfucker! Ah! <laughs> the, the, <laughs> Timmy Tims! Timmy Tim, for the record, you were trying to call Bailey cute and she changed it to God. Hey, yo! Thank you for the 250 bitties, my guy. Thank you! Thank you, thank you! A girl never called you daddy. I already read that. <laughs> Friend of yours got called a daddy by his daughter and he visibly cringed. Well, it's like, it's okay. It's okay if it's your biological father to call him daddy up to a certain age, right? I feel like if you're, if you're 15 and you're still calling your father a uh, daddy, you're either like a spoiled rich multi-millionaire child or you got you got some psychological problems. Probably both. Sounds like your previous men have been lacking. What does that mean? I mean, yes, but what did you mean? <laughs> Every wall is a drywall if you fist it hard enough. That's true. 
Sure do you enjoy looking at that poster that says powering humanity into the future. I mean, that's that's just an average day in my stream. Let's be real. <laughs> Games don't exist here. I started. I started on time. You genuinely love the fact that I go back and interact with chat. Thank you. Thank you. I know. I know sometimes I forget the context of what's happening by the time I read it. But, you know, I try my best. <laughs> You wonder if I did a weekly four to six hour Zatsudan, it would increase or decrease tangents? That's a good question. I don't know. I've never tried. Well, that's not true. I have scheduled a few and it didn't really decrease anything. And now, chat, we see why she has to tangent before the game. Otherwise, we get blue balls. I don't know what kind of accent that was. Please help me. <laughs> Discord Gloomers are fond of the pet name Kitten. I used to be fond of that pet name. And now I feel like it has gross connotations. <laughs> Ask my Discord mods. I don't know. My Discord mods are unironically actually human beings. <laughs> if I keep tangenting through the rest of the stream and you don't finish the game in time before the end, you want your fucking points back! What do you mean this Digimon game looks weird? I wasn't playing Digimon today. That are the tendy date is acceptable. <laughs> Why is a Discord mod groomer an old British man? Why not? Who, who better to be a groomer than an old British man? Uh, that's like, I don't know. I, that's just what my mind goes to. Don't forget to ask for foot pics. Oh, I can do that for you. I have feet pics for you. Hold on. Here you go. Here you go, guy. <laughs> You too can have feet pics for just five dollars! <laughs> what the fuck? I hate voice chat now. How do you Discord groom is gonna be brought up in a future tribunal and some poor judge is gonna need to hear that? <laughs> oh no. I'm making you French now? I'm French. I'm French and Italian. I'm, I'm pasta and baguette. No, a dead one. <laughs> White girls fuck chickens? Probably not. I, I don't- I don't know what a chicken's penis looks like, but I can't imagine that they do. <sighs> ah, I finished my coffee. A little earlier than usual. There's a VTuber, you will not say her name, but during her debut she went to poop, left the mic on, and left the door open, and you could pick up all the sounds. That is... I would graduate then and there. I'd be like, all right, life is over. Yeah, it was a fun, it was a fun debut stream. Ah, uh, goodbye. <laughs> Isn't cunny short for cunt? No, it's short for cute and funny. That's so cute and funny. <laughs> Apparently curiosity causes candle eating. That was you guys' fault. That was your fault I ate the candle. It's not your fault I liked it, but it's your fault it happened. <laughs> Oh my god, daddy does actually do it for you? I, puppy, no! You freak, the hell going on in here? Oh shit, nah. <laughs> oh man, that that whole interaction, I like I realized at the end of that sentence that honestly could have sounded like I was going insane. <laughs> Cunny is absolutely short for cunt. Uh. No. Oh, oh. No. Oh, I found it. Oh, I found it. You want you want feet pics? You want you say you said please? I could do that. I could feet do pics, please. I, look, I'll even make them big. I'll even make them bigger. We'll got we'll get some feet pics while I'm fucking ranting. <laughs> Your ex called you daddy in front of her younger cousin for the sole purpose of embarrassing the hell out of him? I that's something I would do, actually. <laughs> Like, we, we'd be, like, having dinner with my dad, and I would, like, turn to you and be like, Daddy, please pass the pepper. I saw both of you would look at me like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And then hope hopefully my dad would be the first one to say, how do you put up with her? <laughs> hopefully he'd beat you to it. <laughs> Actual Silent Hill visitor. Not like this. Defend the tangent. What the heck? Big brain move tangent during the game, inflate the game time? I feel like that's doing a mega disservice to anyone who tries scrubbing my VODs for clips. 
because they're, they're gonna hit this and be like what the fuck i was trying to get clips of the game and now this bitch just standing here with her fucking feet out uh, there's no gameplay <laughs> Discord mods are not human, they just masquerade well. And I feel like mine breaks a human. He's not a mod in Twitch chat yet because he has third world internet, please understand. <laughs> he would be a mod here if he had internet that could stay connected. <laughs> oh, the longer the game goes on in stream, the greater her mental damage becomes that. <laughs> Sam average chatter Hayden. It's been it's been a hot minute. Uh, you know, <laughs> maybe I'll copy this and I'll do something with it. Let's, let's slam it in Nim's DMs. My moderator is also my notepad. Too many carb. I like I like I like protein milkshake, low carb intake, dude. Dudes had to do engineering sounds to pick it up. Oh no, we literally told you not to eat the fucking candle. That's just not true. I, just, I even have a screenshot that Ziz made of some of you egging me on to eat a candle again! <laughs> Cunnies meant cunts since like the 1700s and you're upset that you guys are changing the definition to Zoomer slang. Forgotten Reaper, I have a secret for you. I don't care if cunny has meant cunt in the UK because the UK is not a real nation. The UK is not real, it can't hurt you. The UK is a fictional land where nobody has rights and nothing is okay, and you can't even own a butter knife. Does that place sound real to you? Because it doesn't sound real to me. And cunny has meant cute and funny for lolly for longer than Zoomers have been alive. I hope you've enjoyed this TED Talk. Thank you. Your immediately instinctive need to call you grandma told me that I'm at least half spaghetti and the Bostonian side of things locked it in. <laughs> ah! Except, I, you know, I, I, don't call, I don't call my Italian grandma Nona. I call her Oma, which Oma is also Italian and German, fun fact, for, for grandma. So, like, it works. I feel, I feel like Nona's more old world, though. Like, I, I wish I had grown up calling her that instead of Oma. I never had an Opa, though, because I don't know if my grandfather exists. I mean, like, he obviously does because my mom exists, but, like, I've never seen him. And I've heard so many stories that I don't know... I don't know, like, what he is. He is, he is like, a mythological figure as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> I got I got an Oma and a Memer and a Peper. I got, I got those things. <laughs> I Poppy is hot, not gonna lie. Oh no, not like this. <laughs> we got we got the oh, posters in the chat, honestly. I, I don't know why I fucking like doing it like that, but it makes me giggle. <laughs> oh no. Cunny is what blue archive players use as well. Yeah, but blue archive players are unironically on a list. Let's be honest. And then you marry a Latina and you come to quickly realize being called daddy is normal among Hispanic people. Yeah, that's true. Like, you can use it as, like, an affectionate phrase, but, like, while you're fucking them, it's a little odd. Oh, that's a little strange. Pe Peppa Daddy? Pippa's not my daddy. <laughs> I am mommy. <laughs> You'd honestly believe that would happen, and then my dad would thank your man for putting up with you? Dude, my dad's a fucking chill dude. Dad love. <laughs> Remember how she said she'd try and catch up to the chat and then play? Good times, that! I'm trying! I try my best! If you copy my mental damage comment, make Nim put it through the robot voice for maximum immersion. One one day, I think it, I think it's Vebe who has it. I could be wrong. But one day I'll figure out how to do my own text-to-speech thing, because I would love, I would love like the dono alerts and shit to be read out in text-to-speech, but it'd be my voice. I think that'd be fucking cool as shit. And I'm, pr I'm pretty sure it's Vebe who has it with her voice doing that. You weren't there for the candle originally. You would absolutely try to get me to do it again. Ah! Cunny means bunny in Old English. I, uh, I mean, the, the bunny is cunny, but I don't know about Old English, dude. <laughs> cunny and cute and funny has been around for fucking years. Yeah, but Lars, my guy, I unironically had to explain fucking candy ass and Rudy Poo to people. Uh, you know, like we, we've we've hit we've hit that point. 
where nobody knows. <laughs> you were furiously typing not to eat the candle. Well, you know, fuck you, Timmy Tams. I ate that goddamn candle to prove a point. I unfortunately did not get to prove that point because I liked the taste of the candle. I was hoping the candle would taste worse than candy corn, but... Huh. You, you own a butter knife, but you had to get a background check? Pay a license fee and go on a year-long waiting list, Jesus Christ. And yet I can just pay like 1400 bucks, get a background check, and come home with a pretty-ass vector. Dude, if I get... If I get a white vector, I would love to get some fucking... Some fucking, like, nice decal shit work done on it. Not, like, stickers, but, like, actual engraved decal shit. That would be fucking cool. How did you find a tasty candle? Um, well, it's... It, it tastes like frosted sugar cookie. And it's very accurate to the flavor that it said it was. Nona and Nona are 100% more old world, but it's a good way to tell. That's true. <laughs> In other words, my mother is fatherless. It explains her- it really does explain her behavior. <laughs> Even during- oh no, I know it happens during sex, dragon fats. I'm just saying that it shouldn't. Pippa has the better feet though. You're not going to be saying that when you see my slave sandals. Whenever I get my swimsuit outfit. Please, please, un please understand, artist time is hard to comprehend. <laughs> You've been called Poppy and it does things to your brain. You still don't know. Your husband called you Mommy affectionately and he started whimpering when he was coming one time. He never got to do it again because he threatened to cut his balls off. That'd be really fucking weird to have the guy like fucking shuddering and just being like, Mommy, Mommy. I was, nah, 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 that's strange. The shit you do preach had TTS on the other day, and it was nonstop copy pastas. What? You're not only, you are only someone's dummy, mommy. Ironically, over the internet, not IRL. It's a, it's amusing when people call me mommy. <laughs> you know, candy ass is an insult, but you'd never heard of Rudy Poo. They were at the same time. Uh, they they were both word filters uh, during the same era, so you mu you must have been in a in a. A place where people did not type that that specific word. <laughs> I played myself. What do you mean? How did I play myself? Eating a candle is about sending a message. I'm sending a message to all the FBI agents watching me. You can't control me. I know about the jellyfish. I know your tricks. You're not gonna get me to eat the fluoride. Fuck you. I was based moth by in a Chris. Fuck yeah. Did you just call me a moth? What? What? What caliber for the vector? I like I like using nine mils in games, but I think if I buy one in real life, I want to go forty-five. Have I moisturized my hands? Oh, chat. Have you moisturized your hands? Flavor? I think you mean scent, because you aren't supposed to eat candles. Well, it's flavor now. It's it's flavor now. Poster pointing at Kirshi's legs. I guess it's the future. Yeah. The future is uh, defined muscular calves on women. The Rock would be disappointed that I don't know. Oh, that they don't know the word? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> it's in the same vein as saying hoot nanny. Isn't hoot nanny like a word for a party? 45, Kirsha, don't tell me you were an actual boomer. What do you mean? What do you mean? Great socks. Thank you. I like stocking. 45, ACP, one, two, wow! Wars, baby! I couldn't say that sentence for some reason. <laughs> you moisturize your hands with gun oil? No, that doesn't work. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah! Four, five, one, two, hot white wars! Hallelujah! I caught up! I did it! Hootin' Nanny's like a powwow, a shindig, if you will. A hanky panky. A real boomer language right now. Fucking caught up. I'm here in real time. Let's fucking go. That means I come back to reality. No more. Hey, I get headsets when I come back. I love it. Mobilistic force. When in Hansu. I thought I could come back to reality. Chris Chan used hanky panky. I'm 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 out I'm out here. I understand Chris Chan a little bit. You know, I'm trying to find I'm trying to find me a girlfriend free boy. <laughs> Couldn't pay you to keep lotion on your palms. I have like two bottles of lotion on my desk. 
I like four bottles of lotion on my nightstand. I got I got a I got a little a little container of some body butter. Uh, I like body butter, but this body butter has a lot of sparkles in it, and I feel like it's a waste to use sparkly body butter when like I'm the only one who sees my body. <laughs> Chris Chen said, hey, mommy, to his, oh, no, 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 no. That's rude. That's rude. How do you Close use a mouse with tabs, greasy ass moisturized pad. hands? You get good fucking lotion? And also, I don't lotion my hands while I'm on stream. I usually do it afterwards. Also, fuck you, I need my tabs, you bitch. I already did feed Kim. I already did that, Arnold. Trying to, trying to scam me? Ketchup doesn't count. Oh, God, that'd be disgusting. Can you imagine putting ketchup on your skin? Oh, ketchup smells fucking gross. I can't stand the smell of ketchup. You're an oily boy. I'm still called ashy in the hand stream. I still don't know who had the hands that I coomed over. It was those two people who got 10 out of 10s. Those two people. Says the one who's addicted to ketchup. I like eating ketchup. I like eating ketchup. When I eat ketchup on something and there's like ketchup on the plate after, because I would like dip in french fries and chicken tendies and shit, I gotta put that plate in the sink and rinse it off because if I leave that plate on my desk, the smell is gonna get to me. The smell is gonna get to me and I'm gonna be like, <coughs> I, I can't, I can't. It's the, vi it's the vinegar. Another feet cam came in. Uh, it can't. Because feet cam can only be redeemed once per stream, Mr. Moderator. Am I going to have to send you to a camp to help you learn? Do you need better concentration, Mr. German? <laughs> Smell and taste work together. Yeah, that's true. Oh, that's true. <laughs> she gets horny from ketchup. No! <laughs> Mr. Moderator's going to Brazil? In Terra? <laughs> You can't take the smell of syrup for very long. Oh, if it's maple syrup, I'll sniff that shit all day. Oh, maple syrup smells real fucking good. But uh, ketchup? Nah. Nah, nah, nah. The first feet cam was a stream elements tip. <laughs> wait, am I wrong? Hold on. Wait, Skew might actually be right. I think, wait. <laughs> I think, I think Skew's right. I think I did the first feed cam just like of my own volition. Like I didn't have to, but I did it. <laughs> so you might be right. Oh shit, it's me. It's me who needs correction. Uh, you know, the, the Germans can never stop apologizing for their sins, but on this day, I must apologize to the Germans for I have committed a sin. A sin of fake news. <laughs> It's okay, just, we could go to Brazil together. You probably have a fighting chance, at least. Sorry, correction, send Kirsha back to Brazil. Please finish the game, it's the end, you're so close, I beg. Are you telling me you don't like being edged? You don't like being edged to see if I can actually go to completion in dead space? I just don't believe you. She's imposing her fetishes on us and calling us freaks for requesting what she forced. <laughs> Uh, you know, chat reflects the streamer, honestly. <laughs> oh, those World War I Canadians sinned a lot. Canada. I don't know how Canada got the reputation for being the, I'm sorry, guys. Because, like, you know, I feel like most Canadians I've met, aughts aside, because he's a fanboy, and I guess fanboys can't feel anger. But most Canadians I've met uh, are very angry people. They're kind of sorry. <laughs> you saw Pantsu? Uh, well, someone said pink stripes, so you definitely didn't see Pantsu. <laughs> she claims to hate No Nut November, but here she is not letting us finish. No, you see, edging is a strategy. You'll get there eventually, and it'll feel amazing when you do. But you, you, gotta, be, you gotta be brought to the tipping point a couple of times. They did a big PR campaign to cover up World War II. You know, maybe Ots has to teach me about the, the femboy pinups on the airplanes that Canada had. He'd be angry too <laughs> if he was the prime minister. I'm gonna heal. Yeah! 
Yeah, B for breadcrumbs. I don't remember what the fuck I'm doing. That was a, that was a nice little break. That was, a, that was a nice little intermission. Remember when Kirshi said she'd play the game? I am playing the game! Look, control, shutter controls offline. And fuck you too. Wait, what do you mean? Am I supposed to pull it? I, I guess. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, okay. Activate. You have Canadian co-workers and you had to learn him being extra polite was him being pissed off. I was like that meme that's like stages of white anger and it's like, now hold on there a minute. Uh, I can't remember the other shit, but it's just like really, really blase, like normal sentences and it's fucking funny to me. <laughs> you thought the Canadians were nice was a joke at first? All the ones you knew IRL were assholes? That's what I'm saying! I was like, where the fuck did this psyop, gra like, astroturfed stereotype come from? I, I, I haven't met any Canadians that aren't just like fucking anger management necessary kind of people. Ooh. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that. We're gonna touch... Uh, oh, st we gotta use stasis. Okay. I'm gonna take out my gun. What do I have to do? There's so many... There's so many buttons. There's, a st there's multiple... I don't like that. That there's multiple stasis recharge. Are you fucking kidding me? What? It's... Okay. What? Come on. Yeah, of course they are. Oh yeah, security. I'm the security now. I'm the only one left. Fucking... The other one, I know there's not just one of you. Oh, I missed the shot. I know there's not just one of you. Oh, I see it. Can't run fast if I take your legs off! Little fetus guy. Fine. <laughs> oh god. Okay, I wasted a couple of bullets. Oh, no, that's okay! That's okay! Why do they- why do they have to come in waves like that? I hear you. Oh god, no! Suicide bombing. No, 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 Put up your tentacles. Thank you. Are we good? I hear someone up there still. Why did it do that? <laughs> why did it, why did it do that? Okay, let's pick up all my loot from killing all of these things. That's not loot, that's a body part. You've noticed once Australian VTubers get pissed, their Aussie accent comes out and they say cunt to everything? Maybe Canadians are the same Whoa! in their own way. In their own way. <laughs> Cute! Thank you for the uh, 300 babies, my guy. Thank you! <laughs> I, li I like the word cunt, it's fun to say. But maybe that's because I grew up playing... Well, I didn't grow up, I guess. I, uh, when I was a later teenager, I played with a lot of Aussies in video games. Okay, the bridge controls on this side this time. 
Do I need this? Do I need this bridge control to this new one? This an item? Oh my god, this. I'm fucking nuts. Hey, I should reload. I don't know where I'm supposed to be taking this thing. Like, do I take it to the tentacle or do I take it this way? I am whole ass on shower. <laughs> I'll see you replace most words with cunt. Hold on, push your face to the fucking bindies, mate. She's looking with her special eyes. I'm trying. Well, that looks like a door. So I feel like that gate is a bait. That's a bait gate. So we're gonna, we're gonna do this one. Oh, there's something shiny over there, so that's probably the way they want me to go after. All right, I figured it out. I figured it out. That's the wrong button. Beep. Okay, I pull. No, you bitch! Yes. 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 Okay. I don't like that noise that it just made. But there's a door here, too. Oh! Wah! Put him up! Put him up! Race this fuck! Race this fuck! I hear another one that's not this one I'm looking at, but I don't know where it is. Stomp the beaches. Alright, so... I am incorrect that these doors, these doors aren't with a credit. Credit? Okay, that way. Okay. All right. I was close. What is this? What did I just do? What did I... What did I just do? Did that use my node and then not give me... Not give me a loot room? I don't understand. Did I spend a node? I thought I did. Because, like, these are the things that I spend nodes on, but I can't go in the door. That's not real. Reese these puffs. Reese these puffs. Eat them up. Eat them up. Eat them up. Eat them up. Oh, God. I loved that mashup that people did with, like, the Team Rocket drawing. That was super cute. Let me pick that up. Does that one require two nodes? I don't know, but I have, like, fucking four of them on me. And it won't let me touch anything else. Uh, I think I just got scammed. I think I just got scammed by the game. Well, let me open the door. I can't touch a little panel anymore. If I can scammed out of our minds, dude. Hey! That's an item! You bitch. Yeah. Thank you. Probably open up eventually. Must be time for another tangent. Keep moving the marker? No! You can't tell me what to do. You're not my real dad. Stay in place, I guess. I saw something. Ah <laughs> oh, shit. Ah oh, shit. Ah oh, shit. Ah oh, shit! might be open now. I gotta make sure I picked up all my loot from touching these weird men's. Remember guys, always touch weird men. They give you loot. Oh, you're right. The door does work now. It's a real door. Hi! Hi, Nia! You are clean! I'm glad you are clean. Ooh! That's a lot of shiny. I don't like that. That's such a satisfying fucking noise, dude. Holy shit. Holy shit. Hey, Nim, there's like a big delay on the alerts and I refreshed the cache. I refreshed the cache. I refreshed the cache. 
in in my OBS, but they were still mega delayed. I don't know if there's like a refresh on the stream elements end. So much ammo. I wonder why you'd need that. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to think about why I would need that much ammo. All right, okay. Quick, someone donate so I can see the delay. Don't do that! Did I like West of Loathing? I liked Kingdom of Loathing, which is what West of Loathing was called when it was a browser game and not on Steam. Ah! Skew! Thank you for being a fucking guinea pig! Thank you for being guinea pig -oo. Thank you for the 200 bed Isaac, you're almost ah! You'll have to restore power to the bridges to move the marker through this area. Oh god, it's double vagina! It's double vagina out of its mind! What? That's all right. I'll deal. 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 Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I don't know how to deal with this. I don't know how to deal with this. Oh, there's a wall. I can take cover. Okay. I didn't reload. Okay, one wall vagina down. One wall vagina to go. Yeah! Okay. Okay. All right. No! Uh! Oh my god, there's so many. What am I shooting? What am I fucking shooting? I hate. I hate. Can I? I heard a noise, and that's definitely not for these things. <laughs> okay. All right. Now don't go near those, because they explode. They are very explodey. I don't like that. I do not need a big health kit. I will use a little health kit. Yeah. Yeah, the voices. What about the voices? Are they in your head? They can't hurt you. Oh, there's a bunch of dead men underneath the vagina. As you do. <laughs> Nim! Maybe you're just typing metrics in my chat to make me nervous. Don't, don't say something like that, make me nervous. Pog tasty. Oh, that was a shot. That's all, folks. <laughs> What's in my inventory? Large med stuff, I could sell this. Yes. Plagma anger -y. Contact anger -y. Don't need that. I got plenty of flame fuel. Probably too much flame fuel. If I had to gander. Mm. No! That's hard. And I want more memo. Can you know how you know my memo? You're reacting to me almost pulling a porky? I don't even remember what the fuck I said. <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you. <laughs> I want more ammo. <gasps> Simjang, thank you for full. More. <laughs> more. Yeah, that should be fine. That should be fine. Make you whole? I can't make you whole. That one went through immediately? All right, okay. All right, okay. Did you did you fix it already? Uh, I'm assuming you did. You're pretty efficient. Pretty efficient, Mr. Moderator. You got them sweaty ass cheeks. You didn't touch anything. So what you're saying is, is that just just your existence fixes my alerts. What's that? 
<laughs> All four of the lockers are open. Nim has the magic touch. I'm coming to Wait, kill you he... in Los Angeles at your house. Or in the ring. No, oh, in I don't life. trust. I'm going to stalk him and no get trust. obsessed with him and wear his makeup and his dresses and use his skin as a coat <laughs> like the ancient Irish did. Well, that's your winner. Doesn't seem delayed to me. Thank you for that test alert, Nyam. Thank you. Howdy, for... my name is Bill. How howdy, test Bill, test subject Bill. Thanks, uh, thanks for fixing the alerts. Is it just bits? It looks like it, maybe. Ch maybe, maybe send a test bit alert. Surprised no one has said make us own a hole. Please no, please no. It's the Nim Chromants are able to return alerts to their normal state. <laughs> what guns do I have? This one. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but I have I have this one. I can make it go horizontal and vertical, like like the real engineer that I am. <laughs> the only gun that matters. Did I try playing the basketball game back on the ship? I did. I said I fucking hate Blitzball, but I would try it just once. Bla buy the plasma rifle because it's good. <laughs> no. No, I don't think I will. Bridge malfunction. Are you fucking kidding me? Do I have to, like, manually? No? Okay. Uh, it came from there. Beef of Blitzquam! Okay. Yeah, bits work too. I, okay, all right, you're never allowed to be late for stream again, Nim, because apparently they just like you more than me. Uh, I don't. I don't even touch anything, and it just breaks by my mere existence. Stompy box. Entering zero gravity. I don't like entering zero gravity. That was a floating torso. Plasma cutter is all you need? Whatever this gun is, it's the only one I need. <laughs> Skew! Skew, thank you for being a guinea pig again! I promise I won't put you in dresses and then eat you! Thank you for the 200 bitties. <laughs> oh, this isn't... I thought this was zero gravity, but it wouldn't let me... Oh, it is zero gravity. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck is this? Hello, head! Oh, 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 oh. I don't, I don't, I don't, I really don't like this. I don't know what kind of tunnel this is, but I'm not here for it. Holy shit, games are being played. I started the game when I said I would. Delay is fixed. Clearly this is Nim trickery. Clearly! Clearly, I'm gonna have to fucking actually throw corn at him from outside his house to get him here on time. It's the two wall vagina tunnel. I feel like. What? I can't tell. Oh, it is a baby. Wait, it's a black baby! I didn't know they could be black. That's the first time I've seen those ones. That's so weird. How am I- how am I still seeing, like, new fucking nonsense enemies in the last chapter? This is so disorienting, and I hate it. <laughs> I fucking hate it! Ah, there's a thingy! Thingy. I have a little computer in my chest. What is that for? What is that for? Stream banned, wait, why? Why am I banned? Oh, okay, maybe I have to go like this. Is this a stompy box? That's a foot, fuck out of here. Stompy box? Oh, it's a piece of a stompy box, okay. What do you mean? How do I? How, 
how do I... That didn't help. Uh... That's where it projects my map and other stuff? Holy shit, I didn't know that. Hello, Neek! You heckin' cute! My phrasing is funny, but good luck in your YouTube streaming career. Wait, what do you, what do you mean? What do you, I don't stream on YouTube yet. What do, you, what do you mean? Did I think they all got aborted? What? I don't get it. I was a little, the little, the fetus that came at me. Find the angle. Realistically, they'd probably display the stuff that my UI on my back. Oh, that's true. That makes sense. Ding, 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 ding. I didn't think I got it. I stopped. I stopped trying. Okay. All right. Okay. We got a couple of things. You bitch. Okay. We'll do this one first. Did I forgore how to jump? I don't know. Oh, wait. That's a floor. Oh, wait. That's a floor. Okay. I killed a black one? Yeah, the babe, the fetus baby thingy! It was, it was like the, the like, burny ones. They, there's like the regular aliens, and then there's the aliens that have like all of the, all of the black stuff all over them. I don't know what it is, but it's like the drippy stuff. Cool shit. Cool shit, a fucking room, dude. All right, what am I doing? This thing, stasis recharge? I don't need it yet. All right, this thing, pull it down. Beep, 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 beep. My objective is active. Is this like an elevator? What are these noises? I like how everything just falls to the ground daintily. It kind of takes a little bit of the edge off of them all being uh, human body parts. Enhanced Necromorph. Oh, okay. I didn't know that they had a specific name. I've just been calling those specific aliens like babies and fetuses. That's what they look and sound like. When in doubt, hold B. Be the blood club! Up. Oh, it like activated fans? So I just, I just gotta go back? Wait, why do I... Why does it... Why does it want me to go back? I don't wanna... Okay, well, um... Fetuses are back! This fetuses back and it's better than ever for Christmas this year! The fetus here! I don't even need to shoot him. I just fucking said peace out. Fuck peace out. Where's the floor? Where's the fucking floor? I'm so fucking lost. There we go. I did it. Remember when I said I'd never need the stasis packs? Yeah, I remember. Did I need them? Did I fucking need him? That's not kind of big. Oh! Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, 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 yeah. stasis him and then I stand in front of him like I have fucking brain damage okay I've run out of stasis so I gotta I gotta do some some rigamajig in here 
Stasis? No, nah. no, nah, I don't seem to be actually. Maybe that's the first time you've seen me use stasis in a fight. It's because it's because Timmy Tams was bullying me for for saying that I don't need the stasis packs, which I didn't. That made me remember to use it in that fight. So I mean, he he did good even if he was trying to be a bully. Beep. You're helping. You haven't seen an Azure Lane stream in years? That's not true. I streamed Azure Lane like a week ago or some shit. It's good that I'm an Azure Lane player. Wait, why? Wait, why? Fetus's back sounds like abortion themed horror film. Maybe. I don't know how many people remember the Hess truck commercials or even know what a Hess truck is, but that's the jingle I was doing. I'm doing all of this just for the ending? What do you mean? Don't, don't spoil me. Don't spoil me. I've come this far. Don't spoil me. Holy shit, Hess. How did you not recognize it? As though the, the, the jingle's the fucking, the fucking, the house truck's back and it's better than ever for Christmas this year. The house truck's here. Yeah. Your grandpa used to get you those collectible trucks for Christmas when you were a kid. I, I never got a Hess truck because I wasn't really interested in them, but the jingle stuck in my head forever. <laughs> you haven't seen that commercial in years? Yeah, but I still remember every fucking line. Just like the, just like the fucking 1-800-54-GIANT CALL. Giant glass. <laughs> you got the green collectible truck? Was it Hess? I mean, maybe. I don't know. Hess's colors were green and white. <laughs> Spoilers, get the helicopter ride. You had the Hess truck with the trailer and the helicopter. Dude, the helicopter one was fucking cool. You don't even know if we have Hess in the south? I don't think... I don't think Hess exists in the south. I mean, I don't know if it even exists in the north anymore. I'm gonna be real with you. <laughs> How about the Empire commercials? I can't remember their jingle. Uh, I can I can remember the the heckin' Bernie and Phil's quality, comfort, and price. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my brain really did stop working in two thousand nine, eh? <laughs> Your kid's Canadian self, 7371111, call pizza pizza, we deliver. How the fuck do I even jingle that? <laughs> Hess doesn't exist anymore? Oh god, I'm so sad. They had a fucking bang- I had one of the modules on me. They had a banger ass commercial. Oh, I dropped it. That's not what I meant. I thought I was in the menu. No, now I can't pick it back up. Oh no, I thought I was in the fucking menu. Give me out. Give me, give me. Thank you. I get pick it up! Oh god. Her brain just regularly resets to December 2009. It's like Dory, but it's a coconut. How do I get this? How do I? Hell, y'all fucking nuts! <laughs> Hess does still exist? HessToyTruck.com for the toys. They don't have gas stations anymore, but are still an oil exporter. <gasps> That's kind of neat. I, I'm, gl I'm glad they still exist in some capacity. Probably. I don't know. Okay. Plasma energy, flame fuel. I'll keep those on me. I need those because they're my goons. My goomba. Is that why she picked coconut for ASMR? She can't. Can't. <laughs> I'm gonna keep these on me, actually. I burped, I'm sorry, that was gross. <laughs> Sometimes I forget. Sometimes I forget where I am and I'm just like, yeah, bleh. <laughs> 
I know very ladylike. <laughs> I like when I'm in voice call with people who have known me for ages and they don't expect it and I just fucking burp in their ear and they're just like, whoa, whoa, what the heck? <laughs> no line cutter bot, day ruined? No way, dude. No way, the only gun I need is this one. Whatever this is, this is the only one I need. Oh, I forgot to lift up the bridge, hold on. <laughs> bridge cells are small, please understand. All right, and then I fucking touch the big, big dragon dildo. This is this is actually just Aunt Dick after the murder. <laughs> Give me my recharge. Here's your brap stream incoming. I hope I never brap on Mike, dude. <laughs> There's a VTuber that specializes in barfing? I don't know how I feel about that. <sighs> hey, wait a minute, it's the weekend! What is what does that mean? <laughs> I mean, yes, you're right, it is in fact the weekend, but what is what does that mean? Is there something I should have been doing this weekend? Did I forget something? I don't understand. You're scared to ask, but what is a brap? It is a fart. It is a fart. <laughs> You're supposed to play a game. Oh yeah, I did forget. I did forget. Well, that's okay. We'll schedule it at some point. You know? <laughs> oh! Well, that is not good sounds. That is like end of game sounds. That is, you've found the mobby noises. Bum, wham, wham. To you too. There's loot over there. Okay. I drag this boy this way. See, Nim, you could have played the game, but someone needed to do her tangents last stream. I I don't remember what last stream was, and I mean, you know, my, la my last stream was on Friday. Uh, my last stream was on Friday. <laughs> I don't know about you, but... Beep, beep. Okay, they're giving me a lot of flame. Hello! Ooh, there's just a guy's head in the corner next to that weird space urinal. Rotary engine doesn't sound like fart. I have never interacted with a rotary engine, so I wouldn't know. Power node acquired. You hate the fact that brap is a fart? Because now you can't say rotary engine goes brap brap brap. <laughs> Saturday deleted. Yeah, wh what happened Saturday? I was I was making eggs and bacon. I gotta lift up the bridge, and I know as soon as I lift up this bridge, someone's gonna fucking come at me. Boop. Stasis recharge. Don't need that yet. All right. Okay. Activate. Bunk. <laughs> Touch. <laughs> My last stream was Friday. How do you not remember I streamed yesterday? I didn't stream yesterday. What are you talking about? Well, that one didn't bump the door. I'm kind of dissatisfied. Burping lady. Burping lady dude. Is the stream frozen? It shouldn't be. I thought uh I'm not dropping any frames either. Oh, that's cool looking. God, fucking Isaac is a madman, dude. Why am I here? Why are men like this? Wait, where did it go? 
Can I fall off of this? No, okay, that's good. <laughs> they put... They put an invisible wall there exactly for people like me! And that's what I appreciate about game developers. And then when they, when they put the guardrails in on the edge of the bed so you don't fall out while you're sleeping. Thank you, game devs. Hello? 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 You bitch ass! One explosion. Oh god! The baby! Ah! Ah! We got Usain Bolt and a baby? I can't have that to everyone! Baby! I don't want to waste ammo, please, please. Thank you. Okay, okay, alright. Okay. I hear you! Fetus is in the trash bin where it belongs. Can I touch this? Gravity tether status. It does not sound happy that I am destroying its chemicals. Can I like that. Go down. Go down. Thank you. Hear you! Tentacles? Show me the tentacles. Show me the tentacles. Don't jump at me! Show me the tentacles. Thank you. Mm, I see you! Oh, you don't have like a head. Kind of missing the head. Hello. Dang it! I could I could voice an alien. Okay. okay, all right. Just gonna grab this. We're gonna grab it. We're gonna take it. We're taking it. The music is intensifying. I'm stopping. I can't get in there. Can I? Can I open? Nope. All right, well. Okay. Man, this music is like real stressful. Wondering how you got the cliff through, but the Kinshi Link and White Wolf said, Yeah, someone finally figured out! No, no, you're so fucking smart. <laughs> I don't. I don't like this. Thank you, Isaac. I always believed in you. I knew you'd return to me. We are whole again, Isaac. No. We are whole. No. The door opens. Funny thing that. Oh. She put the red rocket back. Yeah. I I returned the dragon dildo to its rightful place, and then I took a bath, as you do. Isaac, you really didn't think I was just gonna walk away, did you? What? I can't do that. What? Margaret's coming with me. It's a shame. I'm starting to like you. Even if you are insane. You are, he is kind of insane. All of this oh for a girl? Don't believe me? Take a look at yourself. Better yet, take a look at the video from Nicole. And this time, watch it right to the end. What? Isaac, it's me. I wish I could talk to you. 
I'm sorry. Why is she removing I'm sorry everything? about everything. I wish I could just talk to someone. It's all falling apart here. I can't believe what's happening. That's strange. Such a little thing. In the end, it all comes down to this one little thing. Wait, what? I didn't want it to end like this. Wait, what? I really wanted to see you again. Just once. I loved you. I always loved you. Why she got a needle? Why is she poisoning herself? I, I don't get it. You're insane. Just like Kai. Just like the captain. Nicole has been dead this whole time. Whatever you were seeing was caused by that. You are its pawn. But don't worry. It will be in good hands now. Far away from this damn place. Goodbye, Isaac. Man, I spent so much time fucking tugboating this shit out here. Are you kidding me? Was it surprising for anyone the game acted like it was a big reveal? I mean, like, we already knew the, the lady was fucking crazy. Uh, I think it was obvious that Nicole was dead the whole time. And that he was, like, seeing some sort of weird specter created by the aliens. But, like... I don't understand what Nicole did. Uh, why did she kill herself? Was she like infected with alien goo and she didn't want to become one of them? But like even after death, even after death, you become one of them. So like, I just I don't know. I don't get it. 5G makes a man do things you won't catch me, CIA. Fuck off. It's my brain jellyfish now. Nicole got the shot. I don't remember what that is. Wow, they're giving me a lot of items. Do I gotta fight an alien or just like the one human bitch? What is ha- who is the enemy anymore? Who- who is the bad guy at this point? I don't fucking know, dude. Alright, I can use... one of these. Ding, 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 ding. It's the planet me- I'm the bad guy! But I didn't make the dragon dildo! That made people go crazy. Have I been in this room before? How many nodes do I have? Six, okay. Just kill every- yeah, if everyone's dead, you won't have an enemy! Well, now that I know, do check out the letters to the first letter of each chapter in the game. They spell out the twist. Interesting. I'll have to look at it after. Is there anything I can get right now? Pesma cutter. I can get more capacity, I guess. Um, speed? Uh, I got speed and reload left. I might as well max out the gun, right? Like, this is the end. This is the end! I might as well max it out. Rig? I only have two nodes, so I can't do anything with those. She's back on her genocidal tendencies. <laughs> Are you really living your life if you don't have a little bit of genocidal tendencies? Everyone in dead space is dead? Again? Who could have thunk it? I'm gonna buy, like, I got a hundred thousand credits and it's not like I need to buy anything else. Let's buy a bunch of nodes, dude. Power node. Power node. She did this with a weak ass suit? Isn't this the last one? I'm in level five suit. I'm in level, it's not the last one. Max out on ammo and health and then buy some power notes to upgrade health. That's what I'm doing. Ding ding, ding ding.
There's one more suit, but it's New Game Plus only. Oh, okay. Okay. I haven't upgraded the HP on it. Well, yeah, I didn't need to. I didn't need to upgrade the HP. I'm only playing on normal mode. I'm not... I'm not heavy hitting gamer. You're from Buenos Aires? And you say kill them all? Well, I mean, if you tell me to, at least I got your permission. <laughs> we got large med... I think I should put all the medium med packs in my safe and then only take the large ones out, right? Like, I'm probably not going to need the mediums. Only use large on the size queen for health packs. I don't know how much flamethrower I'll need over plasma energy. I'll keep some on me. Uh, safe, I'll get the large med pack. Move, move. Shop? Plasma energy. Energy. We got large med packs. We got a lot of plasma energy. We're kind of gaming. I think that's good. I think that's good. You're not from Brazil. I need I need the I need the cooey eaters to give me to give me some of their advice. Actually a gamer, even if she lies about playing games a lot, shh. Everybody needs to think I'm terrible at all games all the time. <laughs> Three more nodes and I can max my health? I don't need it! Max your health out? Nah. Did I save the game? Did I save? Yes? Okay, good. <laughs> I never remember if I actually saved. Woo! I'm a loopy little man! Oh god. Yeah, fuck you, bitch. Oh, yeah. oh god, that is. That's, I wish I could have killed her myself, but. If the alien knows I'm trying to help it, though, why does it want to kill me, too? Oh, it's a snack. It's being a little snack alien. Ooh! Hello, giant butthole! Alright, are you guys ready to see me die? Because I'll not figure out how to do anything fast enough. Okay, alright. I'm shooting you in your pus? I guess I'll recharge while you're doing whatever the fuck that is. Hey, I dodged it. Hush, not you. Hush, sure. You move around a lot, with your ass face. Okay, well, I just kind of casually stepped out of the way and didn't get hit. I don't really. Oh, he got my leg. He got my leg. Lord, 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 Lord. I can't do anything! Am I even- did I die? Did I fail already? Oh god! What's happening? Shoot it! Shoot it in the butt! Shoot it in the butthole! What's happening?! Panic! Oh, I got reload. Oh, okay, I shot a pus. Okay, alright, okay, alright. I'm, I'm very bad at trying to aim at this angle. Okay. Shoot it in the pus! Yay! Yay! Okay, all right. How much damage have I taken? What is happening? Give me, give me. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck it up. Reload. Oh wait, I can pick up these things. Not that. This one. This one. This one. Go. Ah. Okay, I took damage. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. Can I, can I, can I just get a, okay, all right, okay, I'm gonna, no! Fuck you! Oh, that made a really gross butthole noise. Can I, can I shoot them before they become a thing? Oh, 
my god. There's so much going on. On the ship? Okay, all right. Clap! We clapping! He definitely does look older than I was expecting him to. This, this whole ordeal probably put like fucking 50 years on his life though. He's like, fuck that, I don't want to listen to it. I no! This is a heartfelt moment. I gotta play the second one. Well, I do own the second one, but we we are behind. Uh, that's why I still have the scary fucking bit alerts, because we are very behind on our spooky schedule from October. And uh, you know, no wonder you guys said that me doing Dead Space early on in October would pretty much take up the whole fucking month. That wasn't a hallucination. That was actually her. He had to kill her. Well. I hope he killed her, because she kind of fucking came at his throat. Like a silent hill mob going for the jugular, dude. How did I like the game? It was it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. It's not it's not like <laughs> 
It's, I wouldn't say it's atmospheric horror. Like, I still probably was more tense the entire way through Soma. So I, would, I wouldn't really want to call this game a horror game, right? Like, it had a lot of jump scares, but I get jump scared in Tarkov. And Tarkov's not a horror game. But it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Gotta take off. Thank you for a great stream. Yo, Mantarok, thanks for hanging out, my guy. What time is it? What time? I can, I can start my thingy now. I can start thingy. I start thingy. It's more thriller with body horror elements. Tarkov is horror. What the fuck you mean? I'm sure Tarkov's not a horror game. <laughs> Don't forget the mission names. Mission name. Mission name. Tarkov is horror. It's not horror. It's more of a survival game where you deal with grotesque monsters. Yeah, it's, it's the same with Alien Isolation. And I, I think that's why I really hated Alien Isolation when I started it. Because everyone, everyone told me that Alien Isolation was atmospheric horror, like Soma, and that it was one of the best atmospheric horror games ever made. And because I went into Alien Isolation thinking it was an, a, a, an atmospheric horror, I hated it. I fucking hated it. Like, I almost rage quit like Yuri did. I completely understand why she rage quit that game. Because it's like... Uh, the only reason I was able to push through that was I stopped thinking of it as a horror game. And I'm a stubborn bitch. <laughs> so, there's no way I wanted to give up. Soma, Soma is absolutely fucking horror. Dead Space and Alien Isolation, I wouldn't say are horror. I would call them just regular role-playing games with, like, thriller elements. Because, like, the, the, the jump scares fucking get you, dude. They do. But they don't have, they don't have like, the tense atmosphere the whole time. Those people aren't wrong about Alien Isolation. It's just also a shit game on top of being very atmospheric. I would say it's atmospheric for a role-playing game. It is not atmospheric horror. There's a, there's a difference between a game being atmospheric and then being atmospheric horror. Soma's probably also considered psychological horror because of what it deals with, probably. But Soma would be a shit game without the sound designers. The sound designers literally made that that game. I mean, this isn't horror. Wait till you get to the third Dead Space. It's the most not horror. I was told to not buy Dead Space three, so I didn't. I only I only bought two. Soma's meh, you agree on that? Soma, Soma is like peak atmospheric horror for me. Like, if, if you played that game without the sound on, it would be boring as fuck. But the sound designers made Soma what it is. The sound designers made it atmospheric horror. Don't forget, Isaac Clark donated to get me to play Dead Space 2. He included text! I, re I remember, I remember, that's why I bought it. That's why I bought did the game! We didn't get any scares out of it. It was just kind of like any other game of its type. I mean, atmospheric horror could possibly not be a genre for you. If you if you don't feel like tense anxiety from sound elements, then, then it's, it's possible that Soma would just be boring as fuck regardless of how well the sound designers did. Because there's some people that are like that. There's some people that just like, you know, the, the sound doesn't get to them, you know? Soma's such a good atmosphere and story horror. I, I think the story's pretty good, but holy fuck is, is Simon an idiot. Like, I, I can't, I can't fucking stand What's-His-Fuck from Resident Evil 7 and 8. I can't remember his name. He is, he is dense as a bag of fucking potatoes. And Simon is even dumber than him. Ethan, thank you. Simon is even dumber than Ethan. I was like, I... I get you have to have some suspension of disbelief when you have a main character in a horror game because I have to make some dumb decisions in order to advance plot. But can I can I have a man as the main character in my horror game above room temp IQ? Please, developers, stop making them to my dating tastes and make them more realistic. <laughs> the new Alone in the Dark you're looking forward to? Oh my god. Soma's well made. You'll never claim that it's not. Yeah, it just might. It just might not be a game for you. Like atmospheric horror might not be the kind of game that like will get you, right? But it's like ugh, the sound designers in Soma. I hope they fucking make another game, and it's not shit. <laughs> Alan Wake. Alan Wake was fun. I played uh, both Alan Wake and Those Who Remain. I have no idea which one came first, but Those Who Remain feels like a dollar store version of Alan Wake. 
and I both got heavily copyright striked when I put those VODs on YouTube. <laughs> if I played Dead Space 3, do it co-op? I didn't buy 3 because you guys all told me it was garbage. Chapter 12, Dead Space. Alien runes, I can't read that. I'm sorry, I didn't learn Japanese. Military suit unlock, backstory log unlock. 50,000 credit, 10 power node. Impossible mode. Enter. Save your game and load it again to play another round with all of your equipment. Okay. Um, I guess I just save over this. Yes. Okay. And then how do I how do I look at the the names of the chapters? It's damn near co-op comedy. Oh my god. Those runes are from MK Ultra. Are they trying to activate us? They're trying to they're trying to get us to do with terrorism. Google what? I'm supposed to Google it? I can't just look it up in game? What the fuck? Why would they do you like this? Why would they do this? Annyeong. Annyeong. Dead Dead Space 2008 chapter names. Hello, Mokina lady. How are you? More items. Dead Space. Here we go. Chapter plot. Slasher leaper slug. Chapter Nicole is dead. I bet they thought they were so fucking clever, eh? <laughs> I bet they thought they were so fucking clever. That's kind of cool, though. I think the reboot will have the twist that she isn't dead and spell that out. <laughs> they have they have more chapters so they can spell out Nicole is alive. <laughs> This is 2008. It was clever. I didn't say it wasn't neato. It was, it's just, you know, I feel like it was very obvious that she wasn't alive. What the fuck? Spoilers. Vid covers all the books and comics. What the hell? Click here for free Chris Vector. I would, I would love for the Glowies to give me a free firearm. You know, my background is very clean. It just becomes Nicole No Dead. Nah. You're good, you're getting stuff unpacked? Yeah, congrats on the new heckin' house, lady! Must be, it must be heckin' fun to move all the stuff in. I mean, moving in is, like, exhausting, but, like, you got a new fucking place. This was the cake is a lie era. Oh my god. So random, lol, XD. <laughs> ah! Hmm. This is suspicious. This is suspicious to me. I have... I don't like this. You've been gifted a subscription. Discord has gifted you nitro boosts for one year. Wait, why? And how? But it says it's a bot. It doesn't... What the fuck? It says it's a bot. That's a lie. I, I just... That's the wrong button. <laughs> I want... I want this. There we go. I was trying to close down my fucking capture. That's okay. You guys got to see my spam email, not my real email. <laughs> uh Uh-oh. Here she's losing it. Load your plasma cutters, chat. I wanted to open my other browser. Oh yeah, I should go to just chatting now. Goodbye, Dead Space. We loved you. Just dead spacing. Mm. Fox flavored stroke. Is Tim being extra fruity today? I don't think I'd be able to smell him putting on lotion from the living room. So is it rant time now? You fucking bet your ass it is. Dead Space is now dead. Did I change my section? I don't know, dude. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Is there anything? Is there anything on Anima? Okay. Oh, hey. Uh oh.
Uh oh. <laughs> I didn't I didn't get this email. I didn't get this email. Oh no. So my <laughs> The fucking, the fucking place that I live has these, like, mm, COVID-19 package lockers. And you have to, like, you have to, like, put in a code to get your, to get your package out of them. And they only hold them for a certain amount of days for whatever fucking reason. And I got an email, apparently, on the 9th uh, that gave me a code to pick up a package. And it was unread, so I was like, wait a, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, so uh, it, it's like, hey, today's the last day to pick it up. And I'm just like, ah, interesting. Technically, it's only been two business days. No, today's the last day. <laughs> they don't give you very long to pick it up. It kind of reminds me of how, like, when I ordered that, that purse from Japan, and they didn't drop it off at my apartment. Instead, they put a little ticket on my door where they were like, hey, we tried to drop this off, but nobody answered the door. Come pick it up at the post office within three days or we're shipping it back to Japan. Fuck you. What did you break? Now hurry up and go get it. Now nah, I have time. Probably. Uh, you know, there's nobody at the office right now. <laughs> they can't take back my package yet. Two games in the same stream would just be greedy. Just get it. Just do it. Emails like that go to spam too. It's not even in my spam folder. It's just in my other folder. It's just in my, my other folder. Okay, so the things that I wanted to talk about today, because I, I had a couple of articles. I had a couple of articles, you know, just a little bang on balls. I do not want to bang on balls. I'm not good at 3D platformers. So yesterday... Yesterday, we talked about how that Canadian teacher guy who wears the large, stinky, prosthetic breast with the protruding nipples. We talked about him a little bit and how the Canadian, the Canadian uh, school system was just like, well, we can't have a dress code because that would be infringing on people's rights. So you're just going to have to deal with giant prosthetic booby man. <laughs> Buy a door cam and watch the delivery driver sprint up to the door with only the note and run away. I'd be so fucking mad. What did I order if it's okay to ask? I, from Japan? Or I already said what I ordered from Japan. Like the package that I'm talking about? It's, uh, it's uh, the throne thing. The, the, head, the headphones. It should be, at least. Play slap the monkey. No! Canada writes. Pick one. Where's my browser? So today, instead of talking about prosthetic booby nipple man... We got, we got this lady. We got this lady. We got, we got an actual lady who's just like wearing vastly inappropriate things to school as well. I'm a hot teacher. I love it when my students' dads stare at me and I have no problem sleeping with them. Why are you like this? Why are you like, keep your fetish out of school. Uh, school school is not for you to get dad's dicks hard. It is for you to teach the children. I just... This this is just as bad as prosthetic booby man. What kind of teacher is she? Dude, let me... Let me... I smoke. I drink. I I'm basically the... Like why? Why would, you, why would you wear that? A stunning teacher has sent followers wild with her revealing outfits and candid admissions. Maddie has racked up more than 3,000 followers on her TikTok account thanks to her raunchy clips. That feels kind of low for someone who does this stuff, right? And many are designed to get your heart racing. What I wear is a teacher. TikTok is cancer. Yep. TikTok is the worst thing that's ever happened. TikTok is basically Vine, but somehow China made it more interesting, I guess. I don't know. TikTok is a mistake. She teaches at Orange Tube High. Oh my god. Like, look at this! How are you gonna wear- Like, if you're a college teacher, like, maybe. I still personally think it would be wildly inappropriate, right? Like, this is just, like, teacher fantasy attire. Like, if it, if it was college- I'd be like, all right, I personally think it's wildly inappropriate, but at least they're all adults, right? Like, 
whatever. But I... The art teacher, because of course she is, regularly shares sexy clips of herself in the classroom, acting out scenarios all while wearing low-cut tops, short skirts, and high heels. Many involve her so-called experiences with single dads, as well as her allegedly X-rated lifestyle outside school hours. In one video, she sits at her desk appearing to write notes before looking up with a smile. The text above reads, When a student gets too comfortable by talking to you like a friend just because you're meeting his father privately. It's always the art or English teachers. In another, she is seen showing off a variety of outfits which become more revealing as the week goes on. It's just what I wear as a teacher, she quipped. In one of her most seductive scenarios, she is seen bending over to pick up a pen from her desk before revealing another low crop top. Signing off with a cheeky wink, the text reads, When I'm late for the parent-teacher meeting and the dad is already staring at me. While men flock to the single woman's comment section to respond with praise, flattery, and offers of romance. Kings, you, mu you must... You, you must have more value in yourselves than this. Please, I beg. Uh, I, I, bet, I bet some of those dudes that are giving her that kind of flattery for wearing this shit in the workplace are the kind of guys that are like, yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't like those gay men. I don't like them cocksuckers, but lesbians, I'm okay with them. I'm okay with the lesbians. That's probably them kind of peoples, you know? <laughs> Some people aren't so impressed with her outfit choices or behavior. Gee, I wonder why. In fact, they're pretty horrified by the candid admissions she makes on a social media app that's in full view of her students. In another raunchy clip, for example, Maddie hints at a very sexy side hustle as she compares her work clothes to what she wears in her free time. Some people are like, shame on you, you're gonna get fired. While many teachers stick to modest outfits and keep their private lives away from prying eyes. Many? In what year? Maddie is far from the only one to share her life behind the scenes. One teacher claims that people say she goes from a 5 to a 10 when she changes out of her work clothes. While another says she's inundated with offers from potential suitors when she reveals she's a hot geography teacher. Hey, you hear my cat? He's freaking out. My cat's freaking out. He's upset too! When a student gets comfortable by talking to you like a friend just because you're meeting his father. Like, look at this! This is, this is not what you wear as a teacher to school! What the heck? You have no attraction to gay, but you find lesbian hot. I, I'm not talking about attraction. I'm talking to people that are just like, that's some gay shit. That's some, that's some gay shit. That's gross. But I like the lesbians. I'm talking about those. <laughs> That's the wrong two. She's a teacher. Yeah. It's a good thing she's not a goddamn English. Like this has to this has to be fake, right? There's no way she's a teacher. When a student gets too TO comfortable by talking to you like a friend just because you're meeting his father privately. I was like, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> when I'm late for the parents teacher meeting and the dad already stares at me. I'm like, what is, what is this English? What is this English? She's an art teacher. Never miss a day going to school. Very rarely did you miss a day. I got out of school as often as I could. Fuck that. If I could pretend to be sick and stay home, eat soup, play video game. Hell yeah, dude. What's the name of her school? I see some double standards in here. I see them. That's a weird faced man. Definitely isn't the English teacher if she is one at all. I, I want to see some credentials. I'm asking for your ID, lady. <sighs> what is it with art teachers and turning people into genocidal maniacs? Well, when art stopped being really, really nice and started being interior semiotics, that's probably about when. Johnny Sins was also a teacher. Did he wear ludicrous shit while he was at school? Did he have his Adonis lines in full view of, of the fourth graders? <laughs> She's got a union card. That's all the credentials she needs to keep from getting fired. Thanks, I hate it. Thanks, I fucking hate it. I want, I want, I wanted to bring this up since we were talking about the the big titty prosthetic guy to just prove that it's not 
Because, like, some some people definitely bring out the whole, like, you can't get upset that he's wearing the prosthetics because that's how he identifies. And that's very, that's very transphobic. No, it's not. It's inappropriate. When that person does it, it's inappropriate. When this lady does it, it's all inappropriate. Adonis Lines is very polite. You prefer cum gutters. Are you admitting publicly that you're a, a tummy cummies kind of guy, Edward? <laughs> that English class created murderers. Catch her in the rye. You can read me catch her in the rye and watch me jack off. Speaking of watching people jack off, I have this article. UFC star Sean O'Malley just had stem cells injected into his wiener. <laughs> You're refusing to elaborate and leaving. Oi, <laughs> what the fuck? Tummy chads. Ed sees a millimeter of midriff and folds like an omelet. Oh no, dude. What? Why? Apparently this is how you fix erectile dysfunction nowadays. <laughs> In case it wasn't already obvious, Sean O'Malley plays by his own rules. It wasn't obvious because I have no idea who the fuck he is. The UFC bantamweight contender ranked number one in the world. I don't watch sports. After defeating Petr Jan at UFC 280 last month in Abu Dhabi, wanted to improve his performance in the bedroom, which is understandable considering Sugar often has more than one partner to please. Wait, what? I don't, I don't know if I can open this link. Hold on. What does that mean? Uh, okay. Okay, we'll get th we'll get there in a second. We'll get there. We'll get there in a second. <laughs> That's why O'Malley dropped trow and took a needle in the dong. That's not a sentence I thought I would say today. Well, it could supposedly help with girth and performance, O'Malley told his YouTube followers. So I'm like, well, it ain't the first time I've had a needle in my wiener. Hit me up, Doc. It hurt worse than I thought it was going to because they said, I won't hurt that bad. We had an option to have a guy do it or a girl do it. And I said, I want the hot doctor to do it. And Tim's like, I want the guy. <laughs> she grabbed mine and it started growing right away. I'm like, God damn it. I'm, I'm sorry. And then the male doctor came in and was like, want me to hold your hand? And my wiener went down. Why does... <laughs> Why does this fucking read like a child wrote it? I'm so fucking like, what? <laughs> How much does this cost? I guess one needle be beats a monthly subscription to Cialis. According to Elite Aesthetics, penis enlargement stem cells, also known as the P shot or the Priapus shot, can increase sex drive, improve erectile dysfunction, and offer increased girth, though extended length from the injection is considered rare. The procedure takes less than an hour and lasts up to 12 months. How many, how many of you guys are going to go get the PP shot? How many of you guys are going to take the needle in the penis? <laughs> UFC brain damage. Oh my god. Why is this necessary for the article? Why not? <laughs> Henry, you're out. You're out. You're out like you're gone or you're out like you don't want the, the dick needle. <laughs> Once they're available in sounding form, don't say that. Don't say that. You don't think you'd ever need a needle in your pee pee? I mean, what if what if you need up to twelve months of your penis actually working? <laughs> what if you need that? And like the link, okay? I'm guessing Sugar is like his girlfriend, right? Uh, often has more than one partner to please, and then that opened that opened this article. Not phony, Sean O'Malley celebrates open relationship. We've had some dope threesomes. I don't know what not phony means. I, I don't, I don't know what that means. Are you being pulled over right now? I don't know what's happening. Wow, what is this? Ouch. My. This man's, this man's kind of looks like XQC and Lil Peep had a love child. If I'm going to be real with you. <laughs> it's, 
if you if you put like xqc and lil peep into one of those like people merger things this is what their child would look like am i in love no i'm not a fan of that hairstyle yeah i can't grab it you know <laughs> open relationships are cuckery you think sugar is his nickname okay all right that's a weird nickname you'll pass on the experimental cock drugs thank you very much but what about the experimental COVID vaccines? <laughs> Hands hurt so bad from punching him in the face. He's, he he's won one fight since 2017. What? That's a good one. That's a good one. My, my knockouts don't come from me trying. I feel like I've seen a serial killer who looks like this. Why does this look so familiar? Like with that, with that hair and those glasses. Who am I thinking of? One positive thing you can say about the COVID vaccines, they aren't shooting them into your dick. Yet. A whale of the wind. They had, they had anal swabs, so you have to put yet there. <laughs> Bundy! Oh, is it Bundy? I'm dropping the red pills. Now, shh. Trying to get viral knockouts. They come from... It's just my style. It's how I've been knocking people out since I was 16 years old. It just happens. Do you have the male and symbol on his collar? If I go out there something like that, that's when it gets, you know, that's when it's dangerous for me. It just so happens that I find people's chins. Is that the party in, rock in guy? Spectacular fashion. I could go to his tweet, but he was like, "Enough is enough with this sugar guy. It's 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 getting to be a little too much." Oh, Sugar Sean MMA. You were right. It is his nickname. Sucks to be him, huh? <laughs> I, what did he have? Like 300 followers or something? Maybe a little I more. Know. I see that guy gets like What's six fun? likes or something. So, you know, he's not. I don't know about that guy. Yeah. He has a big <laughs> fight against John Lineker. Fight? That guy's brain uh, wheels go Hannah slower Burrell. than mine. Hannah Burrell, and then he's fighting oh, uh, John okay. Lineker. Okay. Right, right. Via well, Skype. Who are you with yeah. Skype? Maybe the winner fights you. You know, you're very popular on Twitch, you know, been doing the gaming. So, just curious going back, like, I'm what was your favorite on Twitch. game? I do the gaming. Up? Favorite game growing up, depends how old I was. Madden was up there. If he um, says GTA. Call of Duty was up there. Halo at one point was up there. Um, probably Call of Duty if I had to pick one. Okay, Best he didn't say GTA. Thing. Patty Pimblet, the fight everyone's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's going to be a potential super fight down the line. What's the beef there? You're not, you're like two weight classes apart. Scott is each worse other. than What's GTA. No, that just means he likes calling people. I had slurs. no idea. I didn't know of him until the UFC kind of started posting stuff about him, and I, you know, obviously don't follow him. So I just, you know, a bunch of people telling me, "Yo, Patty's talking shit," saying talking shit. So I was, I was hoping this video would have like some indication of like why he was called not phony. Sean O'Malley is living the dream. I bet he is, or the nightmare. Depending on which side of the threesome you're on, the UFC bantamweight slugger, who recently joined the top 15 at 135 pounds with his knockout victory over Raleigh and Paiva, has been vocal about the benefits of an open relationship, which he credits to his not-phony approach to partner Danya Gonzalez. Okay. A no it's a not-phony approach. This guy seems like boyfriend material for Kirsha. Well, there's just, there's just two problems with that, right? Like, he, he meets the room temp IQ kind of kind of threshold right but uh, i'm not i'm not into open relationships or polyamory and i feel like this guy's probably sucked a dick or two in his life <laughs> 135 is he 4'11 i don't know dude i don't know dude every everyone's definition of an open relationship is different o'malley told full send podcast I like to think of ours as just an open-minded relationship where we don't own each other. I don't own her, and she doesn't own me. When I first met Danya, I told her, I don't know why anyone would fuck the same chick for the rest of their life. I can't do that. So she knew she wasn't in love with a phony me. We've had some dope threesomes. Every relationship should be okay with it. That just needs to happen. Yeah, no, I take it back. This guy doesn't meet the room temp IQ threshold. He's a little too low. <laughs> if, a, if a guy opened up with the, I don't know why anyone would fuck the same chick for the rest of their life. I just can't do that. I'd be like, well, you know, I'm probably not the gal for you then, m'lady. Can you say you're in an open relationship with Pippa? Probably not. It's less open and, and more parasocial, you know, but it's like a mutually parasocial relationship. We rely on you guys. You rely on us. It's uh, you know, it's not it's not quite codependent, but there are withdrawals from both parties. 
That isn't even a relationship at this point. This is what this is this is what relationships have become in current year where everyone's like I just want to be able to have sex with someone whenever I want to, but I don't want to have to care about them emotionally or do things for them. <laughs> You're happy the only weird teacher stuff that happened at your uni was a sex cult. Oh my god. <laughs> Not only I can't do that, but and nor should anyone else. Yeah, that's just fucking weird. You know, uh, open relationships need to be the standard. That just that just needs to happen. Monogamy? That shit's fucking weird. Why would anyone want to do that? I can't even imagine. Mutual virtual insanity. <laughs> Me and Pippa in an open relationship with Asmongold? I think that's the only time I'd be okay with it, right? I'd I'd be okay with Pippa being my sister wife. It's the it's the only acquisition I would make. <laughs> Current year standards make you sad. How do you rely on me? I don't know. You guys like listen to me for like five hours a day, just screaming random nonsense. So it's, it's kind of like a reliance, right? I see. I see when I see when Pippa didn't have her fucking computer working for ages, and everybody was collectively melting down from lack of cute bunny screams. <laughs> Dope threesomes. That phrasing proves we need a purge. Why does he sound like a '90s caricature of a pothead surfer living in Detroit? Oh man. We've, we've had some dope threesomes, man. You know, I was like, I gotta get two pussies on the dick at once, man. You know what I'm saying? I just, as one pussy is not good. I can't do that shit, man. One pussy for the rest of your life. That's one pussy, one man. That shit just don't make sense. It's one, it's one man, 10,000 pussies. You're not, you're not living the life unless you're swimming. In the sea of that pussy juice, you know what I'm saying, man? That's dope. That's real dope. <laughs> You're gonna be a shitty father, but you want kids. Just easy. Don't be. Don't be a shitty father. <laughs> oh my god. Your, your fam was joking around saying you want a girlfriend just for sex, but you said it was that you want to make meals for two instead of one and not go to sleep in an empty bed. They got quiet after that. They're just like, oh shit. We were trying to joke around and this man just raised DEFCON 4 seriousness. Be kind if I grew up in California. I think open relationships are the standard too. Yeah, also if I grew up in California, I'd probably see uh, all white men as evil and most men as just a walking wallet. <laughs> True love is about making the other person happy because they make you happy. Imagine wanting to take care of somebody else's emotional state. What are you, what are you, a fucking simp? <laughs> you missed the cunny bunny so bad. <laughs> California's brain damage. That's true. <laughs> you laugh, but there are far too many people out there like that. I do laugh because it's sad. And if I don't laugh at it, I would get depressed. So instead of getting depressed at the state of the world, I just laugh at it. The world, the world is burning, and I'll have a little giggle. Sadly, true love is hard to find, especially when nobody communicates. Communication's the hardest fucking part. That's so fucking hard, dude. Love is that condition in which the happiness of another person is essential to your own. abso fucking lutely Absolutely. Those are dangerous ideas. Modern dating is pretty bleak, but you gotta try and be the change you want to see. Exactly! Exactly. I, I have pretty much every reason to be like, fuck all men. They're garbage. They're trash. Men just want to use women. They don't want to give them love. They don't even know what emotions are. You know, I have like literally every reason to have been like complete black pilled femme cell considering the shit that I've dealt with. And yet I have a more positive outlook than Yeti. And that's all you can really ask for. <laughs> sure, but you have a capable dad. Dad love? Dad love, the men, the men in my family were wonderful. If only, <laughs> if only I could find people like the men in my family. Maybe that's my problem. I need more daddy issues so I go after a man who's more like my father. <laughs> I gotta find a reason to dislike my father so I can go date someone like him. <laughs> Polyamory might be possible, but everyone in the relationship needs to be happy. I don't know if that's possible to have like ethical polyamory, <laughs> a personal opinion, you know? You have to have the problem if you want to cure it. It's time to give myself a problem. 
At least relationship fixes certain people. You have a friend who got into a relationship with someone who was into open relationships, and a week after that, open relationship person was monogamous. Well, that's nice. That's nice that they got fixed, honestly. Uh, I have a I have a friend who who told me about uh, like with with her significant other. He's just like really not motivated to do anything, and once once she was like a physical being in his life, right? Like once once she was physically with him consistently, he had more motivation to do everything. And I'm not I'm not even I'm not even like saying sexually, right? I'm just saying like physically being in the same place at the same time, yeah? Like he just had that motivation to want to better himself, give her a better life. He just wanted to do more. He was vastly more motivated by being around her than he was by himself. And it's like some people are just like that. They derive the motivation externally instead of internally. If Kirshi gets a husbando, then she'll stop streaming. That's not true. You can't even see it when I get a baby and I put it on my tit. It's perfect. I can breastfeed on stream and not have to worry about turning the camera off. <laughs> it's genetic. Men want to be able to support their partners. Exactly. It's possible to have a good poly, but given how hard it is to have a good relationship with just two people, the more people and variables you add to the equation, it becomes exponentially less possible. Oh dear Christ, AS- No, I would never use my child for ASMR, that's disgusting. That's my issue- That's my issue with normal breastfeeding on stream, right? We had that lady a few years back who was just like, I got banned for breastfeeding and that's not okay, I should be able to whip my titty out and feed my kid while I'm live on camera, and it's like, okay lady. Okay lady, alright lady, here's the difference, right? If you whip your titty out in a restaurant, you're not, you're not then saying everyone in the restaurant look at me and watch me feed my child, right? Like the people in the restaurant kind of ignore your existence if they're normal functioning people. But on stream, you have a camera focused on you. You are the focus. Everyone is there to look at you. To me, in my opinion, whipping out your titty on camera to feed your kid is using your kid for your content. You are, you are simultaneously coomer baiting and using your child to meet that end. If you want to feed your kid on stream and you're a flesh tuber, just turn your fucking camera off. Have some decency. It's absolutely not the fucking same as feeding in a public setting like a bus or a restaurant. It's not the fucking same. It's a much more intimate setting and it makes no sense to leave the child on camera for that. Breastfeeding is based, but using breastfeeding to be a cam whore is cringe. Heavily fucking agree! Heavily agree. <laughs> Shh, titties! <laughs> you should be able to breastfeed your baby going 70 miles per hour down the highway. That's kind of a straw man. <laughs> Normal breastfeeding? Are you saying there are abnormal breastfeedings? You definitely need proof. Would you, would you like me to go get the articles of men inducing lactation with hormones and then trying to feed actual babies with it? Because I can do that. I didn't plan on getting that curse today, but like, if you really want me to, I'll go find it. <laughs> Zaviana, you need to really be careful what you ask for in this stream. <laughs> Please don't! Oh god, yeah, no, I'm good. I still have other stuff I wanted to talk about. <laughs> no, you need the VOD today! That's unlucky for you. <laughs> Most flesh tubers who turned their cameras off are revealed to be as interesting as a potato. I I wouldn't know. I like I I call myself as interesting as a potato sometimes. Like I feel like I'm a boring person that has just been through a lot of not boring circumstances growing up. But I, I don't know, you guys beg to differ, so here we are. Here we are, dude. <laughs> sure you wanna laugh. Oh no. There's extreme breastfeeding, parachuting breastfeeding. I just don't believe you. <laughs> Not two nuked VODs in a row. It was an accident. I have brain damage. Please understand. <laughs> Please understand. I I will be downloading this one though, because I can I can fix it. I can make it better and then I can put it up on YouTube, no problem. Saturday removed, Sunday night. We're just no VODs ever. This is gonna be a perma deletion stream. I'm literally the exact opposite. I'm too fucking interesting. The way my brain works is fascinating. I should honestly probably donate it to science, but I don't want to end up strapped to rockets and used in like military testing experiments. So I'm just not going to donate anything. I can fix it. I mean, do you really want to fix it though? I feel like whatever fucking's wrong with me is working out pretty well, right? <laughs> Moving back to the 
this weird MMA guy, O'Malley, who has a baby girl with Gonzalez. Oh, no, dude. Insists he wields that freedom responsibly. I would caution anyone inspired by Suga's journey to avoid saying something stupid like, well, it works for Sean O'Malley when approaching their partner. Also, let's consider how that same conversation might go if the roles were reversed. Hi, honey. The craziest thing happened this morning and I met this guy. Hey, I actually have a real life story like that. Not with me, but a friend of mine who lived in California. He was living with his girlfriend. He was paying her tuition. They had been together for a while and she was just like, hey, honey. I would like to open up our relationship. And being dumb guy brain, he agreed because he thought that, oh, if she's fucking other people, I can fuck other people. But it turned out that only she was fucking other people. And uh, he couldn't really find other people to fuck as easily. And that escalated to her being like, yeah, I'm just going to bring other people back to our apartment, actually. <laughs> no thanks. Train wreck is fun. I'm the fun kind of train wreck, I think, maybe. <laughs> I, I don't know. You you guys will find out if I'm the fun kind of train wreck when you got to spend 24-7 with me. <laughs> God, if you folks could start putting all the VODs on YouTube, that'd make clipping a lot easier. Twitch's VOD players hell. Well, this one's going to be on YouTube. Uh, this VOD won't be on Twitch, but it'll be on YouTube. <laughs> don't worry about it. Please don't be in an open relationship with the baby girl. What the fuck? When your significant other asks about the open relationship, the relationship is over. Oh, man. Just need to do a lobotomy? Don't do a lobotomy. That's bad. The weekends are just a case of true memory hole. If she ever remembers the weekends, she goes into full Jason Bourne rampage mode. <laughs> oh, no. P P please, please don't be in an open relationship with Pippa. I could be in a monogamous relationship with Pippa, but I'd be in an open relationship with Pippa if Asmongold propositioned us. <laughs> That's the that's the all that's the only caveat. It'd be, it'd be me, Asmund, Golden, Pippa, and we would live together happy in harmony forever. I think of think of all the styrofoam cups I could clean up or use to spread Pippa's mold spores. Bet she wanted to break up, but hard to do when the dude pays your tuition. No, because she eventually like he wanted to propose to her, uh, but she eventually was just like, yeah, you know, I think I'd actually rather break up. I don't think I'm happy in this relationship anymore, which is, which is the thing, right? Like if you just, if you don't care about someone and they kind of could just do whatever they want, what's even the point of the relationship anymore, right? Like if they don't have to put effort into you, if they're not committed to you, if, if they're not faithful to you, like what even is there in the relationship, right? So eventually she was just like, I want to break up. And he still offered to finish paying her tuition. And I was just like, fuck, fuck it. God, what, 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 how? How do all of these actually evil people end up finding dudes like this and then I am cursed to, like, angry men? <laughs> Would I do Pippa's dishes? I'm, you know, in a relationship with me, Asmund, Gold, and Pippa, all three of us really, really dislike doing dishes for different reasons. But all three of us could probably afford to hire someone to just do the dishes for us, right? <laughs> He wanted to propose after she let the local sports, you know, men are confusing sometimes. One of your close friends helped pay for his girlfriend's nursing college tuition, then she graduated and left him. Like, I, I understand, and I feel like it's, it's a good gesture to want to do that for someone, but it's like, I'd want to be married. <laughs> you have a dishwasher? What's her name? He shouldn't have finished paying. He shouldn't have. You actually watched that happen to one of your co-workers at your last job? Unfortunately. Just load the dishwasher, please. You gotta, you gotta phrase it nicer, all right? Please. <laughs> Pippa wouldn't be the same without the mold and ants. Imagine. Imagine how beautiful she could smell. <laughs> paper plates for all eternity. I can't remember the last time I used a paper plate. Be careful. Asmund Gold and Ghost are in your hit list. Wait, why? I don't know anything about ghosts, so like I don't care about that one. But why? What do you have against Asmund Bald? He's just he's just a cute, wholesome man. Don't spend money on someone unless you know they're committed. I mean, I wouldn't even say that. I've definitely spent money on friends. I've def I've definitely spent money on on like boyfriends, right? You know, like if I'm in a relationship with someone, I'm gonna spoil them. 
I'm not going to be like, let me pay your car insurance and your credit card bills and uh, let, let me pay your rent. Like, I'm not going to do that. That's fucking crazy. But <laughs> um, just move once every month. Let the new owner deal with your moldy remains. What the fuck? Henry wants Pippa to himself. He's going to have to mud wrestle me for her, honestly. <laughs> Please load the dishwasher, my sweet honey bunny cunny. I didn't know you had to ask Pippa's permission to, to load the dishwasher. <laughs> Grow a few brain cells. Spend money responsibly. That is, that is always what you got to pay attention to. Always spend responsibly. Do not spend above your means, regardless of where you're spending it. Or, yeah, you can pay for little things, but don't pay for big things unless she's your wife or your husband. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like my my dad, unfortunately, got cheated on, but he bought his wife a car. And I was like, Jesus Christ, you're telling me? You're telling me if I get married, a guy will just buy me a car? My grandfather bought my grandmother like three cars throughout their fucking marriage that I've been alive for, at least. I was like, holy shit. Like every every single dude in my family has just like gifted a car to his wife. And I'm like, what the fuck? Is that is that normal? Is that a normal thing? Like I I can't even I what? <laughs> You should definitely remind Pippa to do her dishes. I don't even do my own dishes. How am I going to remind her to do her dishes? That's fucking out of left field. You just want to buy a bucket of butterfly shrimp. I don't like shrimp. <laughs> it's fairly normal. Uh, I mean, my, my dad's side of the family is pretty fucking traditional, so it makes sense that it's normal for them. But I couldn't have imagined that from most of the people <laughs> I've been with. I need to gift Kirsi a car to marry her? No, don't gift me a car before we're married. What the fuck? Don't listen to her get cards from several banks and have the amounts for each not go over one grand. When declaring bankruptcy, it won't be worth it for each bank to pursue you. That train has already left the building. <laughs> Adds car to throne. I, I really wish I could have kept the vector on my throne. I'm really sad that was against their TOS. You gave your wife two cars. She wrecked them both. Just, uh, just get me a car that's not meant to be driven. I can't drive anyways, right? You're against buying a car for someone usually because it's such a personal decision on what you like. Imagine you get a car, but it's not one you like. Well, that's that's like buying a pet, right? You don't buy it as a surprise. You're like, hey, uh, your birthday is coming up and I would like to get you a new car because you're just kind of on the fritz. How about we go around to some dealerships and you can pick out one you like, right? <laughs> Help! Oh, Jesus, I was trying not to do that. Tweeted a picture of yourself cleaning a pan at Pippa as part of a large-scale campaign to pressure her into doing her dishes? Nah. Nah, dude. You wouldn't even gift your own 16-year-old child a car? What the fuck? Well... Instead of an engagement ring, get Kirshi an engagement car. No, I want the engagement ring. I'm not a diamond lady, though. I like Tanzanite. Tanzanite is my favorite stone. I, like, you guys keep telling me to put more shit on my throne, and I've said before, like, I don't, I don't have a lot of wants, right? I don't, I don't want for too much, but... My my engagement ring is is one thing. It's it's one thing that I actually like want to have be be nice, right? I, I'm not even a jewelry person, so it's not like I'm gonna be wanting jewelry very often either. It's just like I want a, I want a nice I want a nice engagement ring. What is this throne thing? Uh, throne is like a gifting website where you can send me gifts without knowing my address. <laughs> Uh, mine is blank right now, because, once again, I don't really want for much. I'll find stuff to put on it eventually, I, I guess, but... Her want list is for her Disney princess ending and a sweet-ass custom vector. No, now you know me so well. Please, I want my Disney himbo prince. Alright, he's gotta, he's gotta have room temp IQ, he's gotta have good dress sense, and he's gotta have hair, you know? <laughs> Throne is a toilet, right? No, I will not be your toilet. 10 ounce gold bars on your throne list? No! <laughs> Tanzanite's pretty. I fucking love Tanzanite. It is a gorgeous stone. I hate that Amazon wishlist actually gives your name and city. That's BS. Yeah. There's apparently a way to like hide that shit, but it's fucking way too much effort. So I'm glad throne exists, even if they have like a, a tax on it. Maybe, maybe I'll start a donation goal for a vector, right? Because I've, I've always wanted one of those. <laughs> Hair, does not disqualify Asmongold? No. He might have a heavily receding hairline, but he keeps his hair long. So I can still pull on it. <laughs> Build-a-bears and giant stuffed animals go on throne. Exactly! 
Maybe I can actually put a giant one on there. I'm sure... I'm sure I wouldn't be hated at all <laughs> for having a massive stuffed animal. A vector, 45 or 10? They make a 10? I thought it was 9. But uh, yeah, no, I'd be doing 45 in real life. <laughs> I'd be doing 45. I also, I also kind of want to look... I want to look at, like, gun engravings, because that would be really fucking cool to get a vector engraved. Asmund's got that good hermit in the woods hairline. He's all good. Yeah! He, lo he looks like someone who could probably teach me how to forage for mushrooms and not poison myself to death. Just needs an implant in Rogaine. He's fine as he is. They do make a 10 millimeter, and it's sick nasty. What the fuck? I didn't know that! Why is it sick nasty? How's it, how's it differ from the 45 and the 9? Bit of, a bit of a druid. Yeah, Asmund Gold's a druid. That's, that's, just, that's just what he is. The article that I wanted to read that I said would make me angry. Are you guys, are you guys ready? Are you guys ready for anger? Anger management? The issue with 10 is that you gotta find ammo for the 10. That's true. That's true and fair. 80-year-old Asmongold with his flowing hair is possible with modern medicine. I believe it. I believe it. All right, so... After Amaranth's abuse allegations, OnlyFans models and Twitch streamers say hidden exploitation is everywhere in the industry. It was her fucking husband. I... It was... The... This, this has nothing to do with exploitation in the industry. I don't doubt that it's fucking there. I don't doubt that it's fucking there and there's predatory managers. Right? But before she was a streamer, she was just married to him. I, how, how, do, how do these people have like zero self-awareness where they're like, Oh my god, another woman finally got abused by her husband? It's time for me to capitalize and get some attention! It's like, what is wrong with you? What is fucking wrong with you? Actually, this is bandwagoning. It, it gets so much worse. I hope, I hope you guys are sitting down and you're ready because your blood pressure is going to spike in, in a minute here. <laughs> when massively popular Twitch streamer and OnlyFans influencer Amaranth accused her husband of emotional and financial abuse last month, it reignited an intense debate over exploitation in the streaming industry and how fans feel entitled to the personal lives of female creators. You're always, you're always, you're always going to have those weird fans. You're always going to have those weird people who are going to be like, I need to know what you're doing at every second of the day. I need to know your menstrual cycle. I need to know your entire schedule. I need to know where you're going and how long you're gone. And if you were gone for too long, I have to know what happened in that five minute period between when you left your salon and you didn't get to the train station for the next train in time. And then you missed that train. What were you doing in that five minute gap? Sally? Those exist for every person in social media. Streamers and actors have that too. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to get to that. We're gonna we're gonna get to Hollywood in a second. Don't don't you don't you worry, pretty little head, Mr. Moderator. The millionaire. Oh God. Gachi Koi is how you think it's spelled. I don't I don't know too much about like the different the different names for shit in idol culture. I just have like a, a base understanding of how idol culture works. Awkward question. Is it that time? No, actually, I am not bleeding right now. But thank you for asking. <laughs> Admittedly, you do it to Pippa. Don't, don't stalk Pippa. Don't do that. She, she probably would be able to take you out. Although maybe you would get off on that. I don't know. <laughs> Noted on the spreadsheet. God damn. Amaranth's husband treated her badly. Fans are bad. Oh, Chank, you don't know how right you are. <sighs> Although Amaranth received outpourings of support from swathes of her audience and other creators, many male fans and influencers such as YouTube commentator Keemstar led a backlash that accused her of scamming viewers by not disclosing that she was married. And so this is, I think, I've talked about this before, and this is what I think is the big difference between like the East and the West, right? And it's also a difference between V-tubing and flesh tubing as well, yeah? So... It seems like people who are into idol culture and people who are in like Eastern culture bubbles and people who are into VTubers expect most of the personal life to be kept completely secret. To be, to be like, it, it's, it's well known that 
idle contracts even require them to not have public relationships. They're allowed to have relationships, and a lot of them do, but they're not allowed to be public about it. Rushia was the biggest victim of this. Yeah, her situation was real, real fucking sad. Like, real fucking depressing, because... I'm pretty sure she didn't even do anything wrong. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was just people schizoing about her and another creator that there wasn't even anything going on. <laughs> but it's like people expect that to be kept private. They don't want to. They don't want to know about your boyfriend. They don't want to know about your husband. They don't. They don't want to know that shit. So that's like that is the expectation in in like the Eastern content creation bubbles, the idol culture, the VTuber culture that that was born of that. V Shoho in the West is kind of breaking out of that for, for VTubers, which is, which is one of the things that I can give V Shoho props for, because again, I'm from the West. I'm in Western culture. I, I think personally, you shouldn't lie about those kinds of things, right? Like if, if you are in a relationship, I, I feel like you shouldn't lie about it, right? Yeah, that's, it makes sense. But in, in, in the West, right, you see, you see how idol culture works. You see how stuff in the East works where they're not allowed and they're contracted to not have public relationships. And it's noticeable that people who are not in relationships get more attention and more attention means more money. And so in the West, people expect you, especially as a flesh tuber, to be more honest and forthcoming about your personal life. And some people don't. And that's why, that's why like Western flesh tuber people, in my opinion, get more backlash for not being honest about it. Because it, it's like knowing that you can court more money by pretending to be single. She does have the right to a boyfriend, but she constantly gets into drama uncalled for. That girl refuses to move on. Who? When, when am I going to become a fresh tuber? I'm already fresh, dude. Freshly baked. Shouldn't lie about it, but you have no obligation. Yeah. That's like, I watched JonTron for so fucking long. I had no idea that guy had a girlfriend or a wife until like, God, like two years ago, maybe? I was like, Jesus Christ, like he had no, he had no reason to mention it. Zero reason to mention it. And like, it was, it was just casually like on his Twitter, right? Like casually they have their accounts like linked and stuff and they interact there, but she was never in any of his videos. She was never like interactive on his channel. So in unless you interacted with him on Twitter, you didn't, you didn't fucking know about it. Baked Fresh is here. Huh. Didn't he just randomly bring her on for the goop video? Uh, maybe? I don't remember. If he, if he did, I did, had no idea who he was. <laughs> if, if he did, I had no idea who the fuck she was. And it's, I feel like that's also kind of a, a, a difference in opinion as well, where you see, like, like nobody gave backlash to John Tron for not, like, constantly talking about a significant other. Nobody really gave a shit. But when it comes to, like, lady content creators, people get angry. You love John Conta? I fucking love John Tron, dude. I love that carpet of a man. I, I, used to, I used to say I'd fuck him, but like now that I know he has a wife, I don't want to say that. <laughs> Didn't he do, if you're peddling a girlfriend experience and you are married, you are priming crazy incels to go off. Potentially. Potentially. The problem with Rushia specifically is that she was gee, gee, I just want to say GFE. I don't know why. Her audience are lonely unicorn. I actually had to have that term explained to me the other day because I didn't know what the fuck it meant. And so when she revealed to have contact with a fucking male, they felt betrayed. Well, it's like she didn't even reveal that she had a relationship. She was just like DMing him. Is that is that a betrayal? Like, if, if you're in a relationship with someone in real life, like, pretend for a second that you're not watching a girlfriend experience VTuber and you have an actual girlfriend, right? Pretend, let's pretend for a second. You're not gonna tell your actual girlfriend that she can't even have conversations with other dudes, right? Like, that, that is unironic controlling behavior. <laughs> girlfriend experience is so cringe. Oh, man. I'm, it's, I am cringe, so I am free. I unironically like girlfriend experience because it allows me to like release pent up care energy that I haven't been able to use on anyone who's given a shit. Uh, you know, uh, so like I, I like girlfriend experience and that's why I had that custom script for my ASMR stream. It's not my usual branding. It's not my usual content, but it's like, I don't know. I like doing it. I like, I like doing it because I want to just be able to fucking care for something, you know? Good thing Kirsch is a male! What the fuck? <laughs> Girlfriend 
experience makes you worry for the streamer sometimes. Understandably so. There was an issue with Rushia talking to the drama channels. Yeah, no, I know. I know there's other stuff revolving around her drama, but I was I was specifically just talking about uh about the the girlfriend experience part. Arnie friend experience. <laughs> you just play up being Pippa schizo gachi koi for entertainment, but sometimes you wonder if it is actually unironic. What? Well, that depends. That depends. Would you be happy if Pippa was happy? If Pippa got into a relationship that made her happy, would you also be happy? That's how you know. That's how you know whether you're just playing up being a schizo or it's no longer irony. <laughs> Don't worry, guys, that ASMR was just for fun. I'll never be a real girlfriend. Uh, it's not. It's not so much for fun. and I, That's probably why I could put so much emotion into it. I feel like when I watch a lot of when I watched a lot of the like ASMR stuff that I was doing for research, a lot of it just felt like flat. Like they were they were saying stuff, but there wasn't different inflection. It was just all one tone. And I was like, I don't know, that's kind of weird. Is it supposed to be that way? Too aggressive for girlfriend experience. <laughs> if you're not fucking me at least once every 24 hours, I'm gonna fucking leave you. I swear to God. I'm starting the timer right now and your cock better be ready. <laughs> usually dislike a girlfriend experience but yuri's recent asmr was nice to fall asleep to given your general insomnia yeah i was, i did it i did my asmr live and i i know i fucked up some things on it about like being being live on stream i feel like i have to talk the whole time right like i just like dead air bad and it wasn't dead air because i had sound playing from videos that i took when i was actually cooking but it was still just like you know my streamer brain triggered me and i was like ah shit i can't I can't stay quiet. So I just started babbling nonsense. And I was like, that that wouldn't have happened if this was a video. Cause I could have just sat there quietly and like let it play out and it would have been more immersive. Like I, I know where I fucked up and can improve on. You're Pippa's strongest auntie. So you hope she gets a boyfriend and her life gets better and stops VTubing. Ah, uh, that's the nice auntie. <laughs> I, I hope that even if she gets a boyfriend and her life gets better, that if she wants to still do VTubing, she still does, right? It's all about what makes her happy. You had a girlfriend that told you something like that once. Mm. That's an interesting take. You're pretty sure Pip would say something like, but people would hate that. That's, yeah. It's, ve it's very it's very hard in, in this bidness, as it were, to like not constantly think about what your audience might hate. They're just like, oh, this is way different from what I normally do. What if they hate it? I'm like, a ASMR is usually supposed to be like a buff because you, you get all the coomers in here. But it definitely wasn't a buff for me, because it was so far out of the realm of my normal content. <laughs> You're kind of tired one evening, and she tried to initiate. She stood up, told you she was going to go shower, and you better be ready when she came back. She knows what she wants. <laughs> well, you're not allowed to be tired, all right? You're going you're gonna to take care of business, man. Gunning for the fast track to be cat lady, but with rabbits. Bunnies are cute, though. Filter streams are good. I can't wait until Lost Judgment, dude. That'll be the great filter. I think a small percent of Pippa's fans would genuinely hate it, but you're sure the rest would be supportive? And I feel like that's probably... That's probably the case for most people, you know? That's probably the case for most people. You're gonna have the vocal minority of people upset that you did something good for you, and then the majority of people being really happy that you're making advancements in your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. She wants the bussy. No, that's disgusting. Get away from me. <laughs> you can stitch some ASMR shit together for me if I record voice lines and find sounds. It'd probably be a much smaller project compared to the collab video. Uh, usually I'm, I'm going to be going to a friend for scripts because he wrote the first one. And that first one was fucking amazing. And so I want, I want more of those, basically. I'm just trying to figure out what I want him to write about uh, for the next one. And because because the, the first one he did, I was just like, just take my personality into consideration. I want it to be like really sweet, really comfy. I, I don't want it to be like Coomer bait. I, I just I just want it to convey like how much I care about the dude. You know, like, that's that's what I want. And he fucking gave me a plus top notch work <laughs> like Ame. I've never heard Ame's ASMR. Where are these women where you live? I don't know. You gotta hunt for them. Find some cheese. But uh, I still gotta I still gotta do your your shit post ASMR as well as Aced. But I've 
I had my sore throat and then I broke my back and I've been busy. I was just, uh, so many things. So many things. Yeah, cheese. You can fascinate a woman with cheese. Women love cheese. <laughs> you need to finish Yakuza like a dragon before you can play Lost Judgment. That's, that's true. If you're in the middle of a game, it's probably better to finish that before going to another one. But uh, the stories have nothing to do with each other, thankfully. So it's not like you're spoiling anything. Remember the fucking bacon frying this time? I got the bacon frying. I forgot the pancakes. Is that what you're supposed to do? Throw cheese at them? Yeah. Let's throw cheese at women. You'll catch one eventually. Speaking of, can you bribe me with money for a short voice clip to dab on Pippa with? That entirely depends on what it is. Ah, uh, what did you, <laughs> what did you have in mind? <laughs> I don't. I don't think anything is going to scare Pippa as much as when I first showed her the ripping her ears off voice clip, though. Uh, I'm, I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad that she was simultaneously flattered and terrified. <laughs> Probably refers to the streamer being happy the fans are making improvement on their own lives. Yeah! Mm. I, like, I like seeing you guys make improvements. I've seen some of you guys go from, like... Being sad because you're unemployed for so long to having jobs, being happy, making money, getting savings, make it, making fucking payments on shit. I love to see it. Love to see you guys get better. It's nice. That was erotic. There was... What? What? <laughs> I was... I was ripping Pippa's ears off erotic. <laughs> it's okay. You're trying to have my collab video done like a week ago. God damn. What happened? Wasn't there another video you were trying to do too? I, I think I asked you like for Digimon or something. I don't remember. The ear off pasta was something to witness. I, I have a I have a reps channel in my Discord uh, for like all things to do with memes in my community or surrounding me and like the people I do stuff with. So there's there's like the raw voice clips of almost anything I've done in that channel. If <laughs> If you scroll back far enough. You also want to tear her ears off so you can plant them in the ground and grow more pippas. I mean, that's everyone's goal, honestly. The idea that you have to bribe Kier for a voice clip is extremely concerning. I mean, you don't have to, but if the man's offering me money, I'm going to take it, right? Like... <laughs> <laughs> the ear-ripping schizo post was barely in the top five things I did to scare Pip. I don't believe that. I don't believe that! Has anyone made a copy pasta about... Pippa showing her feet at 100k? No, but she asked me to suck on her toes, and that was kind of weird. <laughs> Just reread the nostalgic critic callout in my ASMR voice, and she'll freak out for sure. I don't remember that one. Probably true, but you want to know what's happening in Kamurocho before the beginning of Lost Judgment starts. I guess that makes sense. For stream yesterday, you want to do a VTuber intro based off of the AI streamers that you made for your company that's better than hers! That's rude! I like I liked I liked Paprika. She was the best. <laughs> Savings with this inflation. Try not to look at my 401k. Big sad. Big sad. This isn't the ideal place to broach the topic, but you legit think that VTubers are uniquely positioned to spread messages of self-care and personal growth to the kinds of people for whom traditional sources of such messaging would fall on deaf ears. I mean, I, f I feel like you're probably correct. Like, you have to be somewhat of a social outcast to want to become a VTuber in the first place and, like, actually somewhat excel at it, yeah? And social outcast finds social outcast. We're just a whole bunch of, like, what the fuck is happening, people, collaborating in one place. It's as beautiful. Digimon isn't going to be happening for a long time. <laughs> the implication here is that it's so bad that I even have to be bribed. I don't, I don't, oh, I didn't think of it that way. I didn't have to be bribed to do, like, ketchup bukake. <laughs> the Biden inflation. Please don't talk about your fetishes here. <laughs> Fake into company war is very cool. Paprika list. Oh, my God. <laughs> Number one requirement for being a VTuber, Menhera. Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> flavor max is better than flavor. What the hell? You gonna you gonna sprinkle on a little bit of the spice there? Bam! You're an extrovert, but heading out gets pricey. That's not true. That's not that true. You could go to like a park. You could walk somewhere. You could go camping or hiking. I thought Silvervale had a good family life, but it turns out her father's a piece of shit. I don't know anything about Silvervale's personal life. 
Uh, I've I've never had like any real contact with anyone in V Shoho. I've mentioned before how like I I messaged Zentrea on how to join her stream team when she was still like little baby VTuber, but that's that's like the only attempted contact <laughs> that has happened. I don't I don't know I don't know a lot about them as human beings. <laughs> Another big video in the works is an attempt to respectfully highlight stuff. Oh. I feel like... Nah. It must be this minimum level of mental damage to become a VTuber. I mean, you can become a VTuber without the mental damage, but the mental damage adds to it. If you want to be happy, drop the nihilism like a rock. Yeah. Zentrea said hi to you once. You treasure that moment. When you... When when the like VTuber scene was like first breaking out, a lot of people didn't realize that being a VTuber is the same fucking thing as being a regular content creator and a streamer. And so everyone was just like, why is no one helping me? Why does why does everybody in the community treat this like a competition? Why why doesn't anyone want to talk to me or tell me information on things? And it's like, ah, uh, where have you been? This has just been what streaming is, like literally forever. Like, nobody's gonna help you. Nobody's gonna give you shit. There's very few people that will. There's very few people that will be helpful. And even my dumb coconut brain retained the names of those people who bothered saying anything. Silver streams with her mother and brother, and it's wholesome. Her brother also has his own... I didn't even know she had a brother. I knew about Mama Vale, but I didn't know about bro Brother Vale. <laughs> it's been three minutes. Why am I not famous yet? Oh, my God. <laughs> Nihilism is not what Nietzsche wanted or wrote about. Nihilism is n people not understanding it, yeah, but communication, Howard. Help your own ass, nerd. What the fuck? Konzetsu is her brother? I can't say I know that name. I know Kon's like the little lion thing from Bleach. Goddamn internet's going right out when the tangent started. Oh no! Streaming is much more of a zero-sum game in comparison to YouTubing. Uh, I don't know what you mean, because I, I feel like breaking out on YouTube, making video content is also difficult. They have different, they have different challenges to overcome, right? Which is, which is why, like, just because you make very nicely edited videos on YouTube and you can be entertaining in, like, a 15-minute video format doesn't mean that you can do the same thing on a live stream. And, and vice versa. Like, I, I don't fucking know how to make fucking video content, dude. I don't... That's why my YouTube channel is dead for so long. I I thrive here where my brain can just kind of go off on a spinny hamster wheel for a while and tire itself out. I, I, can't, I can't do the structure that's required on YouTube. That's why that's why I need editor. <laughs> editor son, I will have to chain you up. Bleach Thousand Year War Arc. Streaming is easier, YouTube is more work. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. They are they are both difficult. I would put them probably on similar levels of difficulty, but they have different difficulties. And it's it's easier when you're inside one bubble to think of one as easier than the other. But once you actually start trying to do either of them, you realize the challenges that come with it. And if you're making YouTube videos, streaming can only help you. And if you're doing live streaming, making videos can only help you. Like, you, you have to end up being everywhere. Same difficulty, but different. It's the same, but different. Yeah? They're, they're like the same level of difficulty, but streaming and being a, like, video creator have different types of difficulty. Like, they're the same level, but what brings them up to that level are different things. I'm bad at speaking! Please ampersand! I'm trying to explain the best I can. Different set of skills! Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make good YouTube shorts blow up like other bunny VTuber Lopi. Dude, my shorts get like no views. I don't understand the YouTube algorithm. Uh, I don't, I don't know anything about YouTube, but like my whew, people hate me. <laughs> you know, you'd look at my shorts. Thanks. They're comfy and easy to wear. You have shorts? Yeah, I have, I have a YouTube channel. <laughs> The YouTube algorithm is that it sucks. Yeah, I have no idea how it works. Like, uh, I think the last, like, four or so that were posted have been, like, under 200 views. And it's like, huh, that's weird. You have a YouTube? I do! I do have a YouTube. I just, uh, I just changed over all of my, all of my channel names as well, so it's, like, uniformity. What's the socials link? 
If that's genuinely considered a dick move, or if she personally finds that very uncomfortable, you're happy to kill the project. What are you talking about? No, we were talking to Not Safe for Work, how it's like, it's uh, not polite to talk about your own projects that you're doing for your own channel or how like you do content creation stuff in like another content creator's chat, right? Like that, that'd be like if I went over to like Urika's chat and I was like, hey, uh, I'm, I'm doing a stream on sex cults and here, here's some information on that. Uh, I'm going to be doing the stream soon, U U Urika. I was like, why, why would I be talking about that? Why would I be talking about that in her chat? Like, that'd be, that's real fucking rude. <laughs> Watch all the videos, hype train the YouTube channel. Hype train. <laughs> I mean, scam train. You have shorts blocked on YouTube. You hate to spam YouTube, tries to shove in recommendations. I, again, like, I don't know how to thrive on YouTube because I've just been on Twitch for ages. And my YouTube channel has been pretty much defunct because I don't know how to do video editing. Uh, I didn't have anyone reliable for video editing for a really long time. Um, and so, like, my YouTube channel's just been dead. So I, I don't know about the YouTube algorithm. I don't know how to game the algorithm. I don't know. I, I, I don't know anything about it. You know, I'm, I, I'm out of my depth over there. <laughs> mm. If you get an idea, it'd be better to friend request her on Discord so you could message her request. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about, like... A personal project. W A S D A Q memes. Yeah. <laughs> People will be less likely to help out streamers because they're more directly competing with each other than YouTubers are. Streamers are essentially competing for people's time slots because of how long streams are and how they happen on schedules. Kind of like cable. YouTubers don't have that issue because their audiences can more easily fit all their subs vids into their schedule however they want. It's not exact actually a zero sum game, but it's closer to one. Yeah, it's it's definitely like again, this is one of the things that makes live streaming more difficult than than video content, right? Like yeah, you can just watch vods, but but the thing that people watch live streamers more for than videos is like the interaction, right? And I mean the interaction's also a small portion of of what's happening like i'm sure there's a lot more people who aren't interacting than there are that are as like lurkers cute lurkers but that that is that is something that makes twitch and live streaming i would i shouldn't say twitch because there's live streaming on youtube but something that makes live streaming more difficult than videos youtube and streamers do collabs the interaction is the main part i, I would say it's a big part like it's a big part and personally for me the interaction is like why i watch streams over like youtube videos and stuff sometimes I, I'm more of a lurker in chat, but I still like listening to the interaction with other people. I don't, I'm not, a, I'm not a huge chat typer. I have to feel like really fucking comfortable with, uh, with the person I'm watching in order to type. <laughs> live interaction is the main attraction for live streaming. That's how I feel. But like, there was some statistics that said like less than like 30% of viewers are likely to type messages. So even, even though... I personally feel like the interaction is the reason there's a there's the majority of people don't participate in that interaction, which is kind of weird. Moth Mommy Vid says the game is wow. That's really weird. It shouldn't. It probably like auto did that for some reason. <laughs> That's an old ass video. It's because messages are hardly ever read. I mean, if you have like a massive stream, like, like Asmongold as an example. I'm fucking impressed that he can even manage to read a single full sentence to respond to one person in, in its entirety with his chat going that fast. I don't know how he fucking does it. I unironically have no idea how he does it because it's, it's so fast. Twitch VTubers, like, basically stream the whole week, night hours, you sleep, looking at them Pacific late night streamers. <laughs> Except you're going to be cringe when chatting on Twitch. It works for other places as well. Once, once you accept that it's okay to be cringe, you are unrestricted in your content creation. <laughs> Except for the word pog. Fuck that word. Chatting in large streams is pointless. Well, you have, you have like, you're there for the streamer, but you're, like, the chat is also like a big community, yeah? I, I don't know if chatting in large streams is pointless, but it's like, how the fuck are you gonna get noticed? And then when the large streamers actually notice you, it's just like, holy shit. Oh, how can I be like that? How can I use my special eyes to read a sentence while my chat is flying at like 60 miles per hour? I don't fucking get it. I have a script that only shows you a fraction of the chat messages? I mean, maybe. Maybe. Don't, don't I want to call you my little pog champs? No! 
<laughs> I already did that for like a clip on Twitter. You show up to streams because of interaction, but you watch big streamers VODs because of how hard it is to interact. When I first, when I first started using Twitch, you could like comment on VODs. I don't, I don't know why that was a thing. Uh, like as a streamer now, looking back, I have no idea why you were allowed to comment on VODs, but I remember watching someone's VOD and not knowing it was a VOD. So like I typed something in chat because they like asked for help on something and nobody else was answering them. So I was like typing the answer and I sent it. And then like, one of their moderators was like, hey, hey, this is a VOD. And I was like, ah, fuck. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> you buffoon. I'm, I'm a little room temp IQ, you know? The cringe man thinks he's the based man. Based man knows he is cringe. Exactly. When you escape the cycle of being based and avoiding cringe, you are free to be your genuine self. The genuine Chad. Should I already know that every single VTuber is cringe? Tell me one VOD you would show your offspring and proudly say your mother did this? I feel like I could be more proud of my VODs once they're old enough to watch this kind of content. As opposed to like... Look at how many dicks your mama can fit in her vagina at one time. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you remember being able to do that? I don't know. I don't understand what the point was. Why? Why would you? Why were you allowed to make comments on VODs? I don't get it. Shit posting in streams is fun in general as long as the streamer's cool about it. I like I like when people come in here and try to fucking troll. I, I guess it's the like all VTubers have the same mentality kind of monolith thing. Like people would come in here and be, and be like, uh... People, people should be able to get abortions and, you know, we shouldn't be able to have guns. And it's like, yeah. Yeah, all right. Uh, were, you trying, were you trying to say something I'd get offended by? Like, what? <laughs> Reasons I've been asking for VODs recently is totally unrelated, you swear. Oh, you got a, you got a something special secret planned, Umbra? And in that moment, she died of cringe. <laughs> it's okay, I'll be resurrected like a beautiful phoenix fox. <laughs> you spoke on a video that was a replay? Oh, no. <laughs> I've never run a replay. And I don't, I don't know, I don't know if I'd ever want to, right? I feel like if you want to watch a VOD, that's what like VOD archives are for. I don't know. Imagine doing that, but sending a super chat that'll get read two hours later when all context is lost. You mean kind of like when I fall behind in chat? Except you didn't pay for it, it's just normal chat. Did you miss that stream? What do you mean? Like the people coming in and trying to be harassy? Yeah. Usually usually when people come in and say dumb shit like, oh, we should be able to own guns, like gun laws are dumb. It's like, do you know where you are, sir? Do you know what you have stumbled upon? Like, I just, why would... I, like he was, he was actually asked, like he was like, are you not, are you not going to get angry at me? Are you not going to ban me? I was like, why would I get mad if I just agree with you? Like what? Are you okay? <laughs> you came late, but you assume the game still hasn't started. I beat the fucking game. I beat it. I beat the fucking game. Hell yeah. There's a, there's a point where like the trolls get boring though, right? Where it's just like, oh, you're being kind of try hard. Get the fuck out. I'm done with you. <laughs> I spit on you. If you want to troll, you gotta tell her, did you know your name actually means cherry in German? Goddamn. Goddamn those people. Their IQ is so low. <laughs> Gun laws are dumb. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> NFTs are stable investment in the future. Mm. Now start up the game to electric boogaloo. I'm gonna finish Digimon on Tuesday. We're gonna do it. We're gonna fucking do it. You missed me beating the game? I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to put this VOD up on YouTube, though. <laughs> they do a little trolling. Poorly, that is. That's a Rackets stream? What do you mean? I only watched one Rakita stream because you guys mentioned him so much and he was doing like a watch along. And I was like, I don't understand what's happening. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> His channel name is not just Kitchen. Why would it be Kitchen? I mean, I'm in there frequently because I like cooking, but uh, what? If we have a God-given right to bear arms, does that also mean that God gave the right to arm bears? I don't see why not. I mean, that, that checks out. The logic works. Fuck yeah, Digimon. We'll do it. We'll do it. I'll have to keep fucking resetting the game, but we'll do it. You're leaving for two weeks on Tuesday. Why are you leaving, Rippold? About to buy a naval cannon? Can't wait to see if Callisto Protocol scares the hell out of me. It probably will. 
Considering it's by the same people who did Dead Space. Jump scares get me pretty good. Did I know my cherries mean Korsha? Praise Korsha! Delicious marshmallow! Bears, bears are armed. Have you seen those claws? That's a different kind of arm. Main show is on Odyssey and Rumble now since YouTube did the thing. Because <laughs> Twitch show is just movie watching. Why does it give me ah, that makes sense. The, the Hiller, thank you for the follow. Battle bears. I want a battle bear. And your mom's for your brother's wedding, Thanksgiving, and house shopping. That's a lot of shit to get done. Good luck, dude. It's spelled kitchen. Why? I don't understand. Why would I be, why would I be called that? <laughs> I don't get it. I was reading this article once upon a time. I was reading this article. And let me let me see. I wanted to. I wanted I wanted to. Numerous OnlyFans models have spoken out about being manipulated by managers who promised to help them and then ended up taking most of their paychecks or sold their nudes in shady, clandestine deals. Fucking welcome! Welcome to the content creation sphere! Animators and video editors on YouTube would like to speak with you. Also, people trying to break out and be Hollywood actors and Agerson would like to speak with you. This is this has been this has been a thing! This isn't unique to OnlyFans models. This kinda this kind of fucking manipulation has been happening for decades! De literally decades! This isn't new. This has nothing to do with Amaranth and her husband abusing her either. You could be like, well, her husband was managing her content creation. No, he wasn't managing her content creation. He was abusing her. He was controlling. If you're dating your manager, sure, you might, you might be able to relate to this. But if you just have a manager who's a piece of shit, but you're not trapped in a fucking house with them, why are you trying to piggyback off of this? What could you possibly stand to gain? <sighs> the kind of backstage abuse female creators is endemic to the industry, according to things three women who make content for OnlyFans or Twitch told Insider. All of them sympathized with Amaranth's situation and said they personally experienced or witnessed exploitation. I don't give a shit. I, I know there's backstage abuse. I've watched documentaries on the porn industry. I know what kind of gross shit goes on with actual porn actresses sometimes, right? I, I know it. I know it. You've seen the word. Shh, don't spoil it. But I don't give a shit about people on OnlyFans or Twitch being like, my manager took more money than he should have. My manager sold my pictures without telling. Like, yeah, that sucks, but that has nothing to do with Amaranth. That has nothing to do with Amaranth. That has nothing to do with an abusive and controlling husband. How, f how fucking fucked up do you gotta be to try and attach yourself to this, dude? Goes on tangents during scheduled tangent time. Pretty common knowledge, misogynistic abuse and creator exploitation is as pervasive now as ever. Harassment and misogynistic abuse has been a characteristic of the online creator economy for over a decade. It existed before online creators even existed. It existed in Hollywood and in the theater before that. It's always been around. And it has nothing! The, the harassment and the manipulation has nothing to do with a romantic partner! One of the first reckonings against targeted misogyny came in the aftermath of Gamergate. Uh, one of the first reckonings against targeted misogyny came in the aftermath of Gamergate! The coordinated campaign of right-wing trolls and overwhelmingly male influencers jointly harassing female game developers and writers! <sighs> Fuck me, I guess, for wanting ethics in my fucking games journalism, you pieces of shit! Oh my god. Oh, I'm, I'm fucking becoming a Red Sox fan! My face is red. I'm Alex Jonesing. I'm Alex fucking Jonesing, dude! If you, if you are a human that exists in the year 2022 of our Lord Jesus Christo, and you believe that Gamergate was a coordinated campaign of right-wing trolls to harass and misogynistically comment on women. You are fucking lost. I don't, I don't know what kind of propaganda has brainwashed you, but you can't be saved anymore. You have no original thoughts of your own. You're not even human. I just, I can't, I can't even, I can't fucking even, honestly. Holy fuck. I'm t huh, I'm turning into a white woman from 2010. I can't even. I can't even. 
<laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Fucking circuses had emotional manipulation. I just like, I can't, I can't believe they've taken a situation of Amaranth being in an abusive relationship and breaking down because of an abusive relationship. And these fucking people, these fucking spineless, disgusting creatures would be like, oh, my game, my game, my game, my game, right wing trolls. I'm so fucking mad. I was, I'm gonna, I'm picking, you hear this? This is my bottle of ketchup. This is my bottle of ketchup. I am hugging it. I am hugging it. I am safe. I have the emotional support bottle of ketchup. It's okay. It's okay. The journalists can't hurt me when I'm holding my emotional support ketchup. Eight fucking years. I'm so upset. I'm so fucking upset. Like, I was already mad. I was already mad when I was reading this article and then I got here and I was just like I could I could fucking kick through a table. Oh god. <laughs> My ketchup sounds like water. Well, like you it's it's liquidy cuz I haven't used it today. So like you got to You got to shake that shit up. Got to shake it up right. This is what I want to do to the journalist. Just fucking shake them. What are you doing? What's wrong with you? Shaking is okay. That's not violence. You know, you could you could shake someone out of their stupor. In Minecraft. <laughs> Maybe the real gate was the gamers we made along the way. <laughs> Go home, gamer girl. Nobody wants you here. <laughs> It's because she doesn't refrigerate her ketchup. Yeah, refrigerated ketchup is for fucking plebs. And I am a queen. I like that room temp ketchup. <laughs> Say this to cause a games journalist to have an aneurysm. I just, like, I can't. I can't. J journalism's been fucking dead for so long. And, like, I still read articles because it's like, I want to know what's going on. But the more, the more shit I read, the more, like, angry I just get. <laughs> From Temp Ketchup Gang! Hell yeah, roadkill, my guy! Stress balls, a lot of them! We're just... We're just uh, the journalist can't hurt you. The journalist can't hurt you. It's okay. The only journalist that can hurt you is Taylor Lorenz, because Taylor Lorenz docks libs of TikTok. <laughs> Uh, fastest clipper and shit poster in the West, dude. <laughs> shake them the way the babysitter shakes the baby to make it stop crying. Don't do that. Don't do, don't shake the baby. You don't even need to refrigerate ketchup. Thank you, Henry. Thank you, Hen. Pippa was like, I'm gonna look it up. I was like, what do you mean, look it up? I have the bottle right next to me. I know what it says. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad every time you hear the word ketchup, you remember Fishman's ketchup pasta? I'll have to judge it. I'll have to judge Fishman's ketchup pasta. Cause if if that also tastes good, I'm gonna I'm g i am i do not like this current timeline. <laughs> Pippa was right. Pippa's not right. You don't have to refrigerate it. How long do you think those restaurants leave those bottles of ketchup out on their tables and you'll still eat that shit? She was right, Boog. Boog, don't make me come over there. You to the restaurant, they keep the ketchup out on the table all day. Exactly. You're tired of Gamergate being misrepresented? It was about a journalist, Nathan Grayson, giving Zoe Quinn's shitty game Depression Quest a good review while not disclosing he was an intimate and personal relationship with her. Was that, There was an article that we read on stream a while back, sometime this year, where like a journalist was complaining about Gamergate and how bad it was, but then also put like an affiliation at the top of his article saying like he has personal connections with the people he's writing the article about. And I was like, so you're going to complain about Gamergate, but then put a little, a little, little widget on your article that does exactly what Gamergate wanted to do. I was like, I can't fucking believe these people. I can't fucking believe these people. I have a headache now. I need food. <laughs> it's more, if it's more sauce, you better fridge that shit. It's not sauce, it's ketchup. You find Kirishi to be a whole lot of letters that you'll hardly ever write one next to another or pronounce. You started calling me Quiche. Oh, I've had a lot of people call me Quiche over the years, actually. I think Quiche is a really cute nickname. And when I make alts and video games, I will I will use Quiche. <laughs> I, will, I will use Quiche as my alts name in games. Kitchen or Kit Kat? For some reason, Kitchen caught up. 
and you decided to make an out of context internal joke because you don't know how to people. I also don't know how to people. I just, my brain just happens. <laughs> but Keisha's really cute. Keisha's like a pet name when you're trying to, when you're just like, oh, I'm really hungry. Can you please make me food? Keisha, please. Ah, oh, it's, it's just, I don't know. It sounds cute. <laughs> Personal favorite. Example of interesting games journalism is where Corey Barlog, the director of New God of War, went really off the wall angry at Helena Taylor for her campaign ruining the opportunities of voice actors in the gaming community when he got massive support from gaming outlets. Meanwhile, he literally fired the old Kratos VA because he wanted someone who could mocap and voice to save him money. Western VA shit has been kind of... Kind of crazy recently as well. <laughs> Tony, why do you think ketchup pasta is valid pasta? Please, please enlighten us. Fishman's ketchup spaghetti apparently involves him washing the raw ground beef. I could say something right now, but I'm not going to. I'm a professional fox. <laughs> you haven't had fucking quiche in ages. Quiche is delicious. That's delicious. By putting keffels in here, are they admitting that they're really were a failed fart fetish content creator despite them trying to scrub all evidence of it yeah this next fucking sentence i didn't even finish like the months long doxing campaign against the trans twitch streamer keffels continues to be a rampant problem across platforms and industries even when an influencer like amaranth says she's being abused a flood of men often sees it as an opportunity to attack her how fucking dare you how how dare you first misrepresent Gamergate, like the actual snail you are, but then go on to compare Keffels, someone who was actually like harming people online, to just being like some fucking standby victim. I hate, I hate journalists. I hate journalists. I hate them. I hate them. And I, I wish... I wish that there were NPCs in Minecraft that were journalists. <laughs> you don't like Amaranth, but this is too far. I don't like Amaranth. I don't like I don't like her, but that doesn't matter. She doesn't deserve to be in an abusive situation, and she doesn't deserve these absolute fucking cretins to drag her name through something that has nothing to fucking do with her situation. Oh, all I wanted was to play video games. Why did you do this to me? The environmentalist vegan that just wanted world peace. Hitler. Yeah, exactly. You're willing to bet $100 in bits. Reporters in Minecraft is a mod you can and should download. How do I feel about helicopter rides for journalist Kirsha in Minecraft? Can you build a helicopter in Minecraft? Because I'd be interested. Otherwise, we might have to deal with the old fashioned way. Might have to, might have to reach into my Italian bloodlines. You know, we got, we got some concrete shoes. <laughs> there are mods, huh? I haven't even touched the world of modding in Minecraft. I just have the, I just have the mods that make Minecraft look not like shit. <laughs> oh my god. This is why, this is why I'll never get my own Dextero article. And there was that, that chick who had a hundred followers who had one. I just, huh. <laughs> Journalists hate. <laughs> You say you're Italian, but the Italian sounds like Aussie. I have zero Aussie blood in me. I apologize. I'm sorry, you fucking cunt. <laughs> Suggest RimWorld mods to make a journalist organ harvesting colony. <gasps> I'm going to fucking float that idea to Ots because RimWorld looks boring as fuck to me. I, I feel like if I tried playing RimWorld, I would just want to commit die. Uh, but Ots really likes uh, RimWorld, so... I, I can I can float that idea to him. <laughs> you expect to be exactly one more line through the article and cure to be ten times as mad. I saw a lot of responses from folks who have also been controlled, gaslit, or spoken to in a way in past or current relationships, myself included. A Twitch gaming streamer with the handle Kawaii Foxita told Insider of the reaction to Amaranth speaking out. The treatment she received from her mainly male audience was expected and repulsive. Oh um, yeah. Who? I don't know. I don't wanna I don't wanna like bring something up on this person with my browser open, so let me let me see here. Let's let's type in this let's type in this type in this name. Oh they're they're pretty they're pretty big. They're pretty pretty big person. Pretty big lady. 
Looks like a Sims streamer, a partnered EA content creator. A pretty, pretty, pretty big person. Pretty, pretty big person. Kawhi Foxy, it's curious. It's just me on a on a flesh tuber account. <laughs> the response she received, you mean like tens of thousands of dollars she made in a couple hours? The the money the money that she makes isn't the problem here, and that shouldn't be something that you focus on because regardless. Regardless, again, like, Amaranth has recently been making around 1.5 million in a month in OnlyFans revenues. It doesn't matter how much money she makes. It doesn't matter how much money you make. No one should be controlling that. You should have access to the money that you are entitled to from your labor. And she did not have that. Her, her husband was controlling all of it. And it's like, this makes sense. You can, you can relate. You can relate to current and past relationships. That has nothing to do with Gamergate or Keffels or... Or, or like misogyny and fucking harassment in the OnlyFans creator industry. That does, what? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Is a streamer not entitled to the sweat of their brow? I sweat a lot, dude. You can come, you can come fucking lick this towel. <laughs> My house is like a sauna sometimes with these fucking PCs running. <laughs> Britney Spears knows a thing or two about that. Hers was even forced because she had like, you know, the mental breakdown. I'm glad she no longer needs that. But like it... It may, like, when, when you have that large of a mental breakdown, someone else is put in control of your estate so that you don't fuck your life up even more. Like, it's understandable in that. Didn't Britney's dad get her sterilized? What the fuck? I feel like that's a conspiracy theory. I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true. Careful, Q, you might end up with a line of people to lick the towel. I'll start selling my towels. <laughs> And it's like, yeah, the treatment she received from her mainly male audience was expected and repulsive. Like, what did you expect? Mainly female audience? Like, of course she has a mainly male audience. And of course there's going to be people who, like, spout ridiculous incel nonsense. There's going to be people who don't care about nuance. They're just like, I hate Amaranth and this is a chance to dunk on her. There's going to be people that are like, I'm, I'm not the problem. She's the problem. I've been lied to. You, you know? There's, <laughs> there's going to be shitty people. Uh, that goes without saying. But I feel like the majority of people, even those that dislike her, were in support of her and wanting her to get out of the situation. Gamer girl towel sweat. Ah, it's just like, fuck, dude. She said that behind the scenes exploitation, like what Amaranth allegedly experienced, is not a hidden part of the industry at all. Is, ev is everyone in the industry, like, dating their managers? Are they, are they married to their managers? Are you saying that there is an issue with women sleeping with men to get in certain positions and then those men taking advantage of that? Is that what you're saying? Are you saying the quiet part out loud? Are you, are you saying that there are women who have to take responsibility for trying to lure in people who then get manipulated afterwards? Hmm. Mm, this seems really sus if you want to word it that way, m-lady. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't, it's like, I, based on the rest of the article, I don't know if that's what you want to be saying. I've been in the Twitch creator space for six or seven years now, and in this time I've seen countless twist longer posts from people who have shared stories of people abusing their power. Yes. And yeah, there have been plenty of people who have done that. This is a real fucking issue. It's not related to Amaranth's husband. It's, it's not related to her husband. It's, it's, it's definitely different. Just put on the bikini, goddamn dude. You know what I actually hate, though? When I, when I feel like I'm going to read some, like, juicy fucking shit on the tweeters, and then I open up that Twit Longer link, and it's like, Haha, I was just kidding. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm like, yeah, and I hope you get hit by a truck in Minecraft. <laughs> it, was the, it, was the same, it was the same with the people, like, putting, putting the sensitive material fucking blur over images that weren't sensitive material. That shit got real old real quick. <laughs> <laughs> not P-Chan, dude. Unless it was all the husband, all of them. Yeah, like if, if, she's, if she's saying that all of the twitlongers were made about people's husbands, then yeah, sure, it's relatable. Or like at least their boyfriends. You know, I'll, put, I'll bring it one rung lower. If it's at least their significant other. It's pretty common knowledge that it happens. I truly feel for Amaranth and what she has gone through. Yes, it is pretty common knowledge that people in positions of power tend to abuse their power. It's also true that this is an issue on Twitch. Probably on OnlyFans. I don't know the landscape there. Because it's been an issue in Hollywood and acting for many decades. It has nothing to do with Amaranth. <laughs> You're writing a twit longer about Kirsch's ketchup nonsense? It sounds like it could be a short story. It's just like I fucking... Oh fuck, I, don't even want, I don't even want to read the rest of this. James said she once left a management company, the name of which he didn't want to share for legal reasons. Spiritual Bimbo? 
that she felt was exploiting the models. She alleged her ex-partner, okay, this is kind of relatable, who she also did not want to name, would exploit women by controlling their pages and making them uncomfortable. So this, this is probably the first relatable thing to Amaranth here because it was someone that she was partnered with who was also manipulating her. I feel like it's bad jujus. I feel like it's bad juju to be dating someone and then be a part of their management company or vice versa, right? Like that just seems like it's danger waiting to happen. Did she finish Dead Space? I fucking beat that game, dude. I beat the fuck out of the Dead Space. It's so fucking dead, dude. There's an old rumor that this is an issue with Twitch themselves and that flesh tubers will appease moderators to get away with non-TOS behavior. And you know what? There's literally never been a counter argument to that. Not from a single person. Not from anyone who's flung allegations, not from anyone who's defended themselves against allegations. Literally no one. <laughs> Is it space though? It's spasse. It's fancy space. The girls had no access to their pages and no idea of what's really going on. The girls would always tell me how uncomfortable they were and he would always push for me to shoot, although I expressed many times I did not want to. I'm like, this is kind of weird as well. Like, it wasn't enough for him to manipulate the person he was dating. He was also managing other people and manipulating them. I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck? I can't get moist amount of water. <laughs> ah. Most popular platform for models like James is OnlyFans, which launched in 2016 and rapidly grew in users during the pandemic. The site is easy to use and has a simple subscription service. OnlyFans' sudden jump to ubiquity was a huge gain for rising influencers on the platform. And it has resulted in a sprawl of modeling agencies and eager managers looking to assist creators. It's also been a boom time for scammers and manipulative managers who just want to get in on the revenue. You mean... Like what's been happening forever. Like there's, there's literally videos on YouTube from like Brazil of how to not get kidnapped by a guy who says he wants to talk to you about a modeling agency. Like that, this, this isn't new. This is, this is old. Like it's, it's still a problem. It's still a problem. But it, it, it's crazy to me that they're just like, oh, this is, this is related to Amaranth and something that needs to be talked about right now. How about you just make them two different articles? I wouldn't have a problem if they were talking about the issue with like OnlyFans managers manipulating people and, and the scammers trying to scam the women out of like money and, and their hard work and shit if they didn't try attaching it to Amaranth. Like, yeah, yeah, her husband did that to her, but that's, that's worse. She, she's not just talking to him through a computer screen. She, she's not just, like, meeting him at a studio once. She literally lives with the guy. Like, she, he had control over everything. And it wasn't just phone calls. It wasn't just messages. It was his presence in the house with her. Come to Brazil. No, thank you. Oh my god. Problem it seems is that the manager boyfriend or husband tends to be the Omega controlling type and enjoys the excessive control over his girlfriend. Just like that's what just don't just don't date your manager. Like I know I know it's easy to feel attraction for someone if you spend a long time around them, right? Because it's just like, oh, we spend so much time together and I, I have feelings now, but it's like you gotta 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 be professional, you gotta separate the, the feelings of I like you and we should make a relationship out of this. Modeling agency, where do I sign? <sighs> Sounds like being a pimp with extra steps. I essentially. There's a huge amount of exploitation going on in industries that they will not touch with a 10-foot pole. Always has been. Abso-fucking-lutely. Abso-fucking-lutely. But this is just another way for them to get to bitch about Gamergate, I guess. In addition to her main profile, James runs a business and mindset coaching service. What is a mindset coaching service? Where she teaches other models how to sharpen their OnlyFans accounts and live more abundantly according to an Instagram page bio for the program. She said she always wants to empower women through sex work and is grateful she got out of the toxic management company. Nita Marie, another popular OnlyFans and Fansly model with over a million Instagram followers, told Insider that she's also witnessed or heard about exploitation in the industry. Marie pointed to multiple management companies that she would promise the world to models and then not deliver anything. This, this... This is exactly what fucking, like, the Hollywood scammer types would do. Like, what does this have to do with Amaranth? What does this have to do with Amaranth and her abusive husband? Why are these two things in the article together? Marie said she's been seeing models being taken advantage of, 
and stressed that she thinks creators like Amaranth should be able to share their real lives with their fans without fear of reprisal. Yeah, in an, in an ideal world, everyone can share everything without fear of reprisal, right? But unfortunately, we do not live in an ideal world. We live in a real world. And no matter what you do or how raw and real you are, someone is always going to be a piece of shit. Regardless of whether they mean their shit talk or if they're just trying to get a rise out of you or trying to be a funny guy and they don't realize it's inappropriate, right? Like, it's, it's always going to happen. And if anyone knows this, if anyone knows this, it's fucking Amaranth. She's, she's been in this sphere for longer than probably anyone else's article talks about. <laughs> Except maybe that one, that one girl at the beginning who said she's been in here since like 2010. I don't know when Amaranth started. We'll get them clicks. That's pretty much the modern standard for journalism. I clicked it. The last chick basically sounds like OnlyFans. Well, it sounds like she's trying to like become the management she wants to see, right? Which you, which you can applaud. Uh, become the change you want to see in your industry, yeah? I, I can I can applaud that, but again, this why why are they using Amaranth's abusive husband situation to peddle this shit? All three influencers Insider spoke with expressed sympathy regarding the harassment Amaranth received as a result of being open about her marriage. As creators, no matter how truthful we are with our real personas, we are still putting on a show, adding that it was crazy Amaranth faced any backlash. It's ludicrous to think we aren't able to have things in our private life. Oh, baby. Baby, you know, like, it's not, it's not ludicrous. Her husband wanted her to keep it private because he knew she would get more money that way. Most women know they'll get more money that way. I don't, don't make this out to be some like, oh, that's, that's such a shame that we're not allowed to talk about. When you build up an audience around that kind of thing, that's, that's why there's more backlash. There shouldn't be because her situation is very unique, very sad and deserves empathy. But like, hot damn, lady. The husband was destroying her stuff as intimidation, fear of reprisals indeed. Yeah, exactly. Things have their time and place. Do you tell your mom about how much poon you slam? <laughs> the moment someone uses phrasing like live abundantly, you're 100% suspicious. I was like, I don't know, dude. James, who regularly receives hundreds of comments on her Instagram posts, said fans want to know everything about her, but she doesn't share some things like her location. So she has, what, baseline security? Like, uh, what? What? There's always going to be crazy people. There's always going to be crazy people, and that's why OPSEC is important. Sometimes we're coconut brains. Sometimes we're fucking idiots. You know, sometimes slip, slip through the crack. But it, it's like, what? what? What are you asking for here? Like, it's, it's ludicrous that, like, you have to take these precautions? Like, I don't understand. And of course people are going to want to know stuff. They're curious. You're putting your life out there. You're spending hours of your day with them if you're doing like video or live content creation. That your your community, your chat, if you're doing like videos and live streaming, they become just as much a part of your life as you do theirs. And and it's maybe maybe that's maybe that's why <laughs> you know some of us have such an issue, yeah? Cuz it's like I can't I can't see myself as like on a pedestal above the people in chat. What, wasn't there a streamer that was just like, yeah, I'm above everyone here. Like I'm better than you. Wasn't there, wasn't there a streamer that said that? I feel like there's a guy streamer who said that, but I can't remember. But it's like, I don't, I don't feel that way. Like, yeah, this is my platform. This is my like soapbox, I guess. But I wouldn't be able to have this if it weren't for my community. So I, I feel like being just as engaged with the people who spend time with me as they are with me just makes fucking sense. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know, dude. <laughs> like if, if fucking, if fucking Big Dong Dangles 74 is spending five hours a day with me, four plus days a week. Yeah, I'm probably going to know a little bit about Big Dong Dangles, you know? <laughs> I'm like the most down-to-earth streamer. I engage so much more with the audience. And it's obviously I realize there's going to be hurdles and it's going to be harder. Like the more people there are to interact with, the harder it's going to get. But I still want to try my best, you know? And I was like, I, a Pip has talked about this a few times as well, where she's like, I, I feel bad when I don't read super chats and I, I feel bad when I do, because I don't want to make a whole stream about just that, but I want everyone to know that they're appreciated and that I'm thankful. 
And and it's you know when when that happens it gets it gets hard. You have to make some choices. You have to figure out how to do this shit. And I know I know I'm not gonna be able to always keep up the level of interactivity I do in Discord, but I still want to try my best. I like I like talking with everyone. Sounds like a Hassan quote. I'm not gonna say it was Hassan because I don't remember. I don't remember it. Here she stands on us so she could reach higher. It's just like when I when I got my Game Forge deal, I was just like holy shit. A game company came to me and wanted to pay me. Because my audience put me in a position to make me worth something to a company. Like, it, it probably wouldn't have mattered how much I knew about Terra or how long I had played the game or, like, what my name meant in the PvP community years ago. None of that would have mattered because I wouldn't have had, like, any kind of platform that would have meant something to the company. So it was just like, I was able to get that beca because everybody in chat believed in me, you know? Why do you even use Twitter if you have less than 10k followers was said by a Rooster Teeth employee. Uh, duh, I have to use Twitter to get the 10k followers. Fucking idiot. <laughs> Knowing the streamer's time zone and general region of the country is okay. Nothing more specific. Yeah, I mean, uh, doxing, doxing is always going to be a, a real unfortunate side effect of being in any kind of content creation. Like, you hope it doesn't happen, but... If and when it does, at least be prepared, you know? Just spend $8 a month now. Oh my god. <laughs> or else you're gonna push your Switch and PlayStation screenshots? Oh my god. <sighs> Alright. I feel like I've ranted over time enough today. <laughs> Pippa's a sweetheart despite her brash, edgy exterior. She, ha she, ha she has to act brash, right? Because she doesn't want people calling her sweet. She's a fucking sweetheart. Pippa love, dude. <laughs> You're back. We have apparently somehow gone through two lines of the article and only five times the angry. It's it's just more shit that doesn't make sense. Like creators have no obligation to share their status because it should never be about that. Our content is entertainment that the user has a choice to consume or not. I agree. This has nothing to do with Amaranth. I don't know why this isn't a fucking article. I I agree. I agree that nobody has an obligation to do anything. People who are here are here because they want to be. I share the shit that I share because I want to. I like, I like being open as much as I, I like, can be without being too doxy, you know? She's the Coco of Phase Connect. Is she gonna, is she gonna have a fucking bunny tail butt plug plushie? <laughs> you missed my tangent because you went to eat and wash dishes. Oh god. Clickbait, please understand. It's like actual rage bait. Like, unironic rage bait because they just slap all this shit together that has no, no reason to be here. Oh god, don't you oh god me? Before Coco made her plushy butt plug, I was gonna have a real foxtail butt butt plug with a fucking adult toy company. I was so excited. I was like, yeah, let's go put my name on the map. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be known as the first anal plug VTuber. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh the lady who owned the company stopped replying to me, as as is my curse. Everything I touch breaks. And then Coco came out with her plushy butt plug, and I was like, fuck, now if I do it, everyone's just gonna think I'm copying Coco. Fox did it first as a tag for a reason. <laughs> Pip is not a fan of the ATF. That alone makes her good in your book. Are there people who are fans of the ATF? I mean, I guess if you, like, actually hate dogs, but... <laughs> oh my god, I'm sick. I'm sick of journalists. I'm fucking sick of them. Who's I'm online right now? Who have we got? Oh, it's, it's Sunday, which, which means it's the day of the Lord, which means Face Connect is not streaming. <laughs> Other glowies. The pit plug will fill your gastric tract with mold. I don't like that. I don't want a, pr a pressure release a pit plug that if I have it in my ass for too long, it'll release mold spores to make me sick. I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> Abby is streaming. I don't think we were super cursed today. We could probably safely raid Abby. I trust you guys. I would raid Domo if he was doing just chatting stuff. I'm trying to get on Domo's fucking talk show for VTubers for years, but he's playing Valorant. I'm not a fan of Valorant. <laughs> oh! Oh, you know, I I don't get a chance to raid this guy often, so I, I would like to do this, actually. I, I, have I even... I think I went to raid him one day, and then he just fucking ended. How long has he been live? An hour? There's no way. There's no way that he would end after an hour, right? It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Cross-platform raid Bitani. It's her graduation. Again! Oh, a multi-graduation VTuber. I'm not going to say anything mean. <laughs> Abby's been trod on enough today. <laughs> Love Abby. Love Abby. But uh I'm I'm a I'm a predecessor isn't fully released yet, but I've been like 
partnered content creator with them. Uh, I know a lot of people in the community. I'm very excited for Predecessor. I want to play Predecessor. I can't wait till you guys see me be angry in a fucking MOBA. Riot Games hate. Hey, Predecessor isn't made by Riot, but they did steal a couple of Riot's employees. So they got that going for them. If you hate Riot, you should love them even more. Ha! Help! God, I need to get fucking water. I need to get fucking water. So this guy... This guy's another fox. He is, he is also, he was recently added to the Partnered Content Creators Special Secret Super Discord for Predecessor. Uh, I would, I would like to talk to more people who play Predecessor. I'd like to do stuff with more Predecessor people. I'll be, I'll be willing to play with you guys in chat if you guys play Predecessor as well. But I'll have, I'll have to, I'll have to get my Angie out of the way, right? I can't, I can't be berating, fandoming my fans. <laughs> he's, he's also a fox. He's an orange fox though, like Ginger. He's he's an orange fox. We are we are fox family, and that's why that's why I wanted to raid him, but he never fucking streams at a time when I can. So he's online right now. And since since uh since we're no soul. Hey, I like gingers. <laughs> male fox, just like Kirsha, sounds good. I'm not a male fox! I do not have the papinus! We we you want me to fin them every chance that I get? No. But yeah, he's a he's another partnered creator with Predecessor. I would like I would like to go see him. He's doing he's doing some looks like geolocation shit. I don't know. I don't understand this stuff. <laughs> Let's see what my moderators have said. Let's see. Let's see. I actually played the game for like the first part of stream, so I obviously don't remember what happened. <laughs> Kirsha raiding the femboy fox. Are we doing femboy foxhole raid? God. He actually he does voice acting work. Uh, like, act, like, on I rot, like, he's not a VTuber that just puts it in his bio, he, like, actually does voice acting. <laughs> so he's got, he's got a pretty nice voice. You remember the ASMR tangent mid-game? Femboy? Ugh. I don't think he's actually a femboy, I just think, I just think we like calling every male a femboy. Except, except for my moderator somehow. How can they keep getting away with it, honestly? It's a, it's a moderator psyop. What's this? What's, what's You're this? You're correct! You got scammed by my alert system! <laughs> I am the one who got scammed. I have been scammed on this day. You that was that was like the most delayed alert all fucking day, dude. Thanks, Timmy Tams. <laughs> moderators are moderators, they're below femboy. You know, usually we're just like, are Jannies even real people? But I like I like my jannies. I feel like they're they're good. We we berate them, we knock on them a lot, but my jannies are good folk. <laughs> good good jannies. Yes. All right. We 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 finally were able to get everything out of the Middle East. Why did you have to start another war? Don't answer that. I know the answer to that question, but I'm sick of it. <laughs> I'm sick of it. Time to bring back guillotines, dude. Let's go. <laughs> Yes, your jannies right, are we... okay. Don't come to stream tomorrow. I forgot that I even like talked a little bit at the beginning of stream. I was like, I don't even know what's going on here. If they weren't good folk, we wouldn't keep them around to laugh at them. I mean, I'd keep Nim around at least because I, I need someone to do all of my troubleshooting for me since I break everything that I touch. <laughs> good jannies get extra rations the next morning. Like Arnold taking this clip. What a good janny. <laughs> Thank you. Become whole. Is her is her whole fake? Am I just like schizophrenia right now? I'm coming for that whole Nicole. Is that why they named her that? Why did I say it like that? Become whole. Is her is what? Why did I say it like that? What did I mean by this? <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand. Oh, you want you want to relive the anger? How how angry did I sound when I did this? And one of the first reckonings against targeted misogyny came in the aftermath of Gamergate. The coordinated campaign of right wing trolls and overwhelmingly male influencers jointly harassing female game developers and writers. <gasps> Fuck me, I guess, for wanting ethics in my fucking games journalism, you pieces of shit! Oh my god. Oh, it's a, the first record. It's a good thing that I no longer peek my microphone. Cause holy shit, that might have been bad for your little baby airs. <laughs> 
Dexter's going psycho mode. Timmy Tams, you fucking clip master, dude. Jesus. Thank you. <laughs> that sounded like a threat. Fucking gave you tinnitus. That's not true. I'm not as loud as a gun. Is this tangentception? This is the end of stream. This is the end of stream where we review what happens during the stream. I thank everybody. I thank everybody for being fucking cute. And we go, we go raid somebody. We're gonna, we're gonna raid a fox friend who is gonna be doing a lot of predecessor content with me once the game drops. I love predecessor! You just came by to say good night? Ah, oh, Jackal, I hope you have a good heck of night, my dude. I hope everybody has a good heck of night. Like, bullshit, that clip was loud as shit. Well, it wasn't loud for me. Ha 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 ha. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do all my thank yous. It's, it's Monday tomorrow. I don't stream on Mondays. Monday is a rest day for the fox. Lord knows my back fucking needs it. It's very crunchy. You won't play it and blow out your own eardrums. That's true. I am a coward. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you, thank you! Thank you everyone for spending time with me today. I can thank you! Aged Leaf! Akuma Toka! Arnold Newham! Avatar XDV! Uh, Awell Went! Ballsack Monster! Be beer Bear Beard! Bingo Bango Tango Mango! Bland Claw Tray! Kazman! Chank Tome! Chimp Chip! Cobalt Ogre Magus! D Dangling Bonds! Dark Winter 1776! Deadly Flame 17! Death Knight RZ! Dragon Fat Deposits! Drop in... Inotacon! Du Duomer Thrax! Edward Malice! I'm so slow today, I'm sorry. <laughs> Elfather 38! Feelock! Flame Warrior 12! Formerly Chuck 69! Fryce, Gamer Dude 506, Ghastly Guest, Gelfirth, Glaceon Seamus, Grade 8 51, Glad as Zero, Hobeto 13, I am the Rag, I am Binary Mind, Ikari Henry, Jackal Hog, James Jameson, Gianu Reeves, GD, J Rie, Crimnox, Kulata X11, Lars Sadbro, Lich of Death, Lord of Matter 7, LX Keck, Mal Roadkill, Manama, Man, 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 Major 15, <laughs> Mukana Senpai, Moon Berserker, Mr. Sazerac, Murphy X217, M Mizzic, Nobody, Nada's Legend, Nafre Gaming TV, Nerd Whispers, Nona V1, Nolum, Nyam, Oh Harry 255, Orange Crowbar Man, Paper Relic, Phosphorus 7, Fren Frank the Tank, Rhinor, Repolt, Ray Syndrome, Recky Vidya, Rex Rada, Rinky, Robot Girly Man, Saint X, Sayami, Saya Lock, Shugazi 2, Simjanko K, okay. Sindragosa, Straw, Tomb, Skull Garthane, Skewki, Slacker Late, Son of Boog, So Zaste, Stray Wolf X, Summer Whiskey, Su Suzel's. Quattro, Trolling, Taland X, Tacos, Telos X, The Japanese Egg Roll, The Red Hunter, Tim Tam Tani, Tony the Mighty, T Question, Trigger Point, Ugly Poppy, Umbra Asterim, Unborn 1988, Unusual Heights, Ushi Oni Lover, Ushi On Lover, v Vash PP, Zaviana Games, Mind Break, Zazuban, Zero Phantom Zex, Zexel Gaming, Zoda Luca! I can thank you everyone for hanging out with me today. I will not be on Twitch on Monday. I'll be hanging out in Discord. We're gonna, we're gonna raid. We're, hold on, I gotta type. Uh, Vulpine Voice. Mr. Mr. O I, I, I did it again! Vulpine Voice. Vulpine voice. Why do I always do this? Why do I always do backslash and then their name? I was like, I forget the word raid entirely. I'm fucking brain damaged. Thank you. <laughs> My femboy harem, it grows. Thank you, thank you for hanging out with me tonight. Have a great rest of your night, everyone. We fucking beat Dead Spasse. I'll be playing some Digimon on Tuesday. Get ready for the Digi Day. Have a good rest of your night. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Bye-bye!